Wow, check this out. Guys, check this out. Pokemon Stadium is here, and I'm excited for it. Thanks so much for coming, everyone. Hello, hi, how are you? Welcome to it. Welcome to Pokemon Stadium on Nintendo Switch. We're going to go and play through this entire game and see exactly how it's held up 23 years. Wow, man. I honestly still have my cartridge. I still have my transfer pack, and I have all of my Game Boy games. I grew up with this game over here, so I'm super excited for that. Thanks so much for coming, everyone. Good to see you all. Uh, of course, if you guys are excited for Pokemon Stadium and you want me to go through and play Pokemon Stadium 2, which th that game has no like plan for coming to Nintendo Switch Online yet, but we could make it a series if you guys want. Anyway, smash that like button uh, and share the video with a friend. We've got an awesome uh, giveaway that we're doing for all of you guys that are subscribed. If you didn't already subscribe, take a look at the pinned comment and uh, go there. But yeah, I'm excited for this. You guys are awesome. Thanks so much for hanging out. We're going to do a rental-only run of Pokemon Stadium, so I'm excited for that. Unfortunately, there's no way of transferring your Pokemon into this game, so it was a pretty big missed opportunity for Nintendo. It seems like it was just a rushed port where they're just like, oh, just quickly rush it, man. But what about connectivity issues? No, 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 forget it. No one wants that. Just, just put it out. So anyway, that's kind of what Nintendo has been more recently. Um, it's unfortunate, but hey, you know what? We're going to go through, and it's going to be an added challenge mode, right? Other than going through with your in-game team from Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, you're going to go through and play along with me with the rental. Uh, it should be really fun. So anyway, we're here at Pokemon Stadium. Let's jump in. Here we are. This is it. This is Pokemon Stadium on Nintendo 64. Oh my gosh. Welcome to it. It's Abdallah here. I have not played this game in ages, but I do own it still. So if I wanted to bust out the N64, we could get it. But these are nice, remastered, boosted-looking graphics. Welcome to it! 1995 to 2000. This game came out in 1999, by the way, so that's about 23-ish years ago. Wow, exciting for it. Let's jump in and see exactly how it plays compared to what it used to. Uh, so this is it. Turn off the deck before attaching a game pack. Yeah, we don't have any of those game packs, but uh, we got Battle Now mode, we've got the Gallery mode, and we have Versus Battle Event. Interesting. We're just going to go over to the stadium and see what's going on. So I'm excited for this. I hope you guys are excited for it as well. Okay, so there's a lot of things that Pokemon Stadium has to offer from a game aspect, right? If you had the original version on the N64, you can connect your transfer pack to the back of the controller, and on uh, on the inside of the transfer park, you could, you could put a, uh, a cartridge in there, and you could play in the GB Tower, you can play your game on the big screen, meaning you didn't need batteries back in the day, and you could just play it right over here. So that was really fun. You could play uh, your Game Boy Pokemon games there, so that's really fun. Uh, free battle is going to be going with your friends and just doing battles. Uh, Kids Club is where there's a whole bunch of like Mario Party-esque mini games that you can play with your friends. Yeah, kind of fun. Uh, right over here, Hall of Fame, where you can show, yeah, your tournament winners. That's fun. Uh, the stadium is where you're going to do all the tournaments. Right over here is Professor's Pokemon Lab. I don't know if there's any functionality in that here. And then over in the corner is the GLC, the Gym Leader Castle, which... For this entire series, we're going to go through and do the entire Stadium Cups, and then we're going to do the Gym Leader Castle so that we are all ready to go, and we're going to beat the game 100%. Now, how the game works is that you beat all the Cups in Stadium Mode, you beat all the Gym Leaders in the Castle, and then you unlock Mewtwo. If you beat Mewtwo, you'll then have access to Round 2, which is going to be a hard mode. So then you go through and beat all of Stadium again on Round 2, you beat all the Gym Leader Castle again on Round 2, and then you can fight the ultimate ultimate life for Mewtwo on round two. I don't know. I don't know if you guys want to see round two, but it will at least get to round one. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Uh, let's jump on into this. Let's see what's going on in the stadium over here and just have a good time today. And you can see Jinx. Oh my gosh. Wow. What a great thing. Uh, yeah, let's, let, let's, let's do some work here. I think uh, <laughs> we've got a couple of these. Here's a Pika cup. Uh, we can do the Pika cup or we can do the, uh, the other cup. What are we doing? Round one, Pika Cup trainers. All right, yeah, you know what? We'll start off over there. Then we'll do the Petite Cup. We'll do the Poke Cup, and then we'll do the Prime Cup, which is all level one to 100. So yeah, let's jump in and see what's up. Uh, battle rules registration. Yeah, we're going to battle. Uh, yeah, rental only, baby. It's a rental only challenge. So you guys can absolutely use all of these Pokemon that I'm using over here and do the exact moves and win. So use this as a guide, uh, hopefully. 
so that we can knock these out. So anyway, taking a look at all these Pokemon this way, uh, that's actually kind of fun. Uh, there's going to be some good ones, and of course, they're not all going to be winners. Not every Pokemon is available over here, so we're going to have to see who's here. Uh, honestly, this is just going to be the regular 151 Pokemon. Uh, taking a look at it, wow, you don't have a lot in this cup. Like, at all. Where is Vaporeon? Do you not have any of the Eevee evolutions? What in the world? Oh gosh, do I have to unlock them? Well, help. Alright, here's Kadabra. Kadabra is going to be really fast and speedy with a fast Psychic and a fast uh, Seismic Toss. If you take a look at Alakazam over here, it's pretty much way weaker. So what we need to do is actually use Kadabra. I'll, I'll use Kadabra this way. Um, other than that, let's take a look. Do we like Gengar? Confuser and Nightshade, Mega Drain, Metronome? Absolutely not. Do we like Drowsy? I mean, that's another Psychic Pokemon. That's not bad. Exeggutor looks actually really good. So I'm going to go for that. We're going to jump in with Exeggutor. Um, Voltorb could be really good because it's got Explosion. So if you're in a spot that's really tight, you can just explode out of there. So I'm going to go with Voltorb. Uh, other Pokemon I would like to use. I love Starmie for a Water type with Bubble Beam and Psy Wave and Thunder. That's going to be really, really powerful. So let's try that out. I don't have any fire types, so I kind of want to use that, but also Lapras is over here for ice typing. Skull Bash, Bubble Beam, man, I don't know if I want two of those. Dratini has all of the cool moves this way, which is like Thunder Wave, Blizzard, Fire Blast. Yeah, I don't know, honestly, I'm looking at this. Mr. Mime is also a Psychic type, so he's got Psychic and Barrier. Mr. Mime's gonna be good. All right, so we got Grass, we got Electric. I'm, I need a fire type. I need like a strong, fast fire type. Ponyta with Fire Blast. Reflect is going to be pretty good. Horn Drill will never work. Um, I want to take a look at Machop. Submission, Fire Blast. I mean, Machop could work. <laughs> or Arcanine, check this out. Ember is so bad. Growlithe with Fire Blast and Dig, Reflect. Yeah, you know what? I might go Growlithe. I might go Growlithe. He's, he's really slow, though. This is hard to think about. Paris, do you have Spore? No. Wow, this is really interesting. Wigglytuff, Thunder, Mega Punch. I don't even know the movesets of all these Pokemon. I'm very, very curious. Pikachu has to be good. T-Wave, Thunderbolt, Quick Attack, Submission. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at Charmeleon. Ember, Swords Dance, Mega Kick. That's terrible. What about Charmander? Fire Blast, Seismic Toss, Growl, and Strength? Oh my goodness. All right, well, we need. I need two more spots. So when it comes down to it, I think I'm going to go with Ponyta of the reflect but i don't want to miss a fire blast no one has like flamethrower all right let's go ponyta for our fire type and then gengar has nothing good ah, confuse ray thunderbolt nightshade those are all very very poor moves i'm thinking we go with another psychic type in the form of mr mime so we go two psychics we got fire water grass core and an electric type i think this is good yeah let's give it a shot i honestly don't know these are all rentals, and the more evolved the Pokemon are, the weaker their moveset is. So anyway, what we have over here is uh, these Pokemon, and we're going to go take a look and see what we got. I don't know how this is going to work out, but it's going to be Show 6, Use 3 format. You're not ever doing any 6v6s over here. So, uh, taking a look at this, uh, you've got, what, a lot of them that are weak against fire, so that's going to be amazing. So I could use Ponyta. Um, other than that... I mean, a lot of them are weak against Psychic, so I'm going to go with Kadabra. Actually, you know what? Oh, shoot. That was uh, wrong. How do I cancel L? Okay, so here we go. I'm going to lead off with Kadabra. I'm going to go Ponyta. And I'm going to go Mr. M uh, Mister Mime. Yeah, I think that's good. Just taking a look at their six over here, I think bringing two Psychics and a Fire should be perfect. So let's jump in to our very first battle uh, right over here. Wow, look at this. The narrator is just so fun to listen to. So this is good. This is a good matchup right over here. Uh, let's take a look. Battle. Uh, I'm going to do Psychic. Uh, yeah, this one's going to be an easy one-hit KO. Because Kadabra's faster. Boom! And it was a crit. So crit didn't matter. Uh, Venonat is a poison typing, so this is going to be super easy. Yeah, we got this in the bag. I just got to use three Psychics and we're done. This is a... What's the matter, trainer? Oh, Ekany. So the cool thing about Pokemon Stadium is that depending on your... Um, 
Yeah, depending on the nickname of your Pokémon, they might be some different colorations in the game. So this is before the advent of shiny Pokémon in different colors. So this is actually really, really cool to see that happen. Um, I remember if you do, like, your Pokémon's nickname in all lowercase and bring it into Pokémon Stadium, it'll be slightly a different color. Or if you, like, transpose the syllables in their names, um, you can also get some crazy cool colors. See, like this. Look at that Butterfree right now. Like, that's not a normal color Butterfree. That's so fun. Anyway, uh, yeah, we're done. We're beating up Bug Boy. So here we go. Easy peasy. The battles seem to be a little more... Um, a little longer, right? Because they got combat animations. But, I mean, when you think about this, in 1999, you had Generation 1 Pokemon. You're like, oh my gosh, look at all these Pokemon come together in 3D. So, like, you want to see all the movements. And there's a lot of charm, too. There's absolutely a lot of charm with, um, with this game. Like, just how all of the different Pokemon, like, react. They do their different facial expressions. It's so cool to see Pokemon come to life. But those of you guys that are Pokemon fans right nowadays, you guys are spoiled because this was like peak gaming uh, back in the day. Okay, so taking a look at this, we've got two Pokemon that are elect or sorry, Electric Weak, which is Pidgeot and Farfetch'd, and Zubat. So that's a good chance to bring Voltorb. Uh, we also have Ivysaur and Bellsprout who are weak against um, weak against Kadabra. So I could bring Kadabra as a lead over here. I'm gonna bring Voltorb, and then oh gosh, uh, reselect. I don't like the C buttons, man. We're gonna go Kadabra, I'm gonna do Voltorb, and we're gonna do, uh, man, this one's a tough one. I'm gonna bring Starmie, because I don't want to end up fighting a Geodude. And Starmie's got Thunder, so just in case. Yeah, I think this is good. I think we got this, friends. Do you have any fond memories of Pokemon Stadium if you've ever played this game? Please let me know them. Okay, so here's Farfetch'd. That coloration looks a little different. I don't honestly know if I'm going to be able to knock this Pokemon out. Low-key, I want to switch. So I'm going to go over to Pokemon. I'm going to go to Voltorb. We're going to switch over to Voltorb. I don't want to lose my Kadabra. So I'm going to switch to Voltorb right off the bat. In case there's like a flying move coming at it. Like wing attack or tackle. Alright, here we go. Voltorb. Takedown. Oh gosh. That's a... That is... Wow! No way! Oh my gosh. That was a bad turn for me. Alright, I'm gonna go Thunderbolt. So this better be a one-hit KO because I'm about to explode on the next turn, man. Boom. Super effective. You're gone, son. Later, Farfetch'd. Look at the, look, just look at the, like, the, the faint animations of all these Pokemon. Really pay attention to that. That's the amount of charm that I don't think any of the 3D other Pokemon games have ever uh, replicated. Anyway, so here we go. I'm going, this is a bad matchup for me. I'm going to go to battle. I'm going to now explode. We're going to go explosion and then switch into uh, Kadabra for an easy hit. So explosion shouldn't be a one-hit KO. Yeah, yeah, this is rough. So now, do I bring in... Yeah, I have to bring in Kadabra. This is true. So here we go. We're going Kadabra. We are one level lower, but we are faster. So I get this KO. This one should be absolutely fine. I do have a Psychic move against the Poison-type Ivysaur. So let's do Psychic. Here we go. Easy mode. Nice. Okay. So we have an advantage right now. I have two Pokemon to their one. Um, what could it be? A Bellsprout? A Geodude? Anything they bring out, we got this in the bag. So I'm excited. Here's a Bellsprout. Perfect. He's a Grass Poison type. Look at that. He sprouted some little baby wings. Oh, I love the animations. This is so good. All right, anyway. So I'm going to go for the Psychic. It's super effective because uh, Bellsprout is a Poison type, which is weak against Psychic. And if you guys have ever played Generation 1 Pokemon, you'll know that the Psychic type literally had no checks. As in, it was so overpowered back then. There was no Dark type, there was no Steel type to resist it. Ghost moves really didn't exist outside of Nightshade, but it didn't deal super effective damage. So yeah, any kind of Psychic Pokemon, that was top tier in the game. So I'm excited. Let's go, let's go. 
Alright, we're gonna continue battling. Let's do this. Alright, Pika Cup. Let's do it. Wow, these guys are not going to enjoy Voltorb. They're also not going to enjoy Starmie. Uh, Starmie can do some work against... I mean, Starmie does have the Thunder. So if you look at... Yeah, I've got Ball Beam, Psy Wave, Substitute. Those are actually really good. If I look at Exeggutor, Mega Drain is just going to dominate these guys. So Mega Drain, although I'm slow, I'll get all of my health back because they're all water types. So let's bring Exeggutor. Um, let's bring Voltorb and what do you think? Should we bring in... Yeah, I think we should bring in Kadabra again. Or Starmie. Let's go with safe Kadabra. I, I don't ever want to leave without Kadabra. He's too good. So, that's my guy. Kadabra, baby. Alright, here we go. What do we got? Voltorb. Yeah, oh, it's Slowpoke. Look at this thing. Oh my gosh, do you think that Slowpoke is going to be bulky enough to survive a Thunderbolt? Same type attack bonus Thunderbolt coming off of Voltorb? With f wow, dude, 54 HP on Slomer. Come on, baby, come on. Two hit KO? Wow, one hit KO. Okay, great. Love that, man. Yikes, and Voltorb is fast, so depending on the speed stat. Oh, you're bringing a Magikarp? Come look at that thing. Ooh, it's like a little more purple. I like that. Here we go. Well, it's a Magikarp, so this is just throwaway battles. Boom! Yeah, look at that. See the little spiral in the eyes? So good. Look at look at this thing. All the animations are amazing. See, this is the day and age where we had games like Pokemon Snap as well. Where a lot of the Pokemon really showed off a lot of charm and character. Uh, unfortunately for these guys, I'm going to be sweeping them with this Voltorb, so we're set. Boom! Wow, critical hit did not matter. And in this game, critical hits weren't just by chance. They were also boosted by the speed stat as well. Which is really crazy to see. There's a lot of crazy physics in Generation 1 Pokemon. But yeah, it's based on your speed stat. So if you have a really, really fast Pokemon, odds are it's going to end up critting uh, your opponent. So let's continue on. Okay, got ourselves a Thunder Badge. We gotta go get this Rainbow Badge next. Easy mode, three battles against this guy in the Pika Cup. Ooh, water is going to be beautiful over here. Every single person is weak against water. So I'm going to go with Starmie. They're all fire types. So, I mean, when it comes down to it, Ponyta could do some work, but not really. Kadabra and Mr. Mime are going to be my neutral Pokemon that I'm going to have to bring. So let's do that. Starting off with Starmie, my strongest Pokemon. Hopefully Bubble Beam should be able to one-hit KO these guys. I'm um, not really sure, but we'll find out. Wow, look at that. Ooh, beautiful Pokemon. Oh my gosh, Ninetales was so majestic back in the day. All right, so we got Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam from a Starmie? That's a really, really high special stat. And, oh no, you survived it. Oh my gosh. Body Slam? If I get paralyzed, I'm in... And I got a crit. Good. Okay, so we didn't get paralyzed. Okay, this is this is perfectly fine. So Bubble Beam is pretty weak, right? So since Starmie is a fully evolved Pokemon, it doesn't get the best moves in the game, right? All it gets is Bubble Beam, which is like base power, not even a hundred. So yeah, Surf would have been way cooler. Or Hydro Pump, right? Either way, let's do this. I'm at half health over here. Here's Drowlar. Oh, weird. Look at his like nose. Wow, okay, okay. I don't know what I'm going to do against this guy. Um, I could do a substitute. I mean, I could do a thunder. You know, this is going to be a really, really hard thing. I don't know if I should keep or sacrifice. I am staring. I'm staring him down. I just switched to Kadabra. I don't know why. I, I really want to keep Starmie. So I don't know if this is a good idea or what. But Kadabra can come over here and do some like seismic tosses or something. Pound! <laughs> That's a terrible move. Wow, nice try, man. Although, seismic toss is not going to do a lot now that I'm thinking about it. 
Metronome double team? Dude, I have to just use Psychic. This is actually a very, very bad matchup. Or we risk it and we do a metronome. Uh, what a metronome is, is it uses any of the available moves in the entire Pokemon game at random. Just one of them. So I'm just going to go for Psychic right now. It's going to be a resisted hit because Psychic versus Psychic is not very effective. But it should do more than 15 damage. It didn't. Oh gosh. Um, He used Hypnosis? What are you doing? I don't like this at all. I'm switching to Mr. Mime, man. This is a bad matchup. So I don't know if he has the move Dream Eater or what, but that's a combination in old Generation 1, where if you put them asleep in the next turn, you use Dream Eater. Pound again, man. Oh my gosh, help me. Oh, this guy's being uh, quite interesting here. All right, let's see, let's see. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to battle. I have a Mega Kick. So here's hoping that Mega Kick doesn't uh, fail. So let's just do a Mega Kick. It didn't do much. Dude, this guy's pounding on me. Stop. All right, we got this. We got this. Um, a Psychic Pokemon. There's just no weakness to them, so we just got to do some work. All right, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do two Psychics right now. It's a two-hit KO. We're gonna finish him off. And we're going to go from there. What's that? And I got a crit. Oh, it didn't matter, man. It did not matter. He's just going to be pounding away over here. Great. <laughs> so I'm at half health right now. Come on, man. All right, here we go. One more psychic should be fine. I There's no way I'm going to use metronome. Absolutely not. Okay, good. So scary. We're going to move out. Who's the last Pokemon? It's probably going to be a water type. Or sorry, a fire type Pokemon that I can easily bring in Starmie and finish it off. Growlithe. Okay. I mean, he's kind of cute. <laughs> Look at that little guy. He's cute. Alright, here we go. This has to be at least 50% health. Oh, that's a crit. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Welcome to it. Wow, look at that. Look at Mr. Mom just dancing with his hands over here. Alright, so Drowsy was a a threat. Drowsy was absolutely a threat over here. And you get extra continues if you get a perfect against everyone? Wow, that's actually pretty interesting. Well, good to know. Alright, let's jump on in. Alright, Pika Cup, let's do it. Pika Cup, Battle 5, we're here. Pokemon Stadium, I'm into it. Ooh, we got electrics. I don't have any ground types. Oh, gosh. Uh, yeah. So, I, I think Exeggutor could be doing some work with Mega Drain and resisting the electric hits. That would be really awesome. Kadabra would also be really good with just spamming Psychics out there with a 45 special stat. Mm, man, I think that's really the, the way I have to go. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't have anything else. So we're going to go with Kadabra, Exeggutor, and then Mister. Mister's coming over here. Yeah, so I got two Psychics that does neutral damage. And we're going to go from there. So let's do it. Oof, man. I'm kind of worried if anyone brings like an uh, an Exploder over here. Well, look at that Raichu. Cool. It looks uh, Raichan. Okay, well... I think I can possibly, I could possibly get this one hit KO. Wait a second, how are you faster? And you got a crit? Oh my, whoa! Hey, hey man. Rude. And he's level 18, man. That's a strong Raichu. Uh, we're gonna go Mega Drain. So I'm gonna get some of that yummy health back. He's going for Body Slam again, man. This is gonna hurt. Executor is a little bit bulky, though. Okay, good. 17 damage is not bad. I'll get 
a majority of that back with Mega Drain. What? Wait, where's the HP that I got? Did I get some back? I think so. Oh gosh. I, I, I this is gonna be a long drawn out battle over here if he keeps on doing this. Uh, essentially, I'm going to get paralyzed by this body slam. Oh my gosh. Mega Drain's terrible. Okay, so I think uh, three more hits and I should be able to knock it out. This is so bad. You know what I really needed? I needed Mr. Mime to come in with the uh, with the barrier. But, I mean, Raichu also has Thunderbolt, too. And he's got... Oh my gosh, I'm done. There's no way. Uh, if, if Kadabra can't outspeed... Uh, I don't know what Psy Wave does. I don't remember the, the move Psy Wave at all. Toxic would have been smart. Yeah, that would have been real good. If I just toxic him first turn, I think that would have been a lot better. So he does end up winning this. Five HP left. It won't do a lot. Oh my gosh, I'm done, man. And then he's gonna he's gonna Thunderbolt Mister. And then I lose. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we are three levels lower than this Raichu over here, and we're out. I had an unfortunate crit, first turn, lost Kadabra, and got outsped. I need like a ground type. See, that's who I didn't bring. My team had two psychic Pokemon, I didn't have any ground. So there is a glaring weakness, and that's the thing about electric types in this game. They only have one weakness. So we're going to psychic. He's going to use Thunderbolt. Yeah, there we go. That only makes sense. That's going to take half my health. And then unless unless I outspeed and KO everyone. Oh my gosh. Come on, mister. Oof, man. Okay, okay. I might lose against this one. Friends, I might lose. Magnemite and Electric type. He's not Steel type. Remember, Steel types don't exist in this game. This is where I really needed a Ground type, and I didn't realize that my team was missing one. I went with two Psychics. Yeah, that's. Sorry, guys, I lost. T Bolt, hundred percent accuracy, done. All right, that's fair. And that's what Pokemon is, right? You win some, you lose some. Wow, I have continues. So we just need a ground type, like Doug Trio or something. Someone with dig. Okay, so if I click on re-enter, what happens? I don't know what re-enter means. Okay, uh, let me see, reselect some Pokemon. Okay, uh, Executor was, was kind of good with the grass move, sure. Voltorb was great. Starmie was also great. Ponyta I haven't even used. And Mr. Mime is actually good. He's got good Psychic, so I don't know who to bring out. Not really using a Fire-type move. So... I'm just gonna get rid of Ponyta. And we need, like, a Ground-type user. Like, um... Sandshrew, for example. What does he have? Sandshrew has Earthquake? Wow. His speed is very slow, but Earthquake can do some work. If I Swords Dance up, first turn, an Earthquake, proceed to Earthquake everyone. I mean, that's actually really good, but he's very, very slow. Who's going to beat up Raichu, right? Nidoking? He's a ground type with Earthquake. Oh my gosh, why does he have Earthquake? Yo, he's good. Yo, look at Nidoking over here with Double Kick and Earthquake. Holy moly. All right, let's go. All right, I'm into this. Let's go. All right, rematch. What? What? What are you talking about, re-enter? Oh! No! Why? Why am I starting from the beginning? No! Oh, this is so dumb. Oh! Oh my gosh. That's like, what? 30 minutes? Great.
It didn't say that. Re-enter is like re-enter from right there, but welcome to Pokemon. Ugh, fudge, dude. Yep. Wow, man. Dude, I'm out. How do I get out of here? I don't think I do. <laughs> I had many continues if you were paying attention. Um, okay, well, uh, let's knock this out. Let's, let's just go from the very beginning. All right, here we go. So, uh, team change, slight team change, no worries. Uh, jumping on in, we're going to start off and we're just going to knock out everyone with Kadabra. Uh, we're going to go Mister, and we're going to go, uh, I believe, Nido King. <sighs> Nido King doesn't have anything. No. You know what? I'm going to be fine with Mister and, and, uh, and Kadabra. So, here we go, Pika Cup. Let's knock it out. Wow. Let's do it. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, look at that coloration. Cute. Let's do it. You know, making suspend points would actually be pretty smart. But uh, if I ever lose, if I ever lose in any of these battles, remind me, I'll make a save state. Because if there's a limited amount of continues, I don't want to be out here redoing a bunch of battles. So that's actually a really good idea. No worries, we're fine. No worries, man. This is the game. We got this. Just the sheer amount of charm that we have during it. So, we're fine. We just gotta knock out what? How many badges did we get? I don't know, man. Doesn't matter. We're just chilling. We're, now we're relaxing over here, right? Good to see you guys. How you been? Shoutouts to all of our members. I saw a couple of members use their monthly message right over this way. You guys are amazing. Thanks so much for doing that. What are you guys all up to today? You guys excited for Pokemon Stadium as much as I am? I hope you are. That didn't hurt at all. That didn't hurt at all. Welcome, welcome. There, it's a hit. Alright, alright. We're gonna get through this today. We're gonna get through it. It's a long game, so strap in. And there goes the battle! Perfect! Continue! Dude, I knew, I knew something was gonna happen if I wanted to change that. Alright, angry looking kid. We got these clowns. Who did I bring last time? Shoot. Mm, Kadabra? Army and Voltorb. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's do it. Jeffrey, you like that big Pokemon Stadium? Good. It's fun to see how this game aged, for sure. It's a big miss that they didn't have the availability to um, allow us to do any sort of connectivity with the game. I thought that for Pokemon Day 2023, we would get virtual console versions of all of the uh, older Pokemon games. At least the first three games, you know? Red, Blue, Yellow? On Nintendo Switch Online with Game Boy Advance? Ruby Sapphire? Like, why wouldn't we? Fire, Red, Leaf, Green? Why wouldn't we have that? Alright, wow, look at that Zubat. Cool. Yeah, this is gonna be easy mode. Wow, Zubat gone. No eyeballs. You didn't see that coming. Yeah, see, like, I think this game would be a lot better if you could have some sort of connectivity. But, I don't know, it's, it's still just, like, glorified battles that are super slow-based, right? Usually me, when I play Pokemon games that are, like, the 3D new ones, like Sword and Shield or Scarlet Violet, you know, I want to turn off the combat animation. So we're like, all right, get it done, right? But I do remember Pokemon Stadium. I remember Pokemon Coliseum. I have those games. They're actually really good. I love those games growing up. Boom, boom, boom. Excellent. All right, two more. Knock it out.
Look at that swimmer. Okay, let's go Voltorb. And yeah, let's go Voltorb. We're going to go Exeggutor. And then I'm also going to bring uh, Kadabra. St wow, look at that star you. <laughs> Alright, so we we'll use C down. Let's get it. Get it, man. Wow, critical hit didn't matter. No, no, no. Voltorb's actually really good. I don't know how to beat Raichu. <sighs> Raichu's fast, but I can Nido King Earthquake him and then just like hard carry the rest of the map. Nidorino? What's Nidorino gonna do? Out of here. Do Thunderbolt. Um, hey, someone remind me at home. Can you T wave an electric Pokemon in this game? In Generation 1? Oh, crit and par paralysis? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go Thunderbolt. That's right. I don't know if you can T-Wave Raichu. Because, like, T-Wave, any Pokemon with Thunder Wave is, like, that's a safe bet, right? It's a safe bet. Oh, man. Wow, Wartortle, cool. Look at, look at Wartortle. What a... <laughs> what a rendition. Boom, Savage. Really? That bulky, huh? Okay. With a water gun. Okay, excellent. You spit on me, man. Don't do it. Yeah, I guess I gotta test it because the comment section doesn't know. Can't look up facts. Oh man, Wartortle's gone. See you later, buddy. Voltorb is great. He's got those those Voltorb eyes. Look, his his eyebrows actually move. <laughs> All right, we're making some we're making some progress over here. This is good. You know what? It was good practice. Let's knock out this next one, and then I'm gonna have a rematch against Raichu. I got three continues, man. We're good. All right, let's go, Burglar. This one is where water helped us out. Uh, yeah, water was good. Starmie lead was great. Kadabra was also good. And Nido King is going to be really good because there's a lot of fire types and we could just use an earthquake. Easy, man. Come on, Starmie. Oh, I've seen this before. What does Ninetales do? Body slam or something? Oh, man. All right, here we go. Go Bubble Beam! Wow, speed fell, didn't matter. Alright, if I get paralyzed, it's gonna be bad. Oh, got a crit on me? Wow, hi! Alright, so if Drowsy comes out, I'm gonna have a hard time. Because he's gonna end up using, like, Hypnosis or something, so we gotta get out of here. Go, go, go. Oh, I love Charmeleon. Look at this guy. Alright, Charmeleon, you got this? There's a two-hit KO. What's Charmeleon gonna do, though? Probably, like, scratch. Wow, look at this. I'm barely getting these KOs. Yeah, Pika Cup, I mean, we're good. Let's just knock out this Pika Cup. Someone look up the description of Psy Wave. What does that do? Does that is that like Seismic Toss? Where it only does like how much damage your current level is? What is Psy Wave? I never use that in the games. Always use like Psy Beam or Psychic. Never Psy Wave. Oh, sweet. All fire types? Look at this cutie. Get out of here. Let's go.
Yeah, two hit KO. Oh my gosh, Growlithe special attack or special stat is not good. All right, here we go. I got to make a save state. I think I can make one. Yeah, that was actually really good. They didn't bring on Drowsy, which made it a lot easier. Perfect. Extra continue. Okay, we got to get that soul badge, man. Someone remind me how to do it. Where's the menu? How do I go to the menu? Minus? Okay, create a suspend point right here. Just in case I end up losing, man. I'll just reload it, which is perfect. Okay, that's what I should have been doing. All right, here we go. This is it. Here we go. This is the Soul Badge, Pika Cup, number five. Um, this guy, oof, man. We got to watch out. We got to watch out for this because three of his Pokemon are electric types and Nido King takes them all on, which is awesome. Uh, Voltorb? Voltorb can potentially explode. Yeah, and knock out the Krabby and maybe Mankey. So I'm going to bring Voltorb. I'm going to go Nido King, Voltorb. Uh, if, I don't know, if, if a water type comes over at me, I think I'll be safe with Kadabra. Executor was kind of a bust, man. He did not do as much damage as I wanted him to. And Kadabra really is a nuke. He's a glass cannon. So here we go. Let's give it a shot. A new teammate in the form of Nido King. Wow. Look at that. A fully evolved. Wow. With a Raichu. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this one's going to be really hard. If I lose Nido King right off the bat, it's over. So we're going to go with Earthquake. I just got to get rid of Raichu. Body Slam. I could potentially get paralyzed here. Didn't get paralyzed. Great. And here goes a big earthquake. You're done, man. Rawr. Yeah, right. You cannot take that. And that same type attack bonus coming off of Nido King, who's like a final evolution, fully evolved Pokemon. All right, this is going to be good. I was just missing him on the team. So since we had a team redo, we're all set. Okay, this is low key kind of scary. Um, Bubble Beam could really hurt me. And I don't know how fast he is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to uh, Voltorb, expecting the Bubble Beam. I'll retaliate with Thunderbolt, and I should be able to survive. Uh, Body Slam? What are you doing? If I get paralyzed... Critical hit? What are you doing? No! No! I needed that! What a waste! What an actual waste! Oh my gosh. Going to Kadabra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's go, Krabby. Dude, Krabby destroyed Voltorb. Yeah, they are entirely different types. Come on, man. Boom! Two hit KO. Look at him walking to the side like a crab does. Body slam is not going to crit me. You're done, man. Unbelievably strong. All right, let's go Psychic. We got this, right? I'm going to knock him out with Psychic. I'll do a final Gambit Psychic on whatever his third Pokemon is. And then I'll come in with Nidoking and I'll proceed to Earthquake, provided they're weak against it. So this is game, set, match. We got this. Checkmate right here. <laughs> Minky! <laughs> Minky! <laughs> I love Minky. Yeah, yo, Minky. He's got the same eyes as Voltorb. All right, here you go, Minky. Get owned. Mankey's a fighting type, right? Gone. Mankey is out. Out of this town. Okay, good. I'm so happy. This is great. This is great. We finally finished it. Excellent work. Sorry, Voltorb. Didn't earn a continue. No worries. We're gonna beat we're gonna beat this now. Minky, Minky. Alright, here we go. Save and quit. Or continue. Come on, Pika Cup. Battle number six. 
Oh, talk to me about this. Wow. Hi, Dabra. Hi, Gast. Hi, Gleetuff. Oh, my gosh. It's gonna be hard. Well, Psychic destroys two of his Pokemon. Hmm. Fighting also hits two of his Pokemon. Electric doesn't do much. Uh, Cedra, Cedra is a water type. Machop is going to lose to that. I mean, wow, this one's really tough to think about. What does Nidoking do again? Nidoking does have double kick, and he has bubble beam. So, I mean, Nidoking's actually good for all-rounded. I kind of want to lead with Voltorb. In case the matchup is bad, I can explode. Which is not bad at all. I also kind of low-key want Starmie. Because Starmie could do a Psy Wave, Bubble Beam, or Thunder. And that's actually going to be really good against this entire team. Uh, Thunder for Seedra. Bubble Beam for Rhyhorn. Psy Wave for Machop and Highgast. Yeah, actually, this is a really good lead right now. Starmie, go. Next up. Man, I think Kadabra does really well no matter what. And I kind of low-key want to bring Nidoking. So I'm going to bring Nidoking. I think this is good. I don't know what Exeggutor is doing, but he's not doing much. Hold on, hold on. Although Exeggutor could actually do some work against these guys. Let me let me look. Well, what does is, what is Exeggutor have? Exeggutor has Toxic, Psy Wave, and Barrage. So these can actually work. Psy Wave can do a lot of damage. Yeah. Barrage is neutral. Toxic is all right. So you know what? Here we go. We're going to go Starmie, Nido King, and Exeggutor. <laughs> I'm benching Kadabra. I'm going to eat those words. Watch. All right, here we go, Starmie. Let's do it. Okay, this is perfect. That's Seedra over there. I have a Thunder. Let's just rock Thunder. Boom! Wow. Oh, come on. Double Edge, what are you doing? Okay, well, I'm not going to risk the... Th oh, wow. Yeah, I'm not going to risk the Thunder Miss again. That that would be kind of silly. So what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, bust out the uh, the Psy Wave. Again, not really knowing what the move does. It did more than five damage, and that's all I needed. So we're good. All right, here we go, here we go. Let's get it, let's get it. Who's next? Highhorn. Yeah, Rhyhorn is ground and rock, meaning that he's gonna be four times weak against his bubble beam coming at him. He's not gonna survive. Coming off of a Starmie, you're done. I win. Wow, he was level 20 as well, folks. He was level 20. Higglytuff? Uh-oh. I don't like Higglytuff. Wow, look at this ugly-looking thing. Psywave substitute Thunder? What is Higglytuff gonna do? Um, I'll just bust out a sub. Let's see what it wants to do. Look at that substitute! Yo, Mega Kick? You better miss, boy! Really? Okay, so that was not bad. I'm gonna do another sub because I, I can't really... Can't really do much outside of that. I'm hoping that it used like a status move or misses. Miss, dude! Unbelievable! Alright, cool, dude. Whatever. Have it. Have it. Wigglytuff, you think I'm afraid of you? I'm gonna go Bubble Beam. Because I think that's strong. And I might reduce the speed stat. In case Wigglytuff is stronger. Yeah, that wasn't good. And I'm going to eat a Mega Kick Miss. Strength? Oh, he threw a rock at me. Youch. Okay, okay. Who do I have here? Nidoking? Yeah, 
Yeah, let's go Nino King. I got this. Uh, Wigglytuff is a normal type in this game, not a fairy type or anything like that. I do have Submission. Or, I'm sorry, I have Double Kick. I could do a Double Kick? Yeah. What's the, what's the problem here? Is Double Kick going to be stronger than Earthquake, though? <laughs> That's the thing. Damage calcs, bro. Alright, I've got the Double Kick. I'm fine. Watch. Outsped. Here's one kick. Two kicks. One, two. Yeah, it wasn't as strong as what I hoped. And and Wigglytuff's gonna kick back. That was way strong, dude. Double kick is so bad. That's okay, I'm gonna double kick again. The animations are so cool. It's like zoom in once, zoom in twice. Alright, I kicked that Wigglytuff all the way down. Wow, it bounced on his belly. What a little bunny. Great, and there goes the battle. Hiker, you're done. I think we're almost done, friends. Okay, we did lose Starmie, but Starmie did a hard carry for the first two Pokemon. Did great. Let's knock out this next one and see what's up. Oh, man. Who am I going to use against the last? Okay, you got three. Ooh, I'm going Voltorb first. Um, well, you got Gyarados, Gyarados, Tentacruel, and Dugong, who are water types. I can bring my electric type and have a 50-50 shot at knocking them out. Uh, I could also bring Starmie, who can attack with Thunder, which is also really good, and knock out Arcanine. And then I can also bring Exeggutor. What does Exeggutor do? He's, he doesn't do much, actually. Or Kadabra for, like, Psychic. Yeah, I mean... Mr. Mime doesn't do much either. Attack 22. I mean, I think I'm gonna go Exeggutor. Let, let's bring Exeggutor and see what's up. He's gotta be able to do something. Otherwise, he's just... He's taking up a spot. Alright, here we go. Semi-finals. Uh, here we... Oh, gosh. This is not a good matchup. Arcanine? What the heck is Arcanine gonna do? Oh, my goodness gracious. Um, how about we do this? RK9. I'm going to Thunder Wave RK9. What? Yo, that thing is fast. That's not okay. Who am I sacrificing now? I'm gonna lose. Oh my gosh, did I just lose? Starmie? If I can't, I can't take a... If I bring in Exeggutor, it's a resist to hit, then he's going to proceed to Fire Blast me, and then I'm going to lose next turn anyway. And then I'm just going to be in the same spot as Voltorb, where I get outsped by Arcanine. So I just have to take the loss. And then bring in Starmie and hope for the best. This is very bad. An Arcanine that outsped... No, I have not. I'm going Thunder Wave. Whoa, it's a speed tie? That's gross. Dude, that's a speed tie? And a crit? Take me, man. Take me, I'm done. It was a speed tie. Wow. Voltorb was gonna take me home, man. It was just a bad lead. It was a bad lead and I couldn't do anything about it. So, we had to get rid of him. Alright, let's see if we can dig ourselves out of this mess. Good! Look at me outspeeding over here. You better dig underwater, or underground, man. Go ahead and dig. See what happens. Good! Great. Since I can outspeed, I can actually put up a substitute right now and potentially dodge, maybe mitigate some of the damage, take a quarter health versus like half health. Yeah, it did. 
Okay, this is good. We salvaged ourselves. We only lost a quarter of our health. A substitute takes away... Uh, it uses your turn, but it gives you... Uh, it takes away... Sorry. It uses your turn, gives you a substitute that can block an attack, but it only has health equal to that of one-fourth of your total health. So it's a good strat. Worked out. Yes, Tentacruel. Okay, okay. Tentacruel, I don't think, can do anything to me. I think I outspeed and win this one. But I remember that this Pokemon is very fast. And it's level 20. It used Surf. Not very effective, but still very strong. I don't think I can take two of them. And did I hit the Thunder? Wow, crushed it. Oh, that's not strong at all. Oh, goodness gracious. I don't think I could take another Surf. Should I just switch? I, 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 yeah, I can, I cannot take another Surf. Like, at all. Okay, here we go. I'm going to do this. I'm going to switch. I'm going to go to Executor and hopefully take the Surf. That's all I got. That's all I got, man. I don't think I'm going to make it, though. Come on, Executor. You got this, man. Rap? Can I... Can I poison a poison type? Yo, rap is the worst. Because, like, once you're wrapped, you don't do anything. I don't know if Toxic can work on a... A poison Pokemon. I need a hard confirm or deny if that works in this game. Ah. <sighs> Dude, this is terrible. It's just gonna wrap me to until I'm fainted. All right, we'll be here for a little bit, friends. Do I switch out when it wraps and then lose? What's the? What are we doing here? I don't know what's going to happen here. I think we lose. Dude, he's just non-stop rapping. I can't do anything. It still can't attack until he uses something else. So I can switch out of rap in Generation 1. So I'm just going to switch out, man. It's ridiculous. What's going to happen? Is he going to use rap again, or now what happens? Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? I don't know if it will. Rap me. Surf, you know what? I just lost Starmie due to impatience. It's hard. Yeah, there is, and I lost Volt. I did. Did I bring Voltorb? Yeah, I lost Voltorb due to a speed tie with Arcanine. No, man. All right, go Psywave. He's gonna wrap. Oh, thank you. What's Surf gonna do? Wow, that hurts so much. What's Psywave gonna do? I'm done. I lose. Psywave does like an ounce of damage. All right, GG's. Give up. Where's the give up button? That's so actual bad. I don't know how to beat that. I He's the level 20 as well. He's five levels higher. There's no way. I need to bring in, uh, I need a good starter. Boom, boom, boom. And he brought Mr. Mime in the back? There's no way I could have won that one. 
I'm going to... I'm going to continue. Dude, look at this. Look at these options right here. Tell me about these options. How misleading these options are. I'm going to continue. We're going to we're gonna rematch it. We're going to run that back. Alright, here we go. Semi-final against the last. Let's see what happens with the last over here. I need some good Pokemon that are going to be fast and furious. I'm going to go lead Starmie. I'm going to go Voltorb. And then I need Kadabra because I need the speed stats. That's it. Lead Starmie very quick. Faster than Voltorb. We got this. Oh, here it is. Here it is. This is a good matchup. This is actually a really good matchup. Exactly what I was expecting. Here's Bubble Beam. How? Oh, he's switching. Oh my gosh. Look at that. What a beautiful switch. This is the first time we're seeing... Please get the speed fall. OMG right now. Faster and use toxic? Oh gosh. Please do the thunder. This is 50% off right here. Boom. Good, good, good. So if he wraps me while I have toxic, am I going to take toxic damage and be unable to attack after that? Oh my gosh, this is terrible. Alright, I'm bringing Voltorb in, man. That's ridiculous. Because if I just stayed in, I would have eaten three turns of toxic damage. And I would have been done. So here we go. Easy switch. I don't eat an attack. So we're gonna go T-Bolt. Because I just gotta get rid of this thing. There's no way you're faster, but I can take one Surf. I think Voltorb can take one Surf. Oh! Oh my gosh! There's no way! Kadabra, it has to be. Kadabra, you have to bail me out here. Can strategy overcome? Dude, you're five levels higher than me and you're getting a surf. I have to take the surf. Thank you, Kadabra. Oh my goodness gracious, help me. That was real hard. All right, all right. He's right. He's got two Pokemon. I have a weakened Kadabra. It's unbelievable. I don't have anything against this right now. I can do 15 damage, guaranteed, or I can try a metronome and hope and pray for the best. I'm going YOLO. We're going YOLO metronome. Ember. Barely, like, 15 damage. Seismic Toss would have been stronger. And I'm going to eat a Psychic. Okay, okay. Here's the thing, here's the thing. Here's the thing, friends. I don't win this one. Starmie does not win this one being poisoned. I'm going to eat like a Psychic and end up losing a hit. I don't think Starmie... Is Star, Star, Starmie's not Psychic. It's water, right? Psy Wave, Sub, Bubble Beam, Thunder. I mean, it's going to be a 2 hit KO of anything. Unless I get really, really lucky with Thunder and Paralysis. And then he gets fully paralyzed. That's the only thing I can count on. This is so hard. Oh, and I missed the shot. Excellent. Excellent. Knock me out, buddy. And my special fell? What are you talking about, man? I need my special. I could have won this one. This is terrible. I have to... I, I lose this one. Yeah, I lose. Oh, fudge, man. I don't know, man. I'm out. 
There's no winning that. All right, last. Here we go. Semi-final. We got this. We 100% got this. How do I get this? Okay, so Kadabra has a speed stat of 40. Starmie has a speed stat of 43, so faster. Voltorb has a speed stat of 39, which speed ties with Arcanine. Mr. Mime 36, Executor is dead weight. Um, Nido King. Starmie has to be the one, and then I have to jump in with Kadabra. Maybe we go Lee Kadabra? I don't have like someone with reflect or light screen. I don't I don't know how I'm gonna get this because What's her name? Uh, the the cruel, the tenta cruel is so strong. So here we go. We're gonna go Starmie lead. We're gonna go Kadabra. And then Voltorb for maybe the explosion. Or what does Mr. Mime do? He doesn't, he does Mega Kick and Metronome. These are, these are terrible. Nido King is going to get wrecked by the Surf. So I'm just going Voltorb. All right, let, let's give it a shot. It's hard. This is actually really hard. The last man. Oh, hello. Dugong. Uh, you better not, you better not do anything crazy, Dugong. Don't go getting ideas now. Good. Please don't miss Thunder, man. Oh, help me. Watch me get paralyzed, too. Hi. With a horn drill? You're not gonna hit this. Unbelievable. No way, dude. I did not take a capture of that. Absolutely not. No way. No absolute way. This is this is gonna be hard. Here we go, last semifinals. Stormy lead. Kadabra, back up. And we're gonna go Voltorb. The semi-final, Starmie versus Lass. Do get, do get over here. I better not miss this thunder, I'm just saying. Here we go, do get. Yeah, eat this, do get. Boom! It's not a KO. Big body slam, I could take it. I got paralyzed? No! Oh my gosh, that's so bad. I don't have any other good moves. I just have to thunder and hope and pray it doesn't miss. Switching out? Who's gonna who's gonna take a thunder? My miss? Oh gosh. And I got fully paralyzed? Come on! No! What's gonna happen? Is he gonna use psychic? Oh What am I gonna do here? If he uses psychic, I can bring in. Voltorb. No, I need a fresh switch in. Dude, getting paralyzed is the absolute worst. So I'm gonna just hope and pray that Thunder paralyzes him. I'll take one Psychic. That was not effective. Dude, twice! Wow, fully paralyzed, man. Stop. I can't do this, man. Seismic? For 15 damage, I survive, so I'm good. I can't take two of them, though. Dude, don't miss it! That's actually really strong. So I'm hoping that Voltorb can come in and just finish him off. I got paral fully paralyzed twice, man. Is it down and out? Uh, yeah, it is. Here we go. We're going uh, Voltorb. Voltorb has to be able to do 24 damage against this mister. 
or else I'm going to be taking a free Psychic for no reason, and then Dugong's going to have a field day with me. So I have to go. I could... No, I got to do two Thunderbolts. But remember, he still has his level 20 in the wings. Oh, that's not a, that's not a good hit. I'm going to eat a Psychic right now. Oh, shoot, man. I'm done. And my special fell? What? Oh, great. This is the absolute worst. I can do nine damage with a special fall, right? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Pokemon Stadium! What is this game? <sighs> What's Kadabra gonna do? Outspeed? Do a Psychic? Should I do a Metronome in hopes that something cool happens? I don't know. Do a double team? This guy's not going to touch me with anything. I'm going to do a double team. I have to play cheap against cheap. That's right. I got to play cheap against cheap over here, man. Okay, that's very powerful, and I'm done. I have level... I have plus two. I have plus two evasion right now. If this Tentacruel comes in here, I, it needs to be Tentacruel. Because if it's not Tentacruel, I lose against Gyarados. I have plus two evasion. I don't think I could take a Surf. I don't think I could take a bunch of Wraps. I don't think I outspeed it. Okay, here we go. This is it. Will the two evasions help me win this? I don't know. We're going psychic. Surf, miss. Uh, crit? That's the opposite of what I wanted. <laughs> Gosh, help. Help, Pokemon Stadium, man. Oh. Here we go. The last in the semifinals. Let's go, dude. Let's go. We got this. Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime. Nido King. Mr. Mime comes out. I'm going to go Starmie, Kadabra. Toxic Barrage. Dude, I need T waivers, man. I need people who can actually T-wave. Alright, I'm bringing Kadabra, Voltorb, Starmie. Lead Starmie. The semifinals, this is it, he says. Oh my goodness gracious. Duget? Oh, I don't like Duget. Duget's rough. Duget does a little body slam. Here's hoping that I get good RNG. And I can hit the thunder. Excellent, with a crit. Oh. Take it down on the word go, baby. It's exactly the perfect first turn. Don't like Mimus at all. But Mimus, you know what? He's good. Mr. Mime is all right. I don't mind Mr. I just got to thunder this boy and get him paralyzed. Ugh. Okay, Psychic is just baby damage. Let's see how much it actually does. And you got my special stat? That did 10 damage. What's a quarter of 47? Hold on, I actually have to look that up. I have to look that up, because if I can get a sub up... Yeah, I could put a sub. I could put a sub up, and it'll survive. The has an 
Yeah, let me put a sub up and see what happens. It's 11, 1175. Okay, not worth it. Uh, Min-max damage is just not worth it for me. Um, he's using Psychic. I just gotta do work. My special fell, which is the worst. And I missed another- Come on, dude! And you got a crit on that? Get out! Dude, this is unbelievable. They're like, here, let me give you a critical hit first turn and then allow me to miss every single thunder. Unbelievable. All I have is Kadabra. I'm not going to use Voltorb because I need Voltorb against... Um, oh, no, I do need to use Voltorb. I'll use Voltorb. I'll use a Thunder, and then I'll use an Explosion. Or a Thunderbolt, then an Explosion. I got this. Here we go. Check this out. Or I can just T-Wave it. Yeah, let's T-Wave it. Because then if I could get my Evasion up to plus 6 with Kadabra, while taking advantage of him being paralyzed, that's great. Yeah, it is. Oh, dude. Thunder Wave is really powerful in this generation. I didn't press takedown! I didn't press that. I pressed Thunderbolt, dude. That's lame. Look, I'm pressing down on the stick. Not left or right. I pressed down, man. <laughs> There's no buttons. You have to press on the stick this time around. Boom! Okay, okay. Dude, he's getting fully paralyzed every time. This is good. I pressed diagonal. Uh-oh. Good. Give it to me. See? That extra three damage from uh, takedown is what I needed. And he's fully paralyzed again. Okay. We could do this. We could do this. Yo, T-Wave was the move. That was the absolute move. Misclick didn't matter. Minus the two HP and recoil that I got. So, here comes Tentacruel. Or, you know, maybe it's Gyarados. We haven't even seen Gyarados yet. There's only one Pokemon left in reserve. Gyarados. Come on, Tentacruel! Oh, shoot. I have to T-Wave it or something. I don't think I can survive a Surf. I don't survive a surf, let alone with my 2 HP that I need it. What if I didn't have that recoil? Just throwing that out there. Alright, here we go. He's five levels higher than Kadabra. There's absolutely no way I can survive a surf. I don't outspeed this. Unless I get a critical hit on Psychic, there's no way of uh, me winning this one. That's it. Here we go. Tentacruel's the worst. I'll take one, but I need this crit so bad. GG's. Unless you miss this, you don't miss a surf. <laughs> oh no, man. Dude, this is not happening. You get a crit? There's no way. Alright, let's do this. Semi-finals. Lass, you're mine. There's no way, man. Alright, I'm going lead Voltorb. I'm going Starmie. And then I'm going Kadabra. That's it. That's all I need.
Starting off with Tentacruel? I can't take a Surf. This is You're just going to take my Voltorb away. Unbelievable! Yo, leading off with your big boy. I don't know if strategy is going to overcome it. You're going to end up toxicing and rapping me. I need this paralysis from Thunder. Good. Critical hit super effective. What? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's not going to use Surf. It's got the toxic on me already. Dude, critical hit, not even good enough. He's now gonna use rap. I'm gonna switch out. Okay, you know what? We got him. Oh, yes! Don't miss this. Oh, oh my gosh. We have a chance. We have a chance right here. Oh my gosh, we actually have a chance. I knocked out Tentacruel thanks to a lucky miss on rap and a crit. There's no way that that's gonna happen. Mimus, dude. Don't like Mimus at all. And I don't like being poisoned, but... I don't... I, I don't want to eat these hits. I'm going to go safe with the bubble beams, man. I don't like missing thunders, bro. It's too risky. That's like a three-hit KO, maybe a four-hit KO. Okay, I'm eating a lot of, of uh, poison damage. I think I need to switch out. <sighs> because I could switch into Kadabra. Kadabra's not going to do much in this battle. I got to get rid of that poison that's like really hurting me. Or we just go with the free switch in and just like figure it out. I'm thinking of what the other Pokemon could be. It could be a Dugong where I have super effective damage against it. Or it could be an Arcanine where I also have super effective damage against it. I may have to sacrifice Kadabra. I'm going to. And I have Seismic Toss. Look at that health, right? Look at Mr. Mime's health right now. It's 28. Seismic Toss is 15. So that's going to be a two-hit KO with Seismic Toss. I'm good. Come in on a resisted hit. I can take maybe three of these. Perfect. Yeah, I win. Unless he does like some sort of mega kick nonsense. Or barrier or Seismic Tosses myself. Yeah, if he starts Seismic Tossing, I have two HP remaining. Oh, man. Okay, okay. Yo, I'm, I'm like 10 moves ahead of this guy. Watch. Boom! Okay, excellent, excellent. Seismic Toss does the amount of damage as your level. So he's going to do the exact same thing. I have 32, which is a 3-hit KO. This is good. I'm going to survive with 17 HP into the next battle, and I could just fire off a Psychic. And then I could have, um, I could have Starmie come in and just finish it off. Whatever is coming. Okay, I think this is it. Yeah, Seismic Toss never crits. <sighs> okay, do get. Oh my gosh, do get. Do not do get. Oh gosh, do get's the worst. Do get his horn drill. Do get can one hit KO my Starmie. So, this next turn over here. I'm done. I lose. So, here's here's if I win or not. If I hit this thunder, I win. If I hit the thunder, I win. If I miss the thunder, I lose. So, it's all a coin flip right now. Thunder's accuracy is, what, 70? Oh, my gosh, man. It's done. This is it, man. There's no other chance right now. There's no other chance. 
This is all it is right here. Come on, Thunder. Oh, baby. Go, go, go. Yes, yes. That's so good. Dude, last was so hard. We had a lot of luck, though. We did, we did. Uh, getting the crit totally mattered on that level 20 tentacruel. And the fact that he missed the wrap. Oh my gosh. If that didn't happen, man. And the sheer amount of damage that we were able to calculate. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That was so hard. Okay, we're moving on. Here we go. Pika Cup final battle. Who in the world are these guys? Oh my gosh. I don't have any ice moves to knock out the dragon. What am I going to do? There's... There's no way. There's there's no way I can knock out Dragonair. Uh, okay, okay. So, so how this is going to work. <clears throat> you're going to either have Dragonair come out. So I have to like T-wave it somehow. Because Dragonair is going to destroy me. Yeah. Dragonair... Uh, Mr. Starmie, I don't know what's going to happen here. Okay, so Voltorb, I'm going to lead off with. I'm going to go with Starmie. And I have to go with Kadabra. Mr. Mime was a little redundant. Throwing that out there. 100% redundancy. Here it goes. This is actually really tough. I have to... I have to T-wave this thing and hope and pray for the best. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little faster, which is fine. Dragon Rage. Does that do 40 in this game? You're unbelievable. That's illegal. You should not be able to have a move that does 40 damage. Set. All right, I'm out. I'm lucky that my Kadabra has 41. Yeah, I do. Alright, we're going Psychic. This should do more than 20 damage. Good. Oh my gosh, that was really rough. I lost... Okay, you know what? This is fine. This is 2v2. I already have Kadabra. If Slowbro comes out, I'm done. Okay. Hi. Well, this should be a... I hope it's a two-hit KO. Better not be three. Clefable's bulky. Oh my gosh, 33? No, man. We, and a double edge? Oh, I'm done. No way! No actual way, man. Do you get recoil damage? Where's the recoil damage? You don't get recoil damage if you end up KOing the, KOing the Pokemon. What kind of bogus... There's no way. You don't get re- Dude, she took away all of my health and didn't get any recoil. I don't know what this thing's gonna try to do. I have to thunder it and get out of here and hope and pray like I get a paralysis, dude. Oh, help me. And you have Thunderbolt? <laughs> and critical hit super effective. Great. Yep. S 
So... What do we do? Psywave Bulbeam Thunder Substitute? Psywave sucks. Alright, here we go, here we go, here we go. We got this, we got this. Voltorb. Lead Voltorb worked for me. Dude, Mister is not good. I mean, there's no real physical attackers for me to use Barrier. This is not good. Executor, dead weight. Absolutely trash. <sighs> Can't do much about that. Okay, lead Voltorb, yes. And then who else comes out here? Fable? Clefable? What are you doing? Clefable has Thunderbolt and some Hyper Beam nonsense? Dude, Clefable destroys me. Um, Raticate probably destroys me too. I gotta bring Starmie and uh, Kadabra. Here we go. Let's do this. All right, Dragonair. The only way that this goes well is if I do the T-Wave and then he gets fully paralyzed. That's the only way that this goes very, very well for me. Dragon Rage, 40 damage. Just out the door. Always set 40 damage. That is ridiculous. Alright, here we go. We're gonna go with the explosion. I need a crit. But it doesn't matter. Because Voltorb goes away. Kadabra comes in. Oh, look at that crit. It didn't matter. Crit did not matter at all. Okay, who's coming in now? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't need a crit on that. But it's 1v1, right? It's gone. Now we just bring in a Pokemon. Uh, Starmie is very fast. Kadabra is also very fast. You typically bring your fastest Pokemon, and that is going to be Kadabra. But this thing's got... You got a... Clefable? Golduck? Tentacool? Broish? I can't do Broish! Psychic Tri-Attack Surf Disable? Oh my gosh, I'm done! That's going to be a four-hit KO, man. Watch. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm going to eat a Surf. Maybe I can eat one Surf. Psychic's not going to do anything. Double Team's not going to do anything. Seismic Toss is going to do 15 damage. I just got a Metronome, man. This is luck. Luck-based. Stomp! Oh, great. That's going to be two damage. Wow, five damage. Okay. Yep, now hit me with a Surf. Try attack Okay. I gotta do another metronome, man. I hope that, like, I don't know, I got a Thunderbolt or something. Barrier? I think Tri-Attack is a special attack. I lose. I just lost Kadabra. Oh, Tri-Attack's physical. Great. <laughs> this is so silly right now. Alright, here we go. Come on, metronome Thunderbolt, man. Give me an electric move. Oh my gosh! Oh! Oh! Dude, 1 HP? That was... Man, I don't know about this luck. There is... Do you know how many moves there are in Generation 1 Pokemon? And I nailed Thunder? The one that I was asking for? No way. Absolutely not. I did, although I did need... I, I needed it to lose. But this is okay. Whatever. I could have used an extra Psychic. Alright. We're going Bubble Beam. It's 1 HP. Okay, so he either has... Clefable? If he has Clefable, I lose. If he has Golduck, I win. If he has Tentacool, I win. So... I don't know, man. There's nothing. I can't I can't win. Unless I get this thunder crit fully paralyzed. There's no way I can win this. 
I didn't get any of that. And that's a three hit KO. And the Thunderbolt is going to KO me. Non-stab though. Okay. I mean, I needed one more turn. So if Slowbro didn't survive on one HP, I need a crit, man. Just give me the crit. Oh, weak sauce. I was so close. Ugh, man. This is this is garbanzo beans, bro. That's it. Okay, okay, okay. Who do we lead with? Voltorb. Starmie Kadabra. I don't know. I don't know, friends. 39 special attack. 45 special attack. What? <sighs> Slowbro. If Slowbro comes out and I'm Executor, maybe Executor can do some work. Yeah. Starmie Voltorb, Ex Executor. Let's try it out. Let's try it out. Executor can hard wall uh, some of these dudes. Maybe. Maybe. Here we go. Here we go. We're going Thunder Wave on Dragonair. In hopes of what? Getting the full paralysis? Honestly, it doesn't matter at this point. Dragon Rage does 40 damage set. Man, imagine if I did if I had 39 health. Alright, so I'm gonna explode to get out of here. Not enough. Who's gonna come in here and do the work against this thing? I don't have Kadabra to take it out. What's Starmie gonna do? Thunder's resisted, Bubble Beam's resisted. Uh, Psy Wave does nothing. Executor can't do anything outside of Barrage. He's going to end up eating the 40 HP hit unless I can somehow Barrage him and he gets fully paralyzed. No, man. Executor is going to eat the 40 damage Dragon Rage right now. I have nothing to KO this thing. Psy Wave doesn't do it in Dragon and uh, Mega Drain doesn't do it either. So let's just Barrage, I guess. I don't know what Barrage is doing. That was terrible. Fully paralyzed. Yes! Okay, okay. I just need 12 damage. See, the thing is, I don't know what Psy Wave does. Just go Psy Wave. We're gonna see what it does. If I don't secure the KO with Psy Wave, then I'm just I'm I'm dismissing it forever. Seven damage. Fully paralyzed. What is the description of Psy Wave? I don't understand. I'm getting so lucky right now. I, so I'm done with Psy Wave. I'm never using that. I got so lucky with those paralysis. You have no idea. What's Clefable gonna do? Metronome, Double Edge, Hyper Beam, Thunderbolt? I, I have to Toxic it. I don't have anything else. Double Edge hurts, bro. That's so hurtful. I better not miss Toxic. What? What no effect? Oh, get owned, man. Ugh. All right. Well, you know what? Whatever. You'll hit me again. See what happens. What is this Mega Drain going to do? Not even nine damage. Bet. Okay, that was actually low-key a little powerful. But the double edge is happening right now anyway. And I don't have enough damage. I don't have enough damage on this thing. I don't have enough damage on it, so that Starmie comes in with the thunder. A oh, hyper beam? 
There's no recoil if you get the KO either. There's no recoil turn. If you KO with Hyper Beam, there's no recharging. There's no way I can win this, friends. Oh, crazy fruit. Welcome. Unless I got a I get unless I got a thunder thunder clap. Dunk. It may not attack. You better not may not attack. Oh, it does. Hold on, hold on. You do get the recharge. Okay, that's great. Good to know. Uh, can I do 13 with Bubble Beam, please? Or should I risk the sub? Maybe risk the sub, yeah? Who's going to be out in the wing? I'm going to risk the sub right now. I'm going to do the substitute. In hopes that the fully paralysis happens. Yes! 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 This is win condition. Yes! Bubble Beam should be able to KO. More than 13. Thank you. Dude, the paralysis was so good. All right, here it is. Here it is. Get it. Get it. Watch, 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 watch. Who's coming? Tentacool, please. Tentacool or Golduck? No Raticate. Bro. Oh, bro. Okay, you know what? He's, he's fine. He, this is okay. I can deal with this. I just gotta get my Thunder. I gotta make sure Thunder doesn't miss. Wait, where's my substitute? Good. The substitute took the hit? Oh, man! Yo, the substitute took the hit! Yes! Don't miss this thunder, baby! We win! Yes! Wow! That was... Uh, there was a lot of luck involved with that battle, man. But trust me, I needed every bit of it. Pokemon Stadium! There's no way, man! Did Executor do anything? No, man, I'm never using that guy again. Wow, we did it, friends. Voltorb! Hard carry with the with the T-Wave. Starmie, you made it? Yes, absolutely. Executor, we're gonna have a talk. Kadabra, awesome. Way to go. Yes, 100%. Nido King did the job against the electrics fine. Mister, mm, maybe we'll bench you. But that's it. We got ourselves a trophy. Pika Cup is clear. Wow. That was hard. Oh, man. Done in the na na. Wow. Okay, cool. Well, that's the Pika Cup. Let's uh, jump in and do another cup. Thanks for watching Pokemon Stadium. Oh my gosh, friends, that was so hard. I do not know anything about this game. This is so hard, man. I thought I would. this would be an easy walk in the park. But if you're not transferring your own Pokemon and speed running through it, no, you gotta use these rentals, bro. All right, let's do Petite Cup. Yeah, so we did Pika Cup first. We're gonna do Petite Cup next. Oh my gosh. What's gonna happen in the Petite Cup? Unbelievable, man. Okay, so was that hard? Rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, all of you guys at home. Petite Cup. Let us let me let me actually look in the Petite Cup. We'll see which Pokemon are good. And then we'll go from there. These are like the babies. Rental only, man. So hard, man. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so Bulbasaur, Charmander, Squirtle makes sense, right? Leech Seed... Mega Drain, Solar Beam. Solar Beam's the worst because it's a two-turn charge-up attack. Charmander, Fire Blast, Mega Punch, Growl. He really only does one thing, and that's Fire Blast. Squirtle, Submission is good. Bubble Beam is also really good. Yeah, Squirtle's great. Oh, let me see Pikachu. Thunder Wave. Pikachu with Thunder Wave is good. And he's got 61 speed. He's going to be outspeeding everyone. Sandshrew with Dig and Rock Slide. That's great coverage. For, like, everyone. Wow. Okay, okay. Vulpix? Ember? Wow, dude. Vulpix versus Charmander? Vulpix is way better. 
Okay, who else? Who else? Uh, give me some other one. Clefairy, what do you do? F no, forget that. Jigglypuff. Uh, Oddish versus... Oh, Oddish has Sleep Powder! Versus Bulbasaur? Uh, hold on, hold on. Oddish has Acid Sleep Powder, though. His speed is 31. He's not gonna get it. Uh, Bulbasaur, though. Leech Seed. Mega Drain. Not that great. I need a better Grass type. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Paris. Stun Spore, Mega Drain, Dig, Leech Life. Eh, it's okay. Diglet, Dig. Trio, Trio, Trio. Diglet is way faster. Uh, defense is 28 versus Sand True. Wow. Diglet is like Glass Cannon. If you don't secure the KO, he loses. Versus this guy who's not going to... Who's going to take a hit? Wow. Okay, let me see. Poliwag? Hypnosis Surf Psywave? I mean, I love Psywave. You guys know me. Okay, Growlithe. Fire... Bl no, no, no. We're using... We're using... Um, we're going to be using Vulpix, for sure. Write that down. Abra? Psh, no. Psywave? Get out of here. Machop? Oh, Low Kick is good. Yeah, yeah. You never know if you're going to need that. And Fire Blast Seismic Toss? I'm into it. Bellsprout. Mega Drain. Poison Powder. No, no, no. We don't need that. Geodud? Rock Throw Self-Destruct is good. Magnemite as Electric. No, Pikachu is going to be our person, right? Let's see. What does Pikachu have? Pikachu has Thunder Wave and Thunder. So it's pretty risky. All these Pokemon look really good. Farfetch'd? Nah. Magnemite? I already looked at. Shelder? Ooh, Shelder with Clamp and Ice Beam? Can we talk about that? That's really good. Ghastly. Mega Drain. Thunder. That... Ghastly's good. Very frail, but like, dude, you can do Thunder and Mega Drain and Nightshade for 25 set damage. Not bad. Krabby. Surf Strength. Surf's not going to do a lot. Guillotine, one-hit KO, though. Voltorb, my guy. I like Voltorb because he's going to go 66 speed. He's going to have Thunder and Thunder Wave. Is that better than Pikachu, though? Thunder and Thunder Wave. I would say so. And you got Self-Destruct? No, does not have Self-Destruct this time around. Has Screech. Specials 44 versus 41. Yeah, I think we're going Voltorb. We're going Voltorb. I've also gotten my fire type right over here, which is Vulpix. I need I still need a water or grass. Let's take a look. Who else is here? Uh Horsey. Bubble Beam Ice Beam. Whoa, hey, hey, hey. Who are you? Bubble Beam Ice Beam. Horsey. Goldeen? Whoa, bubble coughing? What do you have? Dang, look at that. Yo, the coverage on coughing though. Magikarp, nope. Ditto, nope. Eevee? Never gonna use Eevee. Ammonite? Oof, nope. Kabuto? Ice Beam Surf? Kabuto is rock water, though. Mm, versus just straight. Yeah, that's not gonna be too good. Speed is 44. Let me see. It's either Horsey or Kabuto. Bide? You know, I'll go Horsey. Horsey's gonna be it. Dratini, of course. Yeah, we need Thunder and Fire Blast. Dratini's gonna be good. But, like, I need other Psychic types. Was there not, like, Drowsy or something? There's no, there's no, like, Psychic types with, with the move Psychic or anything. What am I missing here? Caterpie, Pidgey, no. Guys, who are we even bringing? I'm back to square one over here. Poliwag? Psywave, dude. Gross. How fast are you, though? 61 speed. Dude, I don't I don't see Drowsy anywhere. Yeah, he's not here. Some Pokemon are just not here. <laughs> I wish, dude. Dratini makes sense because of all the... Um, all the resistances, right? That makes sense. So I'll go Dratini. I'll also go Horsey. Uh, I need a Grass. I need a Grass type. And an Electric type. I have zero Psychic types, man. 
don't see anyone with psychic moves. Bone Club? Oh, I need like, yeah, I also said we were gonna go with um, the safe sand true. Rock slide dig slash poison sting, that's great. Oh my gosh, who who's my grass? Uh, Paris? Stun Spore, Mega Drain, Dig, Leech Life. That's weak. Bulbasaur is weak too. Bulbasaur does not have anything good. Mega Drain. Uh, hey, Whimsy, what's going on? Yeah, absolutely we'll play Zelda when it comes out. Stay tuned. We'll actually jump into Breath of the Wild again a little bit later on uh, in the month. But thank you for the super chat. Appreciate you. Yeah, you're great. Oh, man. All right, so friends, here we go. I, I need one more Pokemon to fill in this gap. And it's got to be a grass type. Because if you have that fire, water, grass core, that's amazing. Then you have electric, you have a dragon. Oddish, sleep powder is very, very appealing, but solar beam is just... I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Bellsprout, Mega Drain is rough. I don't think there's any other grass types. There's only four candidates. I think I'm going to go with Paris. Leech Life, I mean, that is one of the only moves that you can use against Psychic Pokemon. So I think this is going to be our team. I think this is going to be our team over here. I'm going to click on OK to register. Registration complete. All right. Here we go. Let's do this. Pokemon Stadium, we're jumping into a brand new cup this time around. Previously, we went through the Pika Cup. Now we're doing the Petite Cup where you can only use Pokemon that are babies and do not evolve. Now, this does not have every single unevolved Pokemon in there, uh, as they're missing a couple really, really strong ones. So, I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. I need as much luck as you can send me, because Pokemon Stadium is hard. We're using rental only. It's a challenge, but we'll do it. Good work. All right, you're awesome. Thanks. All right, let's do this. So, all of these guys are weak against fire. That means I'm going to bring Vulpix. Outside of that, they are... I could probably do Dratini, because Dratini has Fire Blast. Great. And then, last but not least, I'm going to bring... Uh, some of them are Bug. Maybe we bring Sand True, or maybe we bring our own Paris. Yeah, we'll just bring our own Paris. This is it. We're all level 25. All these Pokemon have different movesets. Here we go. Let's jump on into it. Even more Pokemon Stadium. Vulpix is going to do the work. Let's do it. Alright, this is Bellsprout. I'm gonna do an Ember? Ew. That's like the babiest form of fire moves. That's like a Mario Fireball. A singular Mario Fireball, man. Poison Powder? That's fine, dude. I'm good. It's okay. Poison's just gonna do, what, three damage per turn? Not even... Yeah, Naughty doesn't even matter. We got this, man. Let's hit this. Let's go, Vulpix. Our team is pretty balanced, right? We got a lot of good Pokemon over here. I kind of sifted through all the rentals and made a nice balanced team that we could take on any challenge. It's going to be easy mode. The Weedly. Wow, a Weedle. Weedle only has two moves in its entire repertoire. Which is String Shot and Poison Sting. Yeah, Weedle's gone. It's a... Wow, it's a one-hit KO. Look at that. Look at that cute little Weedle. Oh, cute. Alright, here we go. Come on, Vulpix. Catter... Wow. Caterpie. We're fine. Easy. It's the first one. He's a bug boy. Of course he's going to be easy. This should be a one-hit KO. Oh, it's a critical hit. Wow, that's rough. We got this. We got this. You know, maybe I should have put Ditto on my team. Low-key, that's what I was thinking right now. Putting Ditto on your team, just transform into whatever Pokemon is over there. But the thing is, though, remember, with Ditto in Generation 1... You have to waste a turn in order to transform, so you're already at a disadvantage, especially if you're um, if you're slower, right? If you're slower than your opponent, so that's really rough. Uh, in future games, Ditto has an automatic ability, a hidden ability that makes him transform. 
Okay, so we got Pidgey, Rattata. Oh, this is interesting. I don't really know my team all that well. Voltorb's going to be really good against Pidgey. Um, yeah, Sandshrew is also going to be really good. I'm going to go lead Sandshrew. I'm going to bring in... Ooh, lead Sandshrew is going to be good against Zubat, against Ekans, uh, uh, and against Pidgey. Which is great. Yeah, that's fine. That's three. Uh, I need to be able to knock out Bulbasaur. So I need to check for Bulbasaur. And that's going to be Vulpix. And then I'll just bring in Dratini uh, for any kind of Thunder Wave support. Because I got Thunder and Fire Blast too. So that's also very, very strong. Alright, I'm ready for it. Let's jump on in. We're going to bring these three. And hopefully Sanchu should be able to do the work. Ekans, perfect. Perfect. Uh, Ekans can't really do much. It's a poison type. I'm going to dig out of here. And I'm a little bit faster, which is good to know. So the unfortunate thing here is that this Pokemon trainer can switch out into like Pidgey or something on the next turn. So dig is really a bad move uh, because it's just so predictable, especially if you know the turns, the turn order. See, look, he's going to switch over to Zubat or something. And then we just wasted all of that. Exactly, exactly. That's fine. I don't mind it. Dig is not going to hit because Zubat's a flying type. But that's okay because we've got really good type coverage in the form of Rock Slide as well. So if there's any flying types, I can come over here with Rock Slide and just hit a super effective hit on any flying type that comes at me. Which is great. Perfect. I can't believe I'm outspeeding. This is amazing. So I was really debating whether or not I should bring Diglett or Sandshrew in this aspect, but we'll see. Oh my gosh, so what happens now? If I dig and he clicks on transform and no one's there, what happens? <laughs> what happens if he transforms and there's no target? Does it transform miss? That's not fair! I'm underground! What if he goes underground while I'm underground? Oh, wow, what a weird speed tie. Oh, that's exactly half. Yikes. I don't know what I want to do here. I don't know the speeds, because it could be speed tie based. Because why did he go first on the second turn? I'm just going to, I'm going to go for slash. It's, it's the safest bet right now. Okay, so I got it. And if he digs... And I got a crit? Oh, dang, okay. Okay, Sandshrew. I see you. And then all there is is Ekans left right now. I'm gonna dig, get him on the next turn, then win. Easy mode. I didn't take a single hit of damage. You realize this. If there was a flawless victory, I would earn that right now. Alright, here we go. Let's go dig. This is good, man. This is, this is big brain... Pokemon gameplay right here. It's gonna try to glare me. Too bad. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> yes. Yes. You're done. You don't survive that. Flawless victory. Didn't take a single hit. So big brained. Actually, we had a lot of luck in that too. Um, I really like Sandshrew's coverage of ground and rock, which is amazing type coverage. It's called like the edge quake, edge quake combo, where you have like earthquake that hits all of the ground weak Pokemon, and if you have someone that resists that, you have Stone Edge, right? Which is going to be a rock move that just destroys them. Stone Edge isn't in Generation One though, so Rock Slide's your best bet. Okay, let's take a look at these guys. All right, what's my best bet? Ah, oh, wow. Okay, so ground is very powerful against three or four out of six of them. So starting off with Sandshrew would be really, really good. Okay, so if Sandshrew's there, the only threat on Sandshrew is Shelder. And uh, I believe Voltorb can take care of Shelder. So I'm going to do Voltorb. And then if... Um... Uh, yeah. 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. I think I'm gonna bring Dratini. Yeah, I'm gonna bring Dratini just in case. I, I think that's a good, a good set right now. I think we're good. Didn't want to bring any uh, water types or anything like that. So Sandshrew knocks out four out of six Pokemon. There we go, coughing, done. I don't think coughing wants to take a dig. So I'm gonna dig right off the bat in hopes that I can just outspeed and then get the KO. Which is exactly what we're gonna do. So he doesn't have any flying types that he can switch into on the next turn. He reveals self-destruct on a dig. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow, man. All right, here's Ghastly. He's going to... A yellow tongue Ghastly. He's done. Yeah, he lick. See you later, dude. All right, here we go. Boom, KO. Ghastly has the lowest defensive stat. There's no way he's going to win. Okay, so the only way that this person can win is if... We mess up, but this is good. Yeah, Geo Dude. Dude Geo. Okay, so Geo Dude, here, watch this. I'm gonna allow him to hopefully self destruct. I'm just gonna dig out of here. See ya, buddy. I have to outspeed a Geo Dude. Alright, so here we go. Oh, he can't use self destruct on the last turn. That's right. There's a clause in the game. That's like, if you use self-destruct on your last Pokemon, it's an automatic loss for you. Like, there's no way that you can win that that round. So, that would have been kind of cool. But critical, it's super effective. We had two perfect runs back-to-back. -back. Wow, man. Yo, the dig... The dig prediction on the self-destruct, though? Let's talk about that. That was so cool. Anyway, Sandshrew's doing a lot of heavy lifting right over here. Perfect. Good, good. This is awesome, man. This was really, really fun. Okay, here we go. Ooh, Electric's gonna be beautiful at this. Okay, yeah, we're going Voltorb first. Uh, Dratini also has Thunder, so we're gonna go Thunder. And there is going to be a Machop, which I don't have a Flying type. So, uh, Machop. Who's gonna knock out Machop? dig on that one. Vulpix, Toxic, Sandshrew, mm, Rock Slide's not gonna work. Horsey. Who's got good defense? 51, 58, 36. I mean, Sandshrew is really weak against everything else, though. I mean, if push comes to shove, I'll just bring Horsey. Alright, let's do Horsey. All right, here we go. Voltorb. Great first start. And here's Spearow. Wow, look at that shiny Spearow. Look at that thing. It's not the color of Spearow. I have to be able to outspeed this. So here's... A, ooh, Thunder. Ah, that's not good. I could potentially miss this. Don't miss the Thunder. Oh, beautiful. Spearow does not take that at all. Spearow has a very, very low special stat. Boom! Look at that! Cool animations. Alright, good. Great start. Hi, Horsey. Alright, what, what's Horsey gonna try? I got a Thunder coming right at you. Same type of attack bonus, Thunder. You're done. Don't miss. Oh, baby. Yeah, see you later, babies! All right, are we gonna get three perfect runs in a row? That's impossible. Crab lore. Ooh, ooh. Crabby, am I gonna hit three thunders in a row? Impossible. Dunked on him with a crit at the end. Oh my gosh. Get owned, Crabby. Turn you into uh some crab meat over here. Make some sushi together. Dude, that was so good. Voltorb's great. He's giving you the eyebrow. Yes. 
Dun dun dun! Perfect! Extra continue! It's like it's an arcade or something. Alright, that's half the cup. You know, half the cup is good. I'm very happy about that. So, let's continue on and see what we can do. <laughs> okay! You guys ready? Petite Cup. Battle 5 in Pokemon Stadium. Ooh, okay, okay. Analyzing, analyzing. Uh, okay, okay. You got ground. Ooh, water, water. Okay, water takes out two. I don't have anything for Abra besides, like, strength moves. Uh, ooh. Okay, so I'm going to bring water first. Horsey does a really good job against a majority of the cast here. Um, meow Meow. I don't know about Meow Meow. Yeah, I mean, I was going to try. I'm going to try Horsey right off the bat. I'm going to do Voltorb because he's very strong. And I'm going to roll... I'm going to roll with Sandshrew. I don't need Fire. Fire gets benched. Dratini is Thunder and Fire Blast. So I don't really need Thunder or Fire Blast. So you're going to get uh, a pass. Paris doesn't need any of that. So I'm going to roll with, uh, yeah, we're going to roll with Voltorb and Sandshrew. And we're good. Let's see what happens. Okay, <clears throat> let's do it, Horsey. I'm into this. Wow, look at this little baby Growlithe. Okay. This is a perfect match. I'm going to go with the Bubble Beam right off the bat. Oh, he did not switch out. Okay, perfect. Bubble Beam, boom, to Hikeo. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Double edged. Ouch, man. Critical hit. You're not going to KO me. 15 damage recoil? Oh, five. Come on, man. That's rough. Ouch. I guess I'm going bubble beam. That was hard. That was a hard hit. Okay, good. Get it. Growl, growl. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Love that. All right, here we go, Growl Growl. Horsey's doing the work. This is, I have one move that I can use against anyone that comes in here. Polly Polly, great. What's Polly Polly going to do? Probably like a body slam or something. I don't want to use smoke screen. I'll probably just aim for the damage. Let's go swift. I'll go for the damage. Oof. Yo, outsped? Damn. Oh my god. Wow, cool. Yeah, Swift never misses in this game. It's programmed to have like 101 accuracy. Something like that. And Swift was actually pretty powerful. So whatever this thing wants to do, go for it. Here's a bubble beam. Enjoy. All right, so he confirms that he has body slam bubble beam. I could come in with Voltorb. And proceed to do a Thunder in hopes that I can secure the KO. If I don't secure the KO, I'll take a Body Slam. Maybe two of them. I just gotta not miss a Thunder, man. That's, that's, the, that's the name of Pokemon Stadium. The name of Pokemon Stadium is Pokemon Stadium, parentheses, don't miss the Thunder. And then you win. Polly Polly. Alright, here we go. So, Poliwhirl was the only reason I brought Voltorb in. If there is a Cubone, I lose. I'm gonna... Oh, I can't explode out. Oh, here's... Abra. A Bab. <laughs> I love this guy. Alright. Let's do... Let's do... <clears throat> Who's my last Pokemon? Sandshrew. Oh, this is great. I'm going to do a T-Wave to be safe. Oh my gosh, I'm faster. I'm faster than Abra? Yeah, look at him wiggle. And then scooching up. Oh, we use Substitute. Wow. Smart. Smart guy over here. I'm going to go with... Uh, we're going to take him down. I don't want to risk missing the, the Thunderbolt. Or the thunder. So we're gonna go. Oh shoot! That's not what I pressed. Oh no! Watch me miss. I pressed. I knew it. <laughs> okay, good. That's fine. 
I press takedown, bro. That's like the second misclick. Takedown. <laughs> Yo, tag him down, guy. Good. Crit crit critical hit. And he's using Psy Wave. Alright, how much is it going to do? Seven damage? Or just miss in general? Great. Alright. Take down. Boom! That's very strong. What are you going to do? Psychic? You don't have Psychic. Psy Wave. Ten damage. Holy moly, that's a lot of damage. Why? Why does his Psy Wave do more? Out of here, bro. Alright. Abab, you're done. Takedown actually worked out. I didn't want to risk any more Thunder Misses. It's gone. It's a very good battle. And there's the battle! Excellent. Okay, here we go. I didn't get a continue, but we're good. Keep going. Let's go Marsh Badge. All right, Marsh Badge, let's do it. Okay, analyzing. Hmm. Common weaknesses include... Two of them, three of them are weak against Electric, which is great. So that means I'm going to go Voltorb for sure. In order to cover Voltorb's weakness against Digster, I do need to bring someone that can beat Digster. Most likely Horsey. Okay. Um, Magster, I'm not a fan of. Uh, which is Magnemite. So I'm going to bring Sandshrew. Sandshrew also knocks out four. Sandshrew knocks out literally four out of six Pokemon. So I think this is great. This is this is really, really good right here. Okay, I'm in. All right, let's do it. Magster. This is not a good matchup. Uh, Magster. What is Magster going to do? Thunderbolt, Tackle, Sonic Boom. Oof. Thunderbolt Tackle, Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom does 20 damage straight. Should I just switch out to Sandshrew and then, like, dig? What is it going to do? Flash? I'm switching to Sandshrew. I just don't want to be back and forth over here doing all the nonsense. So if I could just scare him, I'll be fine. Sandshrew, though, is very, very powerful. I don't know if this opening Gambit was smart. Flash is very bad. Flash lowers my accuracy by one stage. So I may have to switch back out. I'm going to try one YOLO dig. He does... It's very risky. It's very risky to do the YOLO dig because then he's going to switch to his flying type. Or his water type. Okay. One of two things that can happen. Three things, actually. I can miss the dig... Squirtle can outspeed, miss me. Perfect. Wait, Bide though? Oh shoot. I don't want to be Bide. How, how long does Bide work? I don't know how many turns Bide works, but I'm going to dig again. Wait, speed tie? What? Unless Bide has some sort of weird priority that I don't know about? Yeah, Dig can miss. Unleash his energy on no one because it was a speed tie. He's a red shell. Koopa. Missed the... Oh, did I get the Dig? I did miss the Dig. Yeah, this is true. Okay. So now I'm in a spot where this is very scary. He's got Bite, Surf, Bide, Seismic Toss. So if I go over to Pokemon... I have to switch to Horsey. Because right now, I, I missed my dig. I knew that would happen, too, because I got flashed earlier. So now, I'm going to head on over to the uh, horsey in hopes of taking the surf. Perfect prediction. Excellent. Uh, and then I'm just hoping that two swifts do it. Yeah, swift. I It's very strong. But I don't think it's going to secure... The oh, the crit... Oh, dude, that was a crit? Oh, my gosh. What's this? What's this? 
That was a crit, and it didn't do anything. That's rough, man. I'm hoping that I can do 11 damage with this. Otherwise, I'm out. I knew it. I knew it wouldn't. Okay, that's fine. It's okay. Here we go. Here we go. Seismic Toss is going to do 27 damage. Very, very powerful. But I'm okay. I'm, I'm faster. I can do something. Casey wants to switch. I'm going to go for Bubble Beam. No. Doesn't matter. Okay, that's hard. I missed it by one. And that 27 damage Seismic Toss was very powerful. Now remember, uh, this person revealed that they have the Magnemite. Oh, wow, Zubat? I think Zubat... No, Zubat does not outspeed me. I can Ice Beam this thing and have Magnemite ready for the KO. I don't think Zooster survives this. Wow, it was great, man. The coverage of Horsey with the Ice Beam. Ice Beam was one of the best moves in Generation 1, hands down. So now uh, Magster comes out. It's going to use a Thunderbolt, which is fine. So I can potentially sacrifice. Uh, so I get a free switch in. I mean, or I can just predict the Thunderbolt and then switch in and then get a continue. <laughs> like, like a boss would. I would totally be a boss if I did that. So let's predict the Thunderbolt. <laughs> let's, let's predict the Thunderbolt. To be a boss and get the 3-0 versus being playing it safer? Of course, you know me. Sonic Boom! Okay, he predicted the switch. Ah, uh, that's 20 damage. Sonic Boom always does 20. It's okay, I outspeed and then I dig and we win. GG's. Excellent. Wait a second! Why are you outspeeding me? Yo, that hurts, bro. Ouch! Well, I can take two more of those. Luckily, he didn't flash, because if if dude flashed, I would've been done. But Sonic Boom always doing 20 is fine. I have 31, so that's a two-hit KO. Dude, a speed tie again? Weird. Gone. See ya. Yeah. It is a one-hit wonder over here. Excellent, excellent. Yo, we're doing work. Welcome to Pokemon Stadium. This is great, man. This challenge of rental only, phenomenal. Okay, let's continue. We've got continues. We're good. Let's do, let's do this. All right, Petite Cup. It's the last again. Oh my gosh, the last. This is where fighting would be really good if I had fighting types, because fighting would knock out four out of six Pokemon here, and I don't have anyone that has fighting moves. No, you don't. No, you don't. Dratini does not. Paris does not. Horsey does not. <sighs> okay, so here's what's happening. If you take a look at their levels... Kabuto is level 30. Eevee's also level 30. So one of those two has to come out. If Kabuto comes out, I'm good with Paris. Paris can come over here, do a Mega Drain. It's four times super effective. It's going to knock it out very quick. Paris also takes care of Pikachu with Dig, but loses against Vulpix. So I'm going to lead with Paris. If Vulpix comes out, I should bring Sandshrew. Yeah, I should bring Sandshrew. No, no, no. Oh, man. I'm worried about these guys. I'm gonna bring... I'm gonna bring Horsey to knock out... Yeah, Pikachu could come out. I do have to bring Sandshrew. This is factual. Alright, so I'm going Paris, Horsey, and Sandshrew. Yeah, in case Pikachu comes out. All right, we'll see what happens. I don't know what's going to happen, but I do have Stun Spore with Paris. Pikachu! Oh my gosh, what's Pikachu going to do? Low-key, I do want to switch. If I, could, if I could come in on the predicted Thunder? 
I'm gonna switch. I'm gonna switch to Stand True on the Predicted Thunder. Maybe he's gonna do Quick Attack, but Quick Attack doesn't do anything against really bulky Sand True. Thunder Wave does not affect me. Right? Yeah. Okay, let's go, baby. Come here, Pikachu. I got you. All right, what's Pikachu gonna do? He's got Thunder Wave, Thunder Bolt. What are you gonna do? Get Dug. He doesn't have any Flying types, so Dig is gonna be great. Double... Oh, gosh. Help. I didn't click Poison Sting! You're joking! I didn't click that! Why would I click Poison Sting? Oh my gosh. Down! Oh, help me. Oh, God. That's like the third misclick I've had. Because there's no buttons that you pick on this game. You just press the stick in a direction. Yo, he's got three levels of evasion right now. There's no way I'm going to hit this dig. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Clefairis. Okay, uh, I don't... There's some evasion stuff happening over here, which I'm not a fan of. Slash. I gotta get my hits in quick. Uh, I'm going Slash. Because I'm not messing around with evasion, dude. Give me that beautiful crit. Body slam? Do it. See what happens. Oh, get the paralysis. I'm done. I'm absolutely done right now. Okay, I'm going slash again. Ooh, this is like two more hits. Yeah, okay, so I got this. Excellent, excellent. Don't miss. Just get another crit, please. Yeah, dude. Slash is good with crits. I'm getting really lucky here. So now it's either Eevee or Kabuto. If it's Kabuto... Uh, oh, it's Eevee. <laughs> Eevee looks way different, man. Alright, so what does Eevee do? Uh, Eevee doesn't do much. Double Edge, maybe? Yeah, that's gonna actually hurt. 33, you're gonna do one third of my health on Stab Double Edge? And get no recoil because you got the KO. Beautiful. Okay, Eevee's very scary. Don't underestimate Eevee over here, so we need to do some work. I'm gonna start with Paris and get the Stun Spore. I'm going to do Paris do the Stun Sport just to slow it down. This is five levels higher than me, mind you. And Double Edge is going to hurt so much. I might lose, to be honest. What are you doing, guy? Don't miss. Yes. Yes. Oh, this is good. All right, here we go. Here we go. I need to do Leech Life or Dig. Yeah, I could dig. Yeah, yeah, let's let's dig it. Let's dig it. I don't know my stats, though. I don't know if I'm stronger in special or physical, but we're going to be digging. Wee! See ya! Hey, who are you double legend? <laughs> let's go, let's go. How much is Dig gonna do? Doink? That's not a lot. Fully paralyzed. Boo! Okay, low-key a little afraid here. I don't know if Horsey can legit take a double edge off of Eevee. So, a couple outcomes can happen. Uh, I can get... I don't know if I can get the full KO, man. It's really tough. I think this is a two-hit KO for me, to be honest, with Ice Beam. I don't think that... Bubble Beam does it. Ice Beam is good. But Bubble Beam the same type of attack bonus. I should really know the base powers of these attacks so I'm a little bit more prepared. Let's go, Ice Beam. Um, if this is not a one-hit KO, I need to survive the double team or allow the fully paralysis. That's terrible damage. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm lucky. That's a three hit KO with Ice Beam. No way. Eevee has some sort of bulk. Why? Where are you getting Quick Attack from? That's ah, like a five hit KO. I'm okay. We win. GG's. Unless... No, no, no. I win. I win. This is this is game set match. Yeah, 21 damage. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, this is game set match. Unless you do some crazy crit on a critical hit, which is not ever going to happen, I win right now. Thank goodness. It's fine. Oh my gosh! <laughs> no, 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 man. We're good. I win. It's game set match. I called it. Yeah, yeah, we had some we had some good luck in that one, for sure. I don't think I would have survived a double edge from a level 30 Eevee. So, very, very glad we knocked that one out. Thank goodness. Lass is always a menace. Lass is a menace. Alright, here we go. Earth Badge, and then we win the cup. Oh, there is. There is. You're right. Here we go. Thank you. <laughs> All right, good. <clears throat> no, we're fine. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, let's do this. Here we go. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Um, Nido Mania. We got Shrew Mania. What is this? Uh, Ground does really good against this team. Ground knocks out three. Ground knocks out three of the six. Who is he weak against? I'm weak against... Oh, Dratomania. Okay, so here we go. Taking a look at these manias. Taking a look at these manias. I should be able to use Horsey to knock out Dratini. Sandshrew to knock out three of them. And... Horsey knocks out those and Voltorb. Yeah, I think we're good here. We're going to go Sanchu. We're going to go Horsey. We're going to go Voltorb. Excellent. Thanks. Okay, the final battle. Let's go. Cymania? Oh, gosh. This is a terrible... This is a terrible lead. Okay. I can't sacrifice my guy. I need him. Cymania, Surf Ice Beam. Oh, my gosh. I lose. Surf Ice Beam, I either sacrifice my Sandshrew right now for a free switch into Voltorb for hopefully the one-hit KO, or I bring in Horsey, which is my only check against Dratini. And Dratini has Dragon Rage, folks. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. The trainer hasn't issued an order. No, I have not. I don't know what to do. I'm going to go Voltorb. Uh, what's the matter, trainer? Yeah, I'm going Voltorb. I can take a Surf and then retaliate with Thunder. Yeah, that's actually really strong. Excellent. That's a three-hit KO, man. Maybe the Thunder Wave would have been smarter. Mmm, big hit. Yes, yes, that's so good. And that only costed me half HP on my Voltorb. And I'm going to outspeed anything else that comes over here. I hope it's Ammonite. Level 30 Ammonite? Yeah, yeah, Omania right over here. I think I can outspeed Ammonite and then proceed to Thunder. Um, backup strats would be what? Get a T-Wave. Come in and dig. If I miss the thunder, then I'm going to end up losing. I need I need safety. I need a safer way of doing this. I think I have to risk it. I have to risk the thunder right now. I don't think Ammonite's gonna uh, outspeed me. That's right. I have to risk. I risk this. I need it. Good. 
Oh, that's bad. Okay, so this is a little hard now. This is a very strong surf. I'm not down and out. Dratini is not here, which is good. So I can bring in Horsey. I can bring in Horsey and do a bubble beam for 18 damage, I think. Because it's neutral. Because uh, Amina is a rock water type. Ice Beam is resisted. Swift is resisted. Bubble Beam is all I have. So here's hoping that it's not a 2-hit KO 18 damage. And I outspeed. But I can eat a double edge if I'm not getting this. Oh, come on, game! Double edge. Surf. That's okay. It's resisted. That's, that's pretty rough, though. That's a very strong resisted hit, man. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going Bubble Beam. Dude, all of these opponents are surviving on 1 HP. It's just damage calcs. It's luck. Min-max damage? We'll see what happens. Okay, so remember, we've got some Nidorans here. We've got Nidoran. We've got... Uh, Sand True hopefully can come out. It's one of the Nidorans. Yeah, Nidomania. A Nidoran male. Horn Drill? Oh, gosh. Dude, low-key, I just want to do a, a smoke screen because if I get horn drilled, I'm done. But at the same time, I got to dig on Sandshrew. I got to dig on Sandshrew, which is fine. And that should be able to KO this. Perfect. I needed the speed drop. Horn drill me, please. Because horn drill is one of those moves that's one-hit KO based off of your speed stat. Um... Yeah, the accuracy is based off your speed stat. So, no, we're fine. This is game, set, match. We actually did really good here. Was the Petite Cup just easier? Do we have better Pokemon and better movesets? I don't know. Yeah! Congratulations! We're the winners! Yes! That was good. That was relatively easy. I don't think I lost a single one of them. I didn't have to retry anything. So we had a nice balanced team. I think I used all the Pokemon. Sandshrew did a lot of hard carrying. Like, don't get me wrong. Horsey also did a lot of hard carrying. Love that. Voltorb, absolutely. Those Thunders were so good. Vulpix I used maybe once. Uh, Dratini didn't really use. It was like a safety net. And then Paris I used a couple times. Maybe once. So, honestly, the first three Pokemon were just really, really good. And we just swept with all of it. So, Petite Cup is all clear, done, and over with. Thank you very much. Oh my gosh, yeah! So, if we take a look at our stadium right now, we have two trophies. Next up is going to be the Poke Cup. Ooh, a Poke Cup. Ooh. All right. Poke Cup is happening next. I'm excited for it. Thanks for watching Pokemon Stadium. Once we're done with the Poke Cup, we're then going to do the Prime Cup. Once we're done with that, we're going to hit up the gym leaders. And we're going to see exactly what happens with them. So, stay tuned for even more Pokemon Stadium. Thanks for watching. Yay! We did it, friends! Oh my gosh, Pokemon Stadium. Dude, was it was that just a lot easier? You tell me at home. Was, was the Petite Cup just easy? We didn't like use the crutch of any psychic Pokemon whatsoever. We were using the rental Pokemon, so I don't know. I don't know. That was fun though. What's up, friends? Good to see you guys. Thanks so much for coming out today. Mm, what do you guys say? Do you guys want to do two more cups and then call it a day? We could do all of them. We could do Poke Cup. We could jump into Prime Cup. Whatever you guys want to see. And thanks for giving me a heads up about some audio echo. Uh, thank you. Could have appreciated that uh, two hours ago, though. Thanks. Please, feel free to at mention me. Mods included. If there's any audio issues of, like, echoes, please, please let me know. <laughs> that sucks. I had my Disney Dreamlight Valley, Valley audio, audio set up. I'm like, what the heck, man? Rude. All right, friends, let's knock this out. Okay, as long as it sounded perfect to you. Well, it mean, the last one sounded perfect, but the previous two hours. All right, ready, friends? Let's go. If you didn't notice it, you didn't notice it, but we're good. Yeah, sometimes I forget that, dude. Dreamlight Valley's been kind of rocking my life right now, so... <laughs> it's the best game. Have you guys ever played it? 
Best game. Absolutely best game. What if they're like, hey, you can't do the Poke Cup until tomorrow. Come on back. You're like, what? No. All right, let's do it. Come on, friends. Let's go to Poke Cup. Here we go. Jumping back into Pokemon Stadium. What's happening, everyone? Let's do this. Poke Cup. I don't know what's going on in it, but there's... Oh, my goodness gracious. What the heck? What is this? There's like four... Four... That's a lot. That is a lot. Oh, and now you get to actually look. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hold the actual phone. I have to look and make a team first. Holy moly. What the heck? Yo, Ivysaur is looking good with Razor Leaf and Sleep Powder. Fire, Water, Grass, bro. Flamethrower, Counter, Seismic Toss. This is good. Charizard? Oh, then that means that Vaporeon's here. Right? This is like all the Pokemon. Except for the Legendaries, right? Oh my gosh, Legendaries are here? Why wouldn't I use Zapdos? Or Articuno for Ice Beam? Or Moltres, Fire Blast, and Fly. Dragonite. 40 damage dra oh, Dragonite stinks. Dragonair, though? <sighs> Oof, man. Okay, okay. Let's take a look at There's a lot of good Pokemon here. Snorlax. How's my champ looking? Vaporeon is always good. Uh, surf sucks, though. That's just water. That's all you're going to do. You're just going to be there to surf. That's my favorite Pokemon. It even has sparkle effects on it. It's so good. Jolteon? Thunderbolt Pin Missile against the Psychics would be pretty cool. But its attack stat is trash. So, again... Flareon, no. Porygon, no. Ammonite, no. Oh, Surf and Ice Beam is really good. Amastar? Nah. Yo, if I did Zapdos, for sure Thunderbolt. Like, that's just... you. Why wouldn't you do that? 117 speed. Fire Blast is very missable. Oh, man. Give me some more. Give me some more Jinx. Mmm, Jinx. Jinx is good. Yo, I love Jinx. Yo, she's got lovely kiss. Right here, baby. Give me those lips. Uh, Ice Punch and Psychic is really good. Electabuzz. Thunder Punch T-Wave Psychic is also very good with 108 special, 128 speed. Strong. Thunder Punch is uh, special in this game. Magmar. Uh, he's got Psychic as well. I mean, Psychic is just good in general, man. All those three have Psychic. Mister. Psychic Barrier. Starmie. Yo, Starmie with the Surf and Thunder, though. Like, you can't go wrong with that. I need some Psychics, though. Some really good Psychics. Let's take a look at Alakazam. We need a team. Alakazam. Psybeam? Nah. Psychic Counter, Dig, Recover. Yeah, I do like Kadabra. Yeah, Psychic? Yeah, that's really good. Versus, like, this. This is trash. This is a tra trash moveset. Polyrath. Hypnosis, Submission, Hydro Pump, Counter. I do need a Fighting type. Yeah, like Machamp? What you got, Machamp? Low Kick, Counter, Focus Energy, Strength? <sighs> Machoke. Rock Slide. Ooh. Uh, give me like a Rock. Give me like a Rock kind of Pokemon. Or we just... Let's, let's get Fire, Water, Grass done first, right? We need a nice base. Fire, Water, Grass in the form of... Looking at Ivysaur... Razor Leaf Sleep Powder is really good. Uh, give me another Grass type, though. If we're, if we're vying for the Grass spot on the team... Let's look at Gloom. No. Vileplume. Sleep Powder. Petal Dance? I don't really know Petal Dance. I don't know what that does. Acid and Cut. It's decent. 123 Special with Sleep Powder and Petal Dance. You know, I actually... I actually need... I need to know what these moves are. I I really do. I'm I'm I know all the moves in like the more recent games, but like this is this is crazy. I need to learn these moves right now. Uh, it's called Pedal Dance. Pedal Dance is special. Uh, user attacks for two to three turns, then becomes confused. Uh, is that right? It sounds about right. Sleep Powder does it. Acid's okay too. I think Vileplume might be better than Ivysaur. 
123 special, 73 speed. 123 special, 73 speed. Oh gosh, that's actually really good. Yeah, I think Vileplume takes the spot. Okay, well Vileplume's my number one for that. Let's look at Victory Bell. Solar Beam, not gonna take it. Weeping Bell, not good. All right, Vileplume for Grass. I don't think there's any other good Grasses. Oh, except for Exeggutor, because Exeggutor is also the, um, he's Psychic as well, isn't he? Where are you? Where are you? Here we go. Mega Drain, Leech Seed, Egg Bomb, Stun Spore. What about Execute? Psychic Leech Seed, no. Vileplume wins it. Okay, so we're gonna go Vileplume for Grass. Okay, uh, oof. let's knock out, let's knock out Electric. I'm gonna go Zapdos for Thunderbolt and T-Wave. That's so smart, it's not even funny. And it's legendary. Why wouldn't I use it? Moltres, Fire Blast. Why wouldn't I use it? Articuno, I'll take Ice. It's great. Uh, and now I, I got Fire. Ah. Uh, I got Psychic, and now I need someone that does, like, Rock Slide or Earthquake. Like, give me, like, a Nido King or something. Someone that is, like, really strong in that aspect. And then we've kind of built our team up over here. Let's go take a look. There's Nido King. Earthquake? That's all he does is just Earthquake, though. He doesn't do anything else. I need, like, a Rock Slide. I need someone with Earthquake, Rock Slide. Give me Sand Slash. Seismic Toss Dig? What about Sand Shrew? No. Okay, what about Doug Trio? Or Nido Queen? Let me see about Nido Queen. Earthquake Double Kick? <sighs> Nido Queen's not good. Give me Doug Trio. Dude, I mean, Diglett does it. <laughs> I'm not gonna break a Diglett on the team. He has the moves that I want, though. Earthquake and Rock Slide? Earthquake coming off an 86 attack power Diglett? I mean, it's not bad. But if I'm going Earthquake, I might as well go over here 113 and go Horn Drill and maybe get it. Right? Oh, let's take a look. Give me someone else who's going to ground. Machamp is good. No, he's not. I want someone with, like, Submission Rock Slide. This isn't bad. Machoke isn't bad at all. He's my physical attacker. And he's my only physical attacker on my team. Graveler, Earthquake, Golem. Nah, dude. Golem with Fire Blast? You're, you're nuts, dude. Geodude's got the got the moveset. Alright, let's take a look. Give me some other... Onyx? Earthquake, Rock Slide. Onyx? But Onyx's attack stat is utter garbage. Diglett has a stronger attack stat. But his defense is huge. Uh, and he's got Explosion. Dude, I might go Onyx. Let's look at Gengar. Hypnosis T-Bolt? What about Haunter? Uh, he's got Psychic. I already got a Psychic rep on my team. What about Hypno? Hypnosis Dream Eater? You're crazy. Alright, give me give me something ground. Earthquake Submission Blizzard. Marowak Bone Meringue? Nope. Let's look at Rhydon. Dig Surf Thunder Strength? No way. Trash. Rhyhorn? No, man. I mean, Rhyhorn is slow. And he also has double weakness against grass and water. So, I I mean, he has the moveset I want. It's a great moveset. And his attack set is phenomenal. But he's slower than Molasses. And if I'm in a bad matchup, I'm going to get destroyed. But 110 attack is not bad. I need speed. I need more speed. Ah, oh, man. What to do? What to do? What to do? Man, I gotta think about this. Kabutops. Nope. You know what? I might do right on. I'm gonna regret that. I need a physical attacker that can do ground. Oh yeah, let me look at Aerodactyl. I didn't look at Aerodactyl. Fly Dragon Rage. No, man. Uh, these are all bad. What about Hitmonchan? Some, oh, dude, Himmelchan's good. Look at that. He's got... He's That is actually amazing. Submission's good. Ice Punch is good. Thunder Punch. In, in case there's any flying-type Pokemon, he can knock, out, knock him out with Thunder Punch. This is actually a really good Himmelchan. Himmelchan Lee. Oh, man. 130 attack. I just need ground, though. I need ground coverage. 
I think Ice Punch, Thunder Punch is already redundant coverage because I have Zapdos and Moltres. I need ground. I need ground or rock. And I think Machoke... Machoke is a rock slide, but like, dude, I need... I need an Earthquaker. And I think the only thing I have is Nidoking. That's it. I'm going Nidoking. This is the team. This is it. This is the team right now. Uh, it sucks that I'm using legendaries, but hey, you know what? If you can't beat them, join them. And the computers have really, really crummy tactics. And I have to win. So there's that. All right, friends. Let's do this. Thank you so much for hanging out. I hope that you guys have been enjoying Pokemon Stadium. We got two more cups to do. So stick around. Let's get this going, yeah? What a day. What a day. What a day. Uh, you know what? I'm actually... I was looking really forward to this. Hanging out with you guys and uh, streaming here on YouTube. It's a great change of pace. We love our Twitch audience. Absolutely, we do. Um, but give me a break from Dreamlight Valley, please. I need a better game like this. All right, friends. You guys ready? All right, let's do it. It's time. Here we are. The third cup in Pokemon Stadium. We got a little bit different of a team here. I am so excited for it. Let's register our team. This is our team. Kadabra, Vileplume, Zapdos, Moltres, Articuno, and Nidoking. Pretty balanced. I have a lot of the types covered. Uh, I got fire, grass. I don't have any water. Dang, I don't have any water. Yikes. Uh, we'll be okay. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Let's take a look at what we have over here. Nidoran, Nidoran, uh, and Ekans all lose to Earthquake, Nidoking. So I'm going to do that. Easy mode. We're going to lead off with Nidoking. Uh, Mankey, Hitmonlee. I mean, I could run Moltres with Fly. Yeah, bringing flying types is okay. Uh, or, you know what? I can bring Kadabra. Because, literally, Kadabra sweeps his entire team. That's <laughs> so funny. Kadabra, Nidoking. And, um, let's do... Uh, Articuno? Uh, let's do Moltres. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Kadabra completely sweeps his team. Flawless victory. No one's going to outspeed me. We're going to Psychic and proceed to win. Let's do it. Welcome to Pokemon Stadium. Hi, how are you? How does Hitmonlee eat? <sighs> Boom. How does Hitmonlee eat? Right, because all he has is the eyeballs. I mean, if you had Pokemon Go, you can actually feed him a berry and see how he eats. Look at this cool color of uh, Ekans over here. Alright, here we go. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Yeah, Kadabra's gonna do the work. So remember, when we're choosing Pokemon, it doesn't... Uh, I mean, the rental Pokemon in this game don't have the best moves, but they have better stats. So it's kind of a catch-22. So sometimes you just land somewhere in the middle with a, metal, a middle evolution. Mankey! Mankey! I think I pressed it. Here's Psychic. Perfect. Flawless victory. We win. Um, so the naming conventions. Uh, the naming conventions of Pokemon Stadium are a great way of changing the colors of your Pokemon. I was mentioning that earlier. Um, where if you take the the syllables and you add like a hyphen in the middle of it, all caps, and switch the syllables around, you could change their colors. Uh, just ever so slightly, a slight tint. If you do like all lowercase, or if you just do, if you nickname them something special, um, you could change the coloration of Pokemon. So this kind of like brought the concept of shiny Pokemon to fruition, right? But uh, they're not considered shiny Pokemon. It's just, that is what it is. All right, let's take a look at this. Whoa, look at Bulbase. You'll see, when, if Bulbasaur comes out, he's like dark blue. He's not green. Very fascinating. All right, so taking a look at this, half of them are weak against Earthquake. So I can bring Nidoking, which is great. I do need Fire, and I do need Psychic. So here's the thing. I'm going to go with... Uh, the, my best bet is going to be... I'm going to go with Kadabra first, I'm going to go with Nido King second, and I'm going to go with Moltres third. These are the three typings that are going to be best. And they do cover each other's weaknesses a little bit, so. 
All right, let's go one star Kadabra. Perfect. Oddish. Look at how cute this little thing is. All right, so what we have to do right now is just proceed to Psychic. There's no one that's going to be resisting the Psychic, which is awesome. So very happy about that. Kadabra can completely sweep this if we're, uh, if we're good enough. Boom. See ya. It's super effective, so there's no way you're going to survive it. Wow, the little petal fell off at the very end. The petals are just all falling off. So cute. I'm telling you, pay attention to every KO animation, and you just get a little smile on your face. Okay, Voltorb. I actually don't know. I don't think Voltorb's going to do anything. If it does... I can try a dig. Yeah, can you dig it? I can try a dig, whatever. If I get a... If it explodes, I win. And if I get the KO... Ooh, okay. A Screech wouldn't have done anything for me. Right? The sound effects are good. Alright, come here, Voltorb. Wow, critical hit super effective. Oh my gosh. That crit totally mattered. Totally mattered. A Kadabra with Dig, though? Let's talk about that. That's not a thing. Kadabra doesn't use his physical attack stat ever. All right, here's Sprout Ace. You guys didn't get to see the cool blue Bulbasaur, so that's unfortunate. Too bad. Here we go. Boom! Critical hit, super effective again. I don't need these crits. Crit didn't matter that time. But the crit against the Voltorb totally did. Excellent. Wow. And there goes the battle. <laughs> Love the announcer, man. All right. Easy mode. Kadabra's doing the work. Doesn't really have a lot of weaknesses outside of he can't really take a hit. He's a glass cannon. But we know that. We're going to continue on. Let's go. Oof. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Drowsy, Ghastly. Wow. Okay. So half of them are weak against Psychic. Which is Hitmonchan, Ghastly, Machoke. Great. Geodude I can knock out with a Psychic. Preferably. Uh, Drowsy. Mm, I don't have anyone that takes out Psychic Pokemon. So I just gotta brute force them. What does Vileplume do? Why did I bring Vileplume? I don't need Grass. No, Vileplume's gonna get rocked. Sleep Powder is actually really good though. Nido King with the Earthquake takes care of one, two. Two of them. Maybe three. Ah, oh, man. Okay, so Nido Queen would be... Nido King would be really good. I don't... I like Zapdos a lot. Zapdos can do neutral damage against everyone. And T-Wave in the event that I'm in a tough spot. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lead with Zapdos. T-Wave if I'm in a bad position. I'm going to then go over to Kadabra... And I'm going to bring Nidoking as well, because Nidoking is just, he's just very strong with Earthquake. And none of these guys resist Earthquake. Two of them are weak against it. Yeah, I should be all set. Yes, yes. Machoke. Yeah, okay. Let's do it. Let's try Nidoking. Let's go. All right. All right, here we go, Zapdos. Ooh, Zapdos versus Drowsy. Not a fan of this at all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with the... Mm, I'm going to go for T-Wave. It's, it's not a good matchup. But me having a Zapdos, though, this is cool. Hopefully we get the fully para. Yes! When the camera stays right in front of the Pokemon, that means that you got the Paralysis. So you can kind of see it before it says it. Beautiful. All right, so what we're going to do right now is I'm going to do... I'm going to proceed to T-Bolt. Uh, doing the Thunderbolt should be a two-hit KO. Just based off of I'm Zapdos. Yeah, that's exactly a two-hit KO. Fully paralyzed again. We getting lucky. We're getting lucky. This is great. Drowsy was the one that I was kind of worried about because I don't have a hard counter. There's no pin missile or ghost attack that I can use against these psychics. So you just really have to brute force them with other elements. Way to go, Zapdos. Flawless victory. Zapdos is my favorite of the legendary trio. Here's Geodude. This was not good. 
Wait, 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 wait. Geodude? I'm sorry. What are you doing? Let's go Nido King, then. The movesets of all of these characters are kind of weird. Metronome and he used Quick Attack. Watch out. Geo Dash Dude. Yeah, there's nothing to worry about over here. Here's Nido King with the Earthquake. Dunked. Look at the color of Geo Dude right now. He's just like a little darker than normal. He holds his head and falls down to the ground. He loses his levitation. Okay, this is weird. Why does this juggler have such a weird moveset on these Pokemon? But, I mean, even if they didn't have a weird moveset on the Pokemon, I still rock them. Right? We brought the right Pokemon. We had the perfect luck that we needed. And Ghastly's gone. Because there's no abilities in this generation. Normally, Ghastly would have the Levitate ability, which would negate Earthquake. But that's not a thing. Abilities were introduced in the next gens, so... Yeah, spoilers, the juggler, all of their Pokemon had the moves metronome for some reason. So he's just like a throwaway character. Like, okay, great. He's kind of a joker. All of them had metronome? What are you going to do? What are you going to hope for? Wag your finger and get a thunder on a slow bro when you needed it most and allowing him to survive on one HP? Of course not. Okay, what the heck is this? All right, here we go. Electric does massive damage against half of them. But then the other half, they're ground. So I don't have any water on the team. Uh, let's see, let's see. Electric does good. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to bring Zapdos to lead off. Oh my gosh, wait a second. Vileplume. Wait, 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 wait. Vileplume actually comes to fruition over here. Vileplume deals super effective against everyone. So we're going to go Vileplume. We're going to go Zapdos. Zapdos does not do well against Cubone or Rhyhorn. So, in order to mitigate those, I'm going to need Articuno, Nidoking, ah, oh, they're ground types, that's actually not too good. I'm gonna have to go with Articuno and just hope I get the Ice Beams on them. So, yeah, that's it. Let's give it a shot. Vile Plume, folks. Vile Plume. Hello, beady eyes. Kabooty! <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, uh, there's a pedal dance. Yo, tapping that foot. Pew. Yeah, that's four times super effective. You're done. All right, so poise. Oh, what is this? Uh, pedal dance. User attacks two to three turns, but then comes becomes confused. So I don't think I have control over Vile Plume anymore. Wow, look at that horsey. Yeah, I don't have control at all. It's just going to use this for two to three turns. Smoke screen could be bad. It lowers accuracy by one stage. Wow, the X is on the I is cute. Thrashing about. Do it. Yes. Come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Dunk on him. Critical hit. Super effective. Crit didn't matter. It's very strong. It's 120 base power. Same type of attack bonus. That's great. That's like 180 base power. Like, there's, you're not surviving it. And here's Yudi. Yo, that's Yudi right there. Yudi can hit me with an Ice Beam, though. So, or a Psychic. Or a Minimize. So now I'm, like, minus two on accuracy. Wow, I actually hit through it. Okay. I hit through the Confusion? I think that turn I got Confused. And then I also hit through the minus two evasion. Cool, man. Great. Love it. Sorry, beauty. That was great. That, that was actually really cool. That was fun. Okay, so that's the first half, half of this cup over here. Uh, let's see what happens on the next one. I'm excited for it. <laughs> Absolutely am. All right, here we go. Poke Cup. Pokeball battle number five. Ooh, what do we got here? What do we got here? We got a bunch of babies, and I'm bringing legends. Great. Okay, taking a look at this. I wish I had 
Earthquake and Rock Moves. Okay, okay. Electric does three out of six, so that's a good lead to start off with Electric. Zapdos can do four out of six. So let's start off with Zapdos. For the ones that Zapdos cannot do, Vulpix and Ghastly, I'm gonna bring Nidoking. And I'm gonna I'm gonna cover Nido King's weakness with Actually Kadabra. Kadabra is a better um lead. Kadabra hits four out of six of them. One, two, uh, three out of six. Alright, I'm bring Kadabra. Let's go. Let's knock it out. We're in the last half of the tournament. Things will get right hot. Begin round. Ghastly. Remember we saw Ghastly with a yellow tongue? So cool. I don't know what Ghastly's going to try to do, but uh, I don't know if I want to stick around and find out. It can use a Thunder, but I don't think it's going to take a Thunderbolt. I could try the T-Wave to be on the safe side. Or I can just use its Nightshade for 50 damage. Alright, you know, there's going to be a 2 hit KO. Ghastly can't survive. It's pretty, pretty weak. 2 hit KO, fine. Confuser, I don't like that at all. I don't know if I should risk hitting through it or switching out, man. Which Pokemon do I have? I don't want to eat a Thunder or a Lick or anything like that. Nidoking could come in and take a hit. Or I could just risk it. I'm taking the Nidoking. Let's go. I don't like being confused. It's like a coin flip. If your Pokemon's confused, before it uses its attack, it's 50-50 chance on if you're going to hit yourself or do something different. So we're bringing Nidoking out. Nightshade, 50 damage. Not bad. I could take three more. Yeah, so that was, that was actually really good. Unless this dude somehow outspeeds me. Yes, great. Look at the size of Ghastly, though. You see how big he is compared to Nidoking? It's a giant orb. I don't know about that scale. I thought Ghastly is like the size of my fist. But no, that thing is like literally 30 foot tall. Alright, here's Vol Dash Picks. Yeah, we win this one. Okay. Vol Picks, weak against the Earthquake. Got it. Looks like a bad Pokemon choice. Yeah, it does. Why? Why did you do that? Love this. Alright, here we go. Next. Tentacool. Oh, get owned. Yeah, I don't think Tentacool is going to outspeed me. So, I'm going to go for the Earthquake. Even though I'm weak against a water attack, he's a poison type, so he loses here. Yeah, Needle King's way good. He only has one move. And it's just Earthquake. That's all you're going to be using with him. And if you're weak against Earthquake, then see ya. Too bad, so sad. Easy mode, man. Alright, we got a lot of battles coming on over here. The Pokeball Cup. Perfect. Ah, that was good. Nido King could have swept that entire thing. We got three more battles to go, so let's knock out this. Let's get the Marsh Badge next. Should be fun. Bam, ba down, bam, and arrow. Okay, uh, I was not looking. Uh, we got Rattata, Growlithe, Bone Q. Uh, okay, okay, looking at this, looking at this. Water would be really good. I don't have water. Water would be four out of six. Uh, ice d does not a lot. Electric does not a lot. Mm. Vile Plume would be pretty good, but we, we would have to cover the fire. Oh my gosh, this is actually rough. This is real rough. Yeah, not having water is, is pretty bad. I opted to get to three legendary birds. So, since I don't have water... Zapdos is a bad idea. Because there's two ground ones, and I don't have moves that destroy that. So here's, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to lead off with a Vile Plume. We're going to bring Vile Plume. Uh, to knock out one, two, three, potentially four, right? If there's a fire Pokemon coming at me, 
then I can switch to my fire resistant Pokemon, which is Moltres. Resists it, and then I could just try for the flies. That's actually a really bad idea. If a fire Pokemon comes out, I can bring out Nidoking, and he can completely earthquake the fire Pokemon. And then, um, then we bring out Kadabra. Just in case we want to do anything else. Ground types, ground types. Ground types. I'm bringing Articuno. Okay, here we go. We'll see how this works out. Alright, here it comes. Please. Yeah, here's Cubone. Wow, that's totally not a Charmander under there. All right, this one's going to be KO. Yeah, we got Pedal Dance. That's two to three turns of this 180 base power move. You're done. There's no way you're surviving that. Oh my gosh. Now a fire type's going to come out, and I'm stuck in this move. Yeah, here's Life Growl. Okay, so I'm stuck in the Pedal Dance. So, Growlithe is going to get a KO on me. It can use... Dig? Dig's going to be neutral. I mean, you could have just flamethrowed me, man. Can I get out of here? No, I'm stuck for three turns. Great. See, this is why Vileplume is risky. Oh, that was garbage damage. That didn't do anything. There's nothing you can do now, he says. I mean, that's strong. It's not the move I want. And I... Yeah, there's nothing you can do now. Just thrashing about. Yeah, please knock him out. I survived? <laughs> can I switch now? Thank you. Alright, what's this guy gonna do? Did I not bring Moltres? Oh, you're gonna see something amazing. Watch. I'm bringing in Nidoking. I'm bringing in Nidoking in hopes that this guy's gonna dig. But the flamethrower burn would be devastating. Dig. Dude, don't get burnt. Wow, that's devastating. See, the thing about burn in Pokemon games is that if you're a physical attacker, whenever you're burnt, or a special attack, whatever, your physical attack gets halved, meaning my earthquakes are going to be only doing half damage now. So, should I have just sacrificed Vileplume? Yeah, sure. But I wanted to do something really cool in case he did dig. Here's less squirt. What's Squirtle going to do? He's going to surf, yeah? I could try the Horn Drill. Yeah, let's give it a shot. One hit KO. Oh! <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, gross. Gross, man. Burn didn't even matter. Yuck. I don't know. I don't know the mechanics of Horn Drill. <sighs> it's interesting. If it hits, Horn Drill is a guaranteed to make the opponent faint. Its accuracy increases if the user is a higher level than the target Pokemon, but fails if the target is of a higher level. Oh, we're all the same level. Uh, it's a 30% accuracy move, yeah. In Generation 1, Horn Drill can hit uh, Pokemon of any level, but it does not affect Pokemon with higher speed than the user. Oh, fascinating. Anyway, carry on. Uh, what are we doing today? You got a little Sunburnt Abra over here. A Brenza. Excellent. 
Uh, what do we got here? Electric does mad damage against these guys. Um, yeah, Electric's gonna do it. So we're gonna go Zapdos first off. Uh, to cover Abra... I guess I'm, I'm bringing the birds, man. Yeah, we're bringing legendary birds. Let's go. Let's go. Wow, look at those pink eggs. That's like Easter. Wow, I don't want to be here. Against egg... Oh gosh, this is going to be really bad. Isn't it? I'm going Thunder Wave. This is not a good matchup. Execute can like sleep powder me, so if I have a two turn charge move, I'm done. Leech Seed? Out of here, dude. Yeah, I do not want to be a part of Leech Seed. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't want to be seated. I'm going to go for Articuno. Um, like, if he puts me to sleep somehow, um, yeah. I don't. I didn't want to risk the Sky Attack. That's two turns of Leech Seed damage. So, yeah, we're not risking it. Oh, gosh, help me. Did you really just do that? Hi, Articuno. Are you ready to knock this guy out? What is Razor Wind? I don't know that move at all. Excellent. Good job. Razor Wind is kind of like Sky Attack, but it's a normal version of Sky Attack. Interesting. Never use it. Alright, here we go. Slopenza. Wow, look at that coloration. Yeah, yeah. What's Slopenza gonna do? Uh, really nothing. I could do the sky attack, because what is he going to do? Try to, like, hit me with a headbutt? Psychic? What is he going Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to glow, man. Articuno is such a beautiful Pokemon. Psychic? Yeah, yeah, good luck. I got a really good special stat. Wow. Sky attack! Boosh! Really? Surf? Uh, was it a good hit? I gotta do another sky attack, man. That's not enough. Razor Wind is the exact same thing. I could probably sub and, like, survive anything that he's throwing at me, to be honest. But I don't really need to. But I'll do it anyway, because it's kind of cool to see if it happens. Let's go substitute. I think it gets, it's going to take the hit. Yes, it does. Wow, so good. Yeah, let's go substitute. Let's go sky attack. Wow. Looking right at this Articuno. Great. Here it comes. Enjoy. Dunked. Okay, I'm surprised Slopenza actually survived that first um, Sky Attack. That was pretty insane. All right, we're moving on, though. The Reserve Pokemon. Ooh, here's Geotenza. Wow. A Pidgeotto versus an Articuno. Could you imagine? This is like a fledgling uh, Pokemon trainer. What? I was going to say. I mean, the same type of attack bonus is all you could do. It's like find, fighting a Pokemon master, right? Someone who's already gone through the entire adventure in Kanto and caught all the legendaries, and then you're just starting out your adventure and you have a Pidgeotto. And you're just like, oh, yeah, let me let me battle. You want to battle? You're like, really, kid? I'm not going to battle you. I've got an Articuno. Boom! And you just, like, own him and you take all his money. This is what happens, man. Excellent work. Perfect round. I used all the legendary birds. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. This is like... We're just going through the motions at this point. Continue. Oh, these are just babies, man. 
Oh gosh. Okay. Uh, let's do. Uh, what? Okay. Um. Fighting. Ooh, seal though, huh? Is seal a uh, water and ice? No, seal's just water. I mean, I can start off with Nido King to just earthquake nobody. Beedrill gets earthquaked. No, it's neutral. I mean, Zapdos is always a good lead. Lead Zapdos. We'll do Nido King just in case Magnemite wants to come out. And then we'll do... Uh, wow, wow, wow. I do not... If Ditto comes out, I'm I lose. I'm just bringing Moltres, man. I I have to be ready for Ditto. Like I have to set myself up. Oh hi, hello little one. What is your teeny gonna do? Well, I don't want to find out, like at all. Dratini has like all of the moves, so we're just gonna T wave, T -wave really quick. You're gonna try T wave on me? You can't. You can T wave an electric type. That's the science I wanted to know. That's terrible. I can't do much. If I use Sky Attack, I can get fully paralyzed and waste the turns. Oh, this is bad. I think I lose. I don't want. What's he gonna do? Is this even worth it? Thunderbolt? What's how much is that gonna do? 50? 50% 50 damage? Thunderbolt? What are we doing here? I don't want to do a sky attack. I'm gonna end up wasting turns. Boom! Not very effective. That's actually very effective. I will take that. Hyper beam? I can take advantage of this and switch. And then proceed to earthquake. Yeah, let me take advantage of this. I'm going to take advantage, get the free switch, and then I'm going to Earthquake Dratini, and then I'm going to be in a better position versus, like, having a paralyzed Zapdos and, like, not being ready for the next attack. So let's take advantage. You got to recharge. Easy mode. Called that out. Next up is going to be Earthquake. I'm going to outspeed because I'm Nido King, and then we're going to proceed to Earthquake. Boom. Wow, straight up and stiff as a board. Why? What? <laughs> That's so fun, man. Pogon. Ooh, okay. Look at pastel colors Porygon. I love that. I'm actually low-key afraid of this guy. Uh, but it doesn't appear that he has anything that's going to hurt me, so let's knock this out. Oh, never mind. Porygon has Psychic for some reason. Dunked. And the Psychic is going to be super effective. But it's not the same type of attack bonus. So I can take it. What will it do? Super wow. That's not strong. Yeah, I thought that Psychic would do a lot more. But that's like a 3 hit KO. So we're good, man. Pogon's done. Pogon is finished! It's down! Yes, there is. Thanks, Captain. It's Cell. Oh, look at Cell right here. Well, Cell. Cell destroys me. So we're just gonna YOLO, uh... We're gonna YOLO Horndrill. Why did I do that? What if I lose? Wow, Nido King just falls forward. Okay. What if I lose because I got a paralyzed Zapdos who's gonna eat like an ice beam and lose? And then I'm gonna take a surf. Oh my gosh, why did I do a YOLO horn drill? That's not I don't know how to That's done man. I'm gonna eat this ice beam and lose, man. GG's friends, thanks so much for coming.
Oh, okay. That's not that strong because it's coming off a seal. And that... Wow. Nope. Dunked. Wow. We got so lucky over there. Could you imagine if I got paralyzed, fully paralyzed, I would have lost. So that was like a one-third chance that that could have happened. The champion has been... Oh, wait. The champion's been decided? Oh, sweet. Am I, is that me? We just beat up old man? Yeah, old man. Take that. Give me those badges. Ding, ding. Yeah. And there we have it. The Pokeball Cup is done. Look at that awesome trophy. The Poke Cup Poke Ball. Wow. Wow. Look at how sparkly it is. That's awesome. And that's it? That's the Poke Cup Poke Ball? All right. I, I mean, I guess that's cool. <laughs> Let's take a look. What happens next? Oh, we got to get a lot of trophies in that one. Let me see what the Prime Cup is really quick. I just want to look into it. Oh my gosh, there's eight cups? That's a lot, man. Oof. Okay, well, uh, it looks like the Poke Cup, we have the Great Ball ready to go. So uh, I guess we're going to jump into that next and then do Ultra Ball and Master Ball. And hopefully it'll be a little bit harder. But we have a really good team right now. So I'm excited for it. Anyway, you guys are amazing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everyone. You guys enjoying Pokemon Stadium? I think I can, I think I got time to knock out Great Ball, Ultra Ball, Master Ball tonight. I didn't realize that there were four cups within each of these. That's a lot of battling, man. I mean, it's called Pokemon Stadium for a reason, but still. I'm good with it. Tomorrow, we'll probably knock out uh, the, um, the Prime Cup. And then we'll knock out, like, the Gym Leader Castle and kind of be done with Pokemon Stadium. I don't know if I want to go through round two, guys. This is too much luck for me, man. Let's go. Let's do it. Same team? What was the glaring weakness on my team? Vileplume? Vileplume literally did one thing, and that was just grass damage. I don't know. What do you guys think? What was the glaring... Was there a glaring weakness of the team? I didn't lose a single round. I mean, it's the Pokeball round. Kadabra does work. You got the Legendary Birds, Vileplume, and, and Earthquake Man. I don't have any fighting. So, like, if there's Clefable or Wigglytuff, I lose. So that's kind of the coverage I'm missing. But I don't think there's Pokemon that really do that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Poke Cup, let's jump into it. Thanks for watching, everyone. Are you guys ready? You guys ready for some more Pokemon Stadium? All right, we're jumping into the Poke Cup, which is the Great Ball Cup over here. And uh, we're going to go. We have our team. We're going to use the exact same team as we did before with the Legendary Birds. We've got Kadabra. We have Vile Plume, And then we have Nidoking as well. So team looks fine to me. Great. Let's knock it out and have some fun. The Poke Cup. Battle 1. Great Ball. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. All of these Pokemon uh, do end up losing to Nido King, uh, and then the ones that don't. Mm, oh, I'm sorry. Kadabra knocks these guys out. That's what I meant to say. Kadabra, Nido King, and then we're just gonna go with Zapdos, just in case we run into anything uh, hard. So anyway, it seems like they're like the evolved versions of the previous cup. Need Arena, Need Arena, Machoke, Seal, Hitmonchan. We're just going to one-hit KO every single one of them, so honestly, it doesn't even matter. I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay, Kadabra. Boom. See you later. Look at this Hitmonchan. Green eyes over here, yeah? And you see his head just, like, fall to the side. All right, I'm glad that Kadabra knocks out this entire team. It was really good. Whoa, excuse me. That's a that's a coloration. Wow, okay. That is a color. Wow, look at those yellow eyes, yellow mouth. Taken down with one hit. Oh, it's 
Yo, the flex on Machoke. He kind of looks like a Kremlin. From, like, the Donkey Kong franchise. Looks like a Kremlin. Those all lizard guys. That's Choke Ma. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, let's do it. This is great. We're doing awesome. Biker was down and in two minutes flat. Let's go. Easy mode. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Look at this guy. What is he? Alright, I, I got some words to say to these guys. Alright, well, now the levels are going to be a little bit higher. I, will, I don't think I'll be able to use Horn Drill anymore because the levels are higher. That might be the little thing about that. Taking a look at this, Fire does really, really well. Uh, but also, Nido King does very well. I'm going to start out with the neutral. I'm going to start out with Kadabra. Kadabra takes three out of six of them down. Nido King also takes the opposite three out of six of them down. And then Moltres... Spice pick. Spice pick. Here we go. Come on, Kadabra. Let's make it count. They're all level 51. They're a little stronger. Weeping Ace. Yeah, Weeping Ace is done. Alright, let's do it. Here we go. Big Psychic. Done. Weeping Bell is a poison type, so obviously weak against Psychic here. Taking down on the word go. Tell me more about the word go. Here's, wow, look at green Electabuzz. Wow, cool. Green actual Electabuzz. Let's talk about that. I don't want to be in here. But I also do want to dig underneath. Wow, green Electabuzz is cool. Yo, he tried the T-Wave? All right. I'm underground, buddy. I really like that a lot. Dunked. Come on, take him, take him. To oh, God, that's, oh, that's not good. Oh, help, help, help. Thunder Wave is bad. Okay, so what is he going to do? Okay, you know what? This is fair. This is fair. I know exactly what he's going to try to do. He's going to try to do a Thunder Punch. And therefore, I'm going to come right over here into Nido Kinge. Nido Kinge is going to do it. We got him. We're going to predict the Thunder Punch. Flash! Oh my gosh, help! I mean, Earthquake is 100% accurate, but now it's a little shaky. So we're going to see what happens. I did not... Get the Whoa, you're out speeding and you flash me twice, Electabuzz? Excuse me. There's no way. The earth literally quakes underneath you. There's no way that can miss. But having minus two on the accuracy is very scary right now. If he brings an Ivysaur or Gloom, I'm done. And here's Ivysaur, great. Anyone? Oh, oh, I got this. Check this out. Whatever you're gonna try. I brought Moltres as a spice pick. Two controllers are connected. Where? Huh. Okay, cool. Great. Ghost controller. Alright, Moltres. Fire chicken. Let's go. Body slam. Look at you trying to get the paralysis. That's a blue Ivysaur, by the way. I'm gonna go... I am going to fly. The fly is 100% accuracy. So I'm just going to fly in the sky. Yeah. This is cool. And you can see I'm like higher in the air over here. So we're just going to dive down. Super effective damage. Whoosh. Very strong, but not strong enough. Here's a body slam. Could get the paralysis. Did not get the paralysis. It's alright. 
Uh, what's my next move? Swift? Cool. Swift never misses, so we're good. Don't have to do any two-turn nonsense. We're all fine. So Fly, I'm curious of. Fly is 90 base power. Yeah. 90 base power? Wow. Strong. How did, how did Ivysaur survive that, though? Maybe my attack stat is not that good as uh, Moltres. That's all right. We'll figure it out. That was a cool blue Bulbasaur. I loved seeing that. All right, next up. Who's over here? What Pokemon do you have, friend? Oh, man. Okay. We've kind of seen this guy before, the juggler. This is the metronome guy. That's like a joke. So, since he's kind of a joke, what we're going to do is I am going to... We're going to do Kadabra. I'm then going to do Zapdos. No, 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 no. Let's start with Zapdos. Zapdos is a good lead. In the event Graveler comes out, I can bring out Nido Kinge. And in case Poliwhirl comes out, I still have Zapdos. We can then also jump into uh, Kadabra. Yeah. Come on, Nido Kinge. All right, Zapdos, let's do it. Oh, here's Haunt Ur with a neon pink tongue, I think. Haunt Ur. I don't want to be a part of this, to be honest. I don't like Haunt Ur. He can use, like, Hypnosis or something. That looks like a shiny Haunter. Like, they took the coloration from Pokemon Stadium. Oh, that's not good. Miss. Did you hear Zapdos snoring? I think Sleep Claws is a thing in this game, so I'm going to... I need this. I need Kadabra out. I think Sleep Claws is is in the game, meaning you can't put two Pokemon to sleep. Yeah, there we go. I saw Dream Eater coming a mile away. What? Whose dreams are eating, man? I'm wide awake, kid. Come here. Eat a psychic. Hunter is huge, though. You see how big Hunter is compared to Kadabra? Just like ghastly, gigantic. At least 15 foot tall. So cool. All right, anyway. Uh, here's hoping Hitmonlee comes out. Don't think I could handle Clefable. Oh, shoot. Clefable. You know what? I'll handle Clefable. A lot of HP on Clefable, so let's do this. I'm going to go Psychic. I think it's a 2-hit KO on Clefable. Maybe 3. Special Fell. Not bad. With the special fell, I think that... Oh, and you had counter? Dude, I don't have any physical attacks. Nice try. Wow. Good thing, huh? Let's go psychic. So with the special falling, this should be a secured KO. Oh, I mean, the crit didn't matter. I think we're fine. Because in Generation 1, your special stat is the exact same thing as your special attack and special defense. It's in one group. Which is really weird. They didn't do the physical special split. So some moves are, are special. Like fire moves are special. And some of them are like physical. It's really inconsistent. Anyway. Uh, let's do this. I'm not into. I'm not interested in getting hypnosis. So let's do the psychic. And then we win. Dunked. Two hit KO. It's fair. Counter. I, it doesn't work. Counter only works as if I hit you with a physical attack, but I'm using special attacks this time around, so we're good. Sorry, Poliwhirl. Later, buddy. You were a good... It was a good try. I like that he's a little purple. That's kind of cool. poly dash Whirl. Get some different colored Pokemon going on. That was the battle. All right, all right. Now the guys are really, really working it. Extra continue. Okay, Thunder. Excellent. Let's move it. Oh, who do we have? What is a Swimmer? Beauty? What is that? Krabby. Alright. Krabby. Ooh, Electric does work against 
four out of six. So I'm going to lead with Zapdos. Best odds. Uh, in the event that there is a Graveler or an Onyx, I believe that Vile... Ooh, actually, Vile Plume destroys everyone. I should know this by now. Vile Plume destroys everyone. Zapdos also destroys everyone. And I'm going to bring Need... I don't want to bring Nidoking. He's weak against literally everyone. Um, Bioplume's great. Zapdos. I need Articuno. We're going to do that. That's our run. Here we go. Here we go. Vileplume. Literally super effective damage against everyone. There's nothing that they can do against it. All I have to do is press one button and put the controller down. Here we go. A and Pedal Dance. Please tell me I clicked it. Double team. That's not good. Made itself, more evasive. Made itself more evasive. Too bad there's 100% accuracy and I'm not going to miss. Yeah. See ya. That is... What? Oh, that's two hit KO? What? Oh, man. That's strong. Okay. Yep. Here's a Surf. It's a resisted hit. Vileplume's got this. Vileplume's got a very strong special attack stat. Continuously thrashing about. Tapping that foot. Got him. I needed the crit on the previous turn. Crit did not matter. Here we go. Give me Ammonite. What will the next Pokemon be? War Toady. Look at that purple War Turtle. That's cute. All right. Double team. Uh, uh, that's what this person does. Every single Pokemon has double team. I only got the two turn. Wow, 2 HP? Come on, game. What's War Turtle gonna do? War Turtle does have an Ice Beam, and... Is he faster? I don't remember. Oh, he did do the Surf. Why did he do... He didn't do Surf. What move did he use? Oh, we used Double Team, that's right. So he can do Hydro Pump or Ice Beam and destroy me. Ice Beam. He's going to use Ice Beam, isn't he? Ice Beam on Articuno is super effective. But I think I can outspeed him. I don't want to lose Vileplume with a Confusion hit either. What's the matter, Trainer? You know what the matter is. I'm switching to Zapdos to take the Ice Beam. What's the matter, Trainer? I love that. Alright, here it comes, here it comes. Ice Beam on Zapdos. Half health. It's not same type attack bonus. Okay, a third. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted to see. Alright, good job, good job. So now what we can do is I can Thunderbolt. And then we have one more Pokemon to knock out and we're all set. Yeah, look at this War Turtle. There's a difference in the number of reserved Pokemon. Ani D, oh gosh, Ani D, Ani D made his appearance. Okay. The battle has become one -sided. Well, I think I need to. I need to sacrifice. Let me see. Who do I have? I have Articuno. They're staring each other down. All right. Here's what I'm gonna do. I can't do much to be honest. I'm gonna do a flash. Two flashes. No, no, I just have to go here. You know what, switch. We're going to switch into Vileplume. He's going to use a Rock Slide. Or he's going to double team. Predicting a switch, I don't know. Yeah, okay, great. Three Onyx? That's unexpected. Here we go. Pedal Dance, go. Wait, how are you out speeding? Onyx is fast? Excuse me. Ooh, that doesn't hurt at all. Yeah, Onyx is very weak, though. So, I better knock this out. Wow, double team was in vain, and his speed stat did not matter. Onyx is one of those weird Pokemon, right? He's super weird. Like, his attack stat is very bad. His speed is 
very bad. His defense is through the roof, though. That's great. But not as special, so... Sorry, Onyx. That's it, man. That's it. All right, here we go. Well, that's the first half of the Great Ball Cup. Let's, uh, let's see what happens in the second half, shall we? All right, here it is. Pokemon Stadium. Great Ball Cup. Second half. Let's see what we got to do. Okay, so taking a look at this team over here, three of them are weak against Psychic. Uh, the remaining three, Licky Tongue, Magnemite, and Sea King. Uh, I believe I can do Lead Kadabra. Magnemite can get destroyed by uh, Nido King. Oh, Nido King actually does really good. Nido King. Actually, check this out. Check this out. Nido King destroys four. Uh, okay, fine. Hold on, hold on. Let's go. Kadabra, Nido King, and uh, just in case Sea King comes out, I'm gonna bust out Zapdos. Okay, we're set. We gotta cover our weaknesses here. Zapdos is gonna do the work. Let's do it, friends. Okay, here's Goal Dash Bat. Wow. Okay, look at him just like pacing back and forth. I remember that. That was really fun. All right, here we go. I win this matchup because I outspeed and I have a super effective attack, so this is not a problem. He's going to open up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Boom. Falls on his face. His big open mouth face. Wow, what a guy. All right, here we go. Lickitung. Wow, that's a different color of Lickitung I've never seen. His tongue is just going. It's just going at it. Okay, uh, this is actually low-key kind of scary here. I don't know what Lickitung is going to try to do. But uh, I don't want to find out. So, Pokemon, who's here? Who can take a Lickitung hit? Not much of these... Not many of these guys can. I'm going to try something cheeky here. Check this out. Oh, come on! Don't like that miss! Okay, that's fair. Oh, he threw a spoon at himself! Oh, gosh, that's not gonna work. That's today's... No, that is not it. Okay, that was pretty cheeky. I tried to do the counter. Because I knew that he would do some sort of physical attacks, but he used Supersonic instead. Alright, let's go, Zapdos. Now try to hit me with an Earthquake. Strength! Hey, man. What now? A nah, not good. Alright, he's gonna try some crazy supersonic nonsense. I'm not into that. So we're gonna T-wave him first. Lickitung's very bulky. Fully paralyzed. Nice. Okay, that's easy. Easy mode. Alright, now we go into Thunderbolt mode. I think Thunderbolt should be two hit KO. Wow, yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly two hit KO. Perfect. And another fully paralysis. Yow, man. Zapdos is too good. Gone. <laughs> And he's gone. All right, friends, what's next? Magnemite. Singular Magnemite. Couldn't find two other friends in Evolve? All right, so we know that... Um, we know that electric types can be Thunder Waved in Generation 1. They changed that in a later generation, so I'm just going to paralyze them. And maybe switch out? Yeah, yeah, now's a good time to switch out. I think I'm done. I don't like messing around with confusion. It's 50-50. It's too bad. Losing your turn? No way. I'm out. We're going to Nido Kinge. Nido King. On a predicted Swift? You're not going to Supersonic twice. T-Bolt would have been actually really strong. Or fully par paralyzed. And then we win. That's game, set, match. Excellent. Excellent. Here's the Earthquake. 
I outspeed naturally because whenever a Pokemon is paralyzed, their speed stat is completely dropped. Boom. And he had 100 HP all gone. Sorry, friends. Womp womp. Oh, wow. This little magnet kind of fell apart. It's cool to see. End battle! We did it. That was fun. I mean, a little easier. Boom, boom, boom. And we did it perfect. Excellent. Okay. All right. Let's do it. This is this is the great bomb. And there's a lot of battles here. We got to keep going. We got to keep going. Who's next? Who's this? Who's this guy? Oh, he's the guy with the Eevee. That's right. He just rocks an Eevee for some reason. Uh, V? Okay. These are some fun names. All right, let's do this. Ground. Wow, this is where fighting would have been really good to have on my team. I don't have fighting. But uh, the next best thing on fighting is going to be uh, Nidoking. Nidoking can do a strong lead right off the bat. Water, again, would have been really cool to have. I don't have water on my team. Fire. I mean, maybe we can go Articuno. And then I'll go uh, Kadabra. Instead of bring Kadabra. All right, I don't, I don't know how this is going to run. I'm ha Not having fire, water, grass is a little rough. I opted to go with the legendary birds instead, so... Cater, what is his name? Cater I? Caterati. Caterati. Caterati, because it's eradicate. Right, 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 okay. What's Caterati gonna do? Uh, Caterati, man. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like Caterati at all. So let's go. Super Fang, 50% of my health, gone. And outspeeds me. This is worrisome. Okay. There's no way he can knock me out with like a Hyper Fang from this amount of health, right? I can still win. Super Fang, another 50% of that. Brings me like 40? Yep. Okay, so this is very rude right now. Uh, I do get the KO, but my Nido King is done. The only Pokemon that I'm worried about is, I don't know, Ponyta? I don't know if Ponyta's coming out or what. Oh, Let Dig. What's Let Dig gonna do? I think Let Dig's gonna outspeed me. I think Let Dig outspeeds. That's Diglett. So, I think he's going to do a ground-type attack. So, I'm going to go into Articuno. Oh, it's Articuno. Yeah, predicted perfectly. What's that? Oh, the attack Will this See ya. The flow of Let battle? dig. Toxic. Oh, toxic! Yo, that's his mouth. You see Diglett's mouth? He's got two eyes and a mouth. It's so cute. Watch him. Yeah, there we go. That's his mouth and his little tooth. See his little tooth? His little snaggle tooth right here? That's great. Alright, let's do it. V! Okay, here comes the Eevee. I don't like this Eevee at all. He's very hurtful. But luckily I got Ice Beams. Here we go, Ice Beaming. And outspeeding, which is great. Boom, 50% 50, 50 off. Wow, that's right. I knew it. Look at how, how cute Eevee is in Generation 1. This is very different. What's this? Good uh, it's okay. It's like a little dog. One is an it's like, it's got chubby cheeks like a squirrel. This Eevee. I don't know, man. I thought Eevee was a cat. But not in Generation 1. Eevee was not a cat in Generation 1. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, easy mode. And that was the battle! We're doing the work, friends. I love it. Yeah, Marsh Badge. Continuing on, let's get that Volcano Badge, yeah? 
All right, this is gonna be good. Battle against the Psychic Kid. Oh, he's got all the Psychics. Great. Oh man, I don't have anything anti-Psychic here. So I have to bring Zapdos. Uh, I have to bring Zapdos. Uh, what does Kadabra have? Anti-Psychic? Nothing. I just gotta dig. I gotta bring Zapdos, Articuno, and Moltres. That's really all I got. Otherwise, I'm done. So I'm bringing all Legendary Birds. This one's for you, Benito. Let's do it. Alright, come on. Oh my gosh, wow, Pidgeot, cool. Alright, uh, this is fair, I love this battle. This is a good matchup. Pidgeot, coming out. Coming in hot. Oh, quick attack, that's fine. It's same type attack bonus, so that is relatively strong. Eh, not as strong. Quick attack, sorry buddy. Thunderbolt's 100 damage, yeah? No, 90. Oh, I didn't realize, I thought Thunderbolt was 100. No, it's 90. So that's very strong. Very strong base power. Uh, here's hoping that Firo comes out. Oh, Genenza. Genenza. Oh my gosh, Genenza. I don't like Genenza. Genenza's gonna, like, ice punch me, and that's gonna hurt a lot. So... Let's see. No, 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 no. Genenza's fast, so we're gonna we're gonna slow J Jinx down. Oh my gosh, I didn't realize I would outspeed Jinx. The hair. No, you don't. Oh, that's a oh, it's a ice slap. Wow, Jinx. Wow, unbelievable. I may have to lose this one. Here's hoping for the fully paralysis. I lose either way. Yeah, that's a two-hit KO. Yes! Yes! Good lips. No, I love it. Yes. So, what is Jinx? Jinx is a ghost. I don't know if you guys knew this, but Jinx is an actual ghost. That's not a human under there. Jinx is a ghost. In, like, uh, like dressing up as a human. But it's a ghost Pokemon. That's right, watch, watch, watch. She's gonna disappear because she's a ghost and leave her wig behind. That's right. I'm telling you. Diglett's got an open mouth with a snaggle tooth. Jinx is a ghost. And that's a sunburnt Abra. Cool. It's like golden. All right, well, we win. Abra's not gonna outspeed Zapdos, let alone take one of these hits. Boom! Critical hit, you're done. Love it. All right, so Loki, little afraid of Jinx there, but I don't know why the Psychic brought Abra instead of Kadabra. Ah, we did all right. Way to go, Zapdos. All right, let's go beat up Old Man in a Pokemon battle. Old Man. Bum ba down, bum a now. Oh yeah, Jinx is totally a Psychic and Ice type, but she's just physically a ghost. Unless he has the ability to teleport out of there. Alright, here we go. Dragonair. I need I need Articuno for that one. Ground. Ooh, ground does not do much. Only against Charmeleon. But loses to Parasect Poliwhirl. This is rough. Kadabra beats... Oh my gosh. This is really rough. I don't have a Pokemon that overlaps a lot. Articuno is the only Pokemon that beats two of them, which is Dragonair and Parasect. So I'm going to go Articuno lead. <sighs> who beats Articuno? Charmeleon does. So who beats Charmeleon? Nidoking does. So I'm going to bring Nidoking. Nidoking, I don't know. And then the last one. And when the going gets tough, Zapdos really just always does work. So I'm going to go Zapdos to cover Poliwhirl. Here we go. The final battle. He said that. There we go. Poliwhirl versus this. Oh, I don't know. I can I can do this matchup. I can do this matchup. What do we got? What do we got? I'm going sub. 
We're gonna go substitute real quick. Hey! Hey! 51 damage? Dude, that hurts! It's three hit KO, though. And that's not necessarily free, a three hit KO anymore, so that stinks. Poliwhirl? Uh, I need to do a sky attack. Uh, yeah, that's... That's very hurtful. Poliwhirl beats me, to be honest. Yep. 51 damage and breaks the sub. I'm gonna be left with 20 damage. 20 HP. And he outspeeds me, too? This is terrible. Wow, a crit? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks. I did not need a critical hit, but I'll take it. Oh man, okay. What do we got here? Drag air. There's no way you can outspeed me. I, this is my only check against dragon air is this ice beam. Yes. Oh my gosh, so good. Boom, Ice Beam. Yeah, I cannot believe that. We needed that crit with Poliwhirl. Otherwise, I would have switched out into Zapdos and taken the rest of these guys. Charlion. I don't have anything besides an Ice Beam, so here we go. I gotta, I've got to sacrifice Articuno right now for a free switch in to Nidoking. Unless this dude... Wow, okay. That was very strong. Wow, I don't like seeing Articuno go down like that. Such a majestic beast. Uh, yeah, I brought King just to counter Charmeleon. So, this is perfect. Oh, it's King. Let's do it. Boom. It's down. See you later, buddy. And that's it. That's the Great Ball Cup. We completely finished that. Excellent. Good job, everyone. We did it. Sorry, Articuno. We needed a free switch in, so that's all the badges. Boom. Give me that trophy. Great Ball Trophy? It's blue. Blue and white. Nice. Poke Cup. Great ball. Clear. Yes. We got two more. Right? We got two more. So we're set. We're all set and ready to go. Let's do it. Let's continue on. Let's see what's going on. Uh, right over here in the Stadium Cup, we're going to see if there's two little icons. Yeah, there we go. Two little icons all set. I am so happy about that. So next up is going to be the Ultra Ball. Ooh, we're gonna jump into that right before you know it. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Easy mode, easy mode. Thanks so much for hanging out, guys. Hello, friends. What's up, Christy Biwa? H. Fenton, who else is here? Drunken? Hi, what's up, Toadster? What's up, Laney? You guys having a good day? What's going on? We had a brand new member come on board, too. Benito, what's happening? You got two great balls, I know. It's a thing. So, how is everyone? You guys uh, here for the Ultra and Master Ball? I could do another hour if you guys want. How many hours have we been streaming? Two? I don't know, I have to take a look at that. What's up, Malik? Claire Possum, hi. Snivy, what's going on? Good to see you too. Lurk mode tonight, awesome. Just keep it on the background. Awesome, I love that. It's definitely been a good day too. Yeah, just hanging out over here. Kind of low-key getting hungry though. So, I don't know. I'll eat maybe in an hour. All right, friends. Let's do it. Ready, ready, ready. Three hours now? Oh, gosh. Pokemon Stadium takes a long time. Dude, we wasted like a half an hour in the first episode. All right, let's jump into this. Let's go Ultra Ball. Same team. I don't have any water types, but I'll be okay. So, let's knock it out. Wow. Uh, let's go Ultra Ball. Round one. Fight. Oh my gosh, they're bringing some strong Pokemon here. All right, let's do it. 
Let's do it. What's up, Hannah? Good to see you. How you been? Oh, what's up, Mel? Hello, hello. All of you guys. Brent, hey, hey. Hi, hi, hi. Let's do it. Let's play Pokemon Stadium. I'm ready for it. Are you guys ready for the Ultra Ball Cup in the Poke Cup over here? Yeah, of course. Welcome back to more Pokemon Stadium. Here we go. Let's jump into the Ultra Ball Battle. We're going to use our same registered team. It's been doing pretty well. We haven't really come across any really hard matches, but the first two rounds of Pokeball Cup and the Great Ball Cup were relatively easy. Now things are going to be fully evolved, so we got to be very careful. So, same team. The only thing I'm missing is water. I think Vileplume is okay. Vileplume can do the work, so let's uh, let's see what we got over here and let's knock it out. Poke Cup, Ultra Ball, Battle 1. Welcome to it. Pokemon Stadium, N64, 1999. Let's do it. Okay, so this one's going to be all Kadabra <clears throat> and all Nido King, And uh, I think I'm going to go Moltres because Moltres has fly. So let's do it. Kadabra, Psychic, one-shots the entire team. Bet. Let's do it, friends. Wow, okay. Poly this Polyrath coloration is a little different. All right, here we go. Going Psychic. This should be strong enough. Wow, no way! Recoil's gonna knock him out. It's fine. Dude, he survived on two. And had like a final gambit that took a third of my health. Not cool. Wow, Venomoth. I like the music. If you're listening to the music in the background, it's great. Here we go. Boom. Super effective. Should KO. Did not KO. Psywave? Dude, that's the worst move. And it missed. It's so worse. It's, it's so the worst move that it missed. <laughs> Get owned. All right, let's see. I have to actually look up Psywave. What does it do? Inflicts damage 50 to 150% of the user's level. I don't know what that means. Psywave inflicts a random amount of HP damage var varying between 50% and 150% of the user's level. In other words, at level 100, the damage will be 50 to 150 HP. The damage is typeless, not affected by any advantages or disadvantages. 80% accuracy. Weird. Psywave is bad. It's like a risky move. Why would you even use it? No way, man. No way, man. I would never use that move. Just like looking it up online. It's the worst. And a lot of rental Pokemon have Psywave for some reason. Give me Confusion. I'll take Confusion. Alright, look at these guys. Here we go. Oh, we met. We met the Rocker before. Oh my gosh. With the green Electabuzz? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so here we go. Wow, look at that Victory Bell. And that Raichu. Oh, this is cool looking. I like seeing the colors. The colors, Duke. The colors. All right, we're going to go Kadabra to knock those out. I'm bringing Nidoking to knock out the top shelf. And I'm also bringing... Oh, I don't like Moltres. I have to keep Nidoking or else I lose. Nidoking has to be alive. Yeah. Nidoking is my only anti-electric Pokemon in this entire map over here. Otherwise, I'm very weak to electric. Because I got three flying birds. So here's Electabuzz. Yeah, he shocks you with his paws. <laughs> I love that. All right, so am I scared of this guy? I'm not, to be honest. He can use Thunder Wave or something silly like that. So I'm going to come on over to Nido King right off the bat and on it and a predicted like T Wave. There's no sense in me like trying to hit him. It's not a good matchup, so I'm gonna retreat out here. Thunder Wave. Yes, beautiful. Since I'm a ground type, electric types don't move. Or sorry, <laughs> electric moves don't work. 
<laughs> yeah, electric types don't move against me. That's right. Uh, let's go Earthquake. Let's go Earthquake. Here we go. Boom. Oh my gosh. Outspeeding with a Mega Punch. Cool. A crit? Leave! It's a three hit KO, man. Dunked. You're not going to survive that. You neon green. Wow, he just stood straight up and then fell. Cool. What will the next Pokemon be? I don't know, you tell me. Tangalace. I don't like Tangela. Like at all. Did I bring Moltres? I did bring Moltres. So if he tries to do some sort of like Mega Drain or something like that, I can potentially switch in on a Mega Drain, which is um, four times resisted. Come on, chicken. Stun Spore. Boo. Don't like Stun Spore. That's rough. Don't like the Paralyzed, but I'm going to try a Fire Blast for the first time. Hyper Beam? Yeah, that's weak. Don't get fully parried. Good. Don't miss the Fire Blast. Good. Roasted. Yes. A one hit wonder over here. Hey, one hit wonder is not a good term. A one hit wonder. It's not a compliment. It's kind of like a one-trick pony over here. Come on, fire chicken, we got this. Go! Take down. Okay. Yeah, good luck. You can't take this big chicken down. Oh, big five. Don't miss it. Come on, blue eyes. Yes! Critical hit, super effective. Crit did not matter. I roasted that thing. Wow, and it just deflated. Okay, that was good. There goes the battle. This is, yeah, look at those Voltorb blue eyes. Beautiful. Perfect. Sorry, Rocker. See you later, buddy. Never again. All right, here we go. We're going to continue. Okay, here's a Psychic's. Ah, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Psychic knocks out Chansey's here. I don't know what Chansey's gonna do. Oh, this is the Metronome team. I don't like them, like at all. I mean, it's not gonna hurt to bring Kadabra. What does Kadabra have? Kadabra's got Psychic. So I'm going to bring Kadabra. Actually, you know what? I've done this before. I've done Zapdos. Kadabra. And Articuno would be good against Golem. Articuno. Here we go. Let's do it. <laughs> Orange Tongue Gengar. Wow. Orange Tongue over here. All right, let's do it, buddy. I think Gengar is going to be faster than me. Yep, this is true. And you do Hypnosis right off the bat. Fair. This is exactly what happened last time, isn't it? With, like, Haunter. I'm going Kadabra. He's gonna use a Dream Eater. It's obvious. And then we have Sleep Claws on, so we can't put another Pokemon to sleep. If I got Sleep and Zapdos in the back. And then we proceed to sweep. Dragon Rage, 40 damage. Hey, hey, hey. Ouch, man. Well, at least he didn't get... Pin Missile? I, <laughs> I was gonna say Shadow Ball, but that's not a thing. I could have used Recover. Oh, he's switching. Oh, oh, he's being smart over here. Some hard CPUs. Going into hip actual no right now. I don't like this. That's no damage. Oh, gosh.
Well, I don't really know what to do. I can try the counter. If he does a metronome. Vine Whip is, is special. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Ah, missed. How does it... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't know. Maybe Vine Whip is special. All right, here we go. I'm going to go recover. I'm going recover, man. I just need that health back. Withdraw. Okay, this is going to be really annoying. So I'm just going to go over to Pokemon. And we're going to go over to... Oh, Articuno? Yeah, I'm going to Articuno. That's just what it is. He's not using the Hypnosis because he can't. It's illegal. He's already got my Zapdos asleep. So uh, this is all I got. Burn arrow. Growth. Okay, look at you. This is really bad for me. Growth? I'm just going to go sub, man. I, I If he's going to keep on doing these like random boosts with Metronome, I don't know what's going to happen. I hope he explodes. Oh, sweet. You can't T-Wave a sub? Yes. Sub was the right move. Excellent. Here we go. Ice beaming now. Yo, we are beaming. Boom! Critical hit, but his special is boosted, so it didn't KO. Dream Eater. <laughs> okay, great. Love that, man. And the substitute's like, uh, what are you doing, buddy? Uh, we're gonna go Ice Beam again. We're gonna do Ice Beam. Boom! Okay, so remember, he did bring out Gengar. All of his Pokemon have Metronome. So that's it. There's really nothing crazy about this. So we're getting kind of lucky that we could just kind of set up a sub and just kind of work our way. Here's Chan C. Wow, I didn't know your little ears made you fly. Great. Chansey, I am 332 HP on Chansey. You see this? Excuse me? 300 HP? Oh, we are going to sky attack right off ya. Vine Whip on Metronome. Nice try. This is kind of scary, seeing what they're going to get out of Metronome, but 332 HP is huge. Dunked. Critical hit. Goodbye. Oh my goodness. I think Chansey's got the biggest HP stat in the game. That was crazy to see. So, I like this because they actually play by the rules of Sleep Claws, right? That's amazing. Because if they didn't play by those rules, then it would be uh, way crazy. Because I remember seeing, like, the... Remember that Tentacruel? Yo, the Metronome used Earthquake on a flying type. Man, this is... He's rolling the dice over here. Remember that Tentacruel used Wrap? And just had me in an infinite Wrap loop? Yo, let me get a freeze today, huh? Teleport, where are you going? <laughs> Dude, that's so funny. Okay, using Ice Beam on Gengar is not the right thing to do. I, I need to realize that the special stat is the special attack and special defense. All in one. Oh my gosh, yellow, orange tongue, Gengar. This is rough, man. I'm just stood behind a sub the entire time. Later, buddy. Uh, he's gonna fall forward. Oh, backwards. Okay, see you later, buddy. Okay. Juggler, he's a joke. He uses metronome. Nothing to worry about. Easy mode. Okay, friends. Here we go. We're gonna move on. That was a perfect round. Easy peasy. We gotta do some work here. Uh, on this next area. Uh, this next area is the beauty. Remember, she's like a swimmer. So she brings like all of these Pokemon that are weak against grass. So I need to start off with Vileplume. I also need to bring Zapdos. Vileplume, Zapdos, and I'm bringing Articuno. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. 
We'll be we'll be okay. Vileplume, Zapdos, Articuno. Come on, Vileplume. Just do the pedal dance. That's all you gotta do. Goldie. Gold Goldetti. Oh, he's done. Yeah, you have to switch out. This is finally where Vileplume gets some work. Oh my gosh, wow. There's no sturdy ability where you can survive with one HP. That's four times super effective. 120 base power, you're done, man. Sorry, Golem. You know, I loved Golem back in the day. And Graveler. I still have fond memories of Generation 1 getting a Geodude and evolving it. Like, really, really quick in the game. And then I went up against Misty, and I instantly lost with a Bubble Beam. I still have that memory when Pokemon was brand new. And I'm like, oh man, I got this Graveler over here. He's using Rock Throw. He doesn't take any damage from normal type attacks. He's so good. And then Misty, just one Bubble Beam and I was down. I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this game? Here's an Ice Beam, 50% health. Hey. Oh, that's not 50%. That's way more. Oh my gosh, dude. Goodbye. Okay, Blastody. Wow, look at that teal color. Wow, Blastody. Alright, I got one more. This was like a three turn. Or a four turn, it looks like. This has got to be at least 50%. Then, uh, what? Because the double team? Oh, no. I gotta go pedal dance. What are you doing? Digging? Wait, if pedal dance misses, am I locked into it? Hit yourself. I shouldn't be locked into it if I'm... I am locked into it if I miss. Oh, that's lame. Oh, man, I would have switched to Zapdos, but whatever, it doesn't matter. You're learning some different mechanics in the game, right? Didn't expect him to use Dig. What a guy. That's okay, I got Zapdos, man, so we're set. Alright, ready, ready, Freddy. Zapdos, got it. This is going to be a... Mm, Two-hit KO. Yeah, I think... I think... I think Blastoise is relatively bulky on the special side. So, the only thing he's got is like Hydro Pump on me. So, that's a two hit KO. Yeah, yeah. It heals. Oh, my. Wow, okay. I thought he was a lot more bulky on the special side. Apparently not. Great. More power to us. Let's continue on. Vileplume lost, unfortunately. Uh, but did a really good job knocking two out of three Pokemon out amazingly. Good work, Vileplume. You're awesome. So that concludes the first half of the Ultra Ball Cup. That's amazing. Now what we have to do is jump into the second half. Thanks for watching. Okay. Here it is. Pokemon Stadium Ultra Ball Battle 5, second half. Gengar Magneton. Oh, that's scary. Okay, Gengar Tentacruel Golbat gets knocked out by Kadabra. So I'm going to lead with Kadabra. That's a 50% uh, chance to get a good matchup at the beginning. Magneton? Magmar? Oh. Magneton, Magmar, Gengar, and Tentacruel also get knocked out by Nidoking, which is perfect. So I'm going to bring Nidoking. And then last but not least, we have a uh, Cloyster, which I don't have an answer for outside of Zapdos. So I'm going to go with Zapdos, and we should be all set. So this is a good matchup. I think our team is very good. I like using these Pokemon. Like, I really understand their strengths and weaknesses, and we'll see what happens. So here's Gengar with neon pink eyeballs. I think we win this one. Because remember, Gengar doesn't have Shadow Ball in, uh, in this game at all. But Confuse Ray can be something that uh, really messes us up. So we'll see what happens. Don't. Don't. Yes. Yes. No confuse right. Don't. You, you cannot survive that. I'm so strong. What? Confuse Ray, Psychic, Mega Drain. Uh, it's not a thing. Um, 
Confuser. Psychic? Mega Drain? That's going to hurt. I think he's going to try Nightshade. If he does, that's a 50%. Oh my gosh, if he uses another thing. Man. I don't know. I'm going to switch over to Zapdos and see what happens. But um, here's hoping we can knock this out. Psychic is okay. I mean, okay, good. I think, I think that was fine. That was a good matchup. I just don't want to get the confusion, right? Gengar is just fast. So fast. Dude, I don't like the confuser, man. Stop that. Don't hit yourself. Don't hit yourself. Yes. Good. Dude, Confuser is so scary. We are so lucky that we hit through Confusion. Alright. Uh, I think I'm in a good spot outside of potentially missing the Confusion. I need to switch out right now. It's just not safe being out there. Magneton. Okay, so Magneton really can't do much to me, to be honest. But here's the thing. It can use Takedown. I can use T-Wave. I don't know what it's going to want to try to do. Screech? Takedown? They're staring each other down. We are staring each other down. I could switch to... Um, what's his name? I can switch to Nido King, And the worst thing that can happen is if I get hit by a Takedown or a Screech. And the next turn I proceed to knock him out. So I think this is fair. I think this is a good choice. Rather than risking... A confusion hit and then using a T wave for what? This is the better attack. He's gonna use takedown. Screech. Okay, that hurts a lot. So that's gonna lower my defense by two stages. So if he uses takedown next turn and survives this earthquake, then I'm done for. It's gonna hurt a lot. But I outspeed, which is great. So the next opportunity that I have, I have to get out of battle over here so I can reset. Oh, what the? No! Oh, good, good, good. He missed the supersonic. Supersonic has very shaky accuracy, so no. Thank you. If I do a sub, I'll be set up for success. Because he's going to try to do the takedown, and maybe the takedown will uh, give him recoil damage on a sub? I don't know the mechanics of hitting a substitute with a recoil move. I'm just going to do this. And I got a free substitute because you can't supersonic the sub. And I didn't even realize that Magneton's magnets are pink and green right now. Which is so cool. Anyway, we're ready to go, man. I could just hit Earthquake all day and win. I just got a free move right now. Easy mode. Earthquake. Dunzo. Dunk Danya. Boom. Okay, so this means that I have one free move. With a substitute up, whoever wants to eat this. Uh, if it's a goal bat, I lose. If it's anyone else, I win. Cloyster. Yeah, yeah, Cloyster is going to break the sub with an ice beam. So I think I win this one. Because all I do is two earthquakes and then it's over. Yeah. Okay, this is game, set, match. He's going to use an ice beam, break the sub, and then I got two earthquakes. Oh, shoot! What in the world? Cloyster's defense is so strong. Tell me I still have Zapdos in the wings, because that is not okay. And I can't use Horn Drill because he's a higher level than me. So, there's that. Rage is not going to do anything either. This is He's a one-trick pony. Nido King over here, so enjoy. Dude, Cloyster's so bulky on the physical side? I'm done. Oof. Yeah, he is ice and water type. Nido King did work. He did a lot of work, but... I do have Zapdos, and that's going to be game, set, match. So I'm set. Da-da-da-da-da. Okay, here's Thunderbolt. Yeah, Cloyster doesn't have that good of a special stat from what I remember. But defense is through the roof on that thing. Wow. And there goes the battle. All right. We're doing it. We're doing it. Now, this is the difficulty that I wanted, right? 
doing the pokeball cup doing the great ball cup those are like really simple rounds things are now we're using fully evolved pokemon and it's pretty fair i would say it's fair holy moly okay oh there's a charizard and a venusaur on board super scary okay okay thinking about this blue venusaur okay zapdos zapdos knocks out kingler and charizard kingler is coming he's level 53 right now so he's absolutely coming oh i don't know if i want to bring in my kingler counter right off the bat though low-key um I... kingler's not gonna do anything vile plume can beat kingler yeah i think i think i can do this i think i can do this with a lot of good teammates here uh i'm thinking i'm thinking i lead off with moltres uh no zapdos is just too good i can't hit sand slash if it's zapdos Let's lead off with Vileplume. No, Vileplume locks himself into a move and then I'm done. I... This is really hard. Um, wow. Let's, let, let's do the safe bet. Let's do Kadabra. Lead off with Kadabra, which is neutral against everyone minus Venusaur. Bring Zapdos in the back. Zapdos doesn't hit Sand Slash. So I'm then going to use Arctic... Uno or Vile Plume. Let's do let's do Vile Plume. Uh, Vile Plume. Who did I bring? Kadabra, Vile Plume, Zapdos. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, against the Tamer. All right, friends, let's do it. This is Sand Slash. This is gonna hurt, man. I think he's gonna slash me and get a crit, and I think I'm gonna get really hurt. So I'm gonna go for counter. No actual way! Unbelievable. This is, uh, rough. This is rough. I thought I could survive a hit. It's fine. We got this. He's gonna either slash or do some other nonsense. I'm just gonna pedal dance, man. Dance, monkey, dance. Seismic? Where are you getting seismic toss from? 50 damage? Okay, that's fair. I can take two, three of those. I think I may have lost this one. There's no way you're going to survive on 12, guy. That's a crit. That's illegal, man. What are you doing? Okay, here we go, here we go. What will the next Pokemon be? Oh, it's Persian. Jenper? The Pokemon What's Jenper gonna do? Slash me, I'm owned. Dude, this is rough. Everyone is slashing. What's this? And critting. I can't win this. I can't win this. This is so hard. Slash is just critting me left and right, and I don't have any high defense, folks. So, I don't know. I, I don't know what's going to happen over here. I'm going to eat a crit from this dude. I can probably Thunderbolt two-hit KO. I'm going to eat two slashes? 
Two crit slashes, man. Get out, dude. There's no way. That's that's 50% health. Unless I get a crit on this. Survive on one. Yes, yes, yes. Now, Krabby comes in. Kingler comes in, does not take the Thunderbolt, and I outspeed Kingler and win with two HP to spare. That's it. That's what it has to be. Why didn't Kingler come out? Shoot. I lose. Wow, faster? Okay. Yep. Creating. Dude, that is rough. I don't uh I don't know, man. I I don't know how to beat that team. I don't have anyone that has like superior defense to hit to like survive all those crits or really outspeed them. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. The Tamer. Everyone has, like, Slash on their team. I don't know what to do against that. Who has the most defense? 109, 117, 102. 98 defense on Nido King. Kadabra's 56 defense. There's no way he would have survived that. I mean, Articuno is my best bet for that. Who has my highest speed stat? 117 on Zapdos. 107. 107. One thirty. I have to bring Kadabra. I don't know. I could try the Parahacks, where I could just like try to get Paralysis. This is good. I like this. This is a good matchup. This is what I was hoping would happen. So now I get this one KO, and then I'm better off. Unless he switches. And I outspeed. Perfect. Perfect first turn. There's no way you're going to survive that guy. Get out. Sandslash does not have good special. So this is great. Perfect start. Persian. Persian's gonna do the slashing right now, which is fine. I am going to proceed to Ice Beam. That's all I got. Persian's very fast, and it will crit every time. Good. That's a three-hit KO. Perfect. And then my Ice Beam is a two-hit KO. So Articuno was the answer. Yes, that's a two hit KO. Beautiful. Articuno is great. Love it. I mean, if I had a ghost Pokemon, that would be so good right now because Slash wouldn't do anything and they'd be forced to use their other moves. And I could switch in on a ghost Pokemon and, and do that, like Gengar or something. No, we're fine. We are absolutely fine over here. So someone is maybe going to outspeed me for the last one. I don't know if it's going to be Kingler. But this is good. Charizard? Wow, okay. Well, look at that skinny head on Charizard. Wow, alright. Dragon Rage, 40 damage. Cool. It's kind of like Seismic Toss. A little weaker than Seismic Toss right now, but we're fine. 
Because uh, we brought Zapdos. And Zapdos should be able to outspeed Charizard. And deal super effective Thunderbolt damage. So I think we're good. Thunderbolt! Wow, okay. Hi. I did not get outsped. I did get outsped. And that is a three hit KO. Good. Man. That did 62 damage. Boom, that should be one hit KO. And we're done. Yeah. Oh, come on! Game? I'm s I swear this game is. This game loves me. It's fine. It's game set match. This is going to do about 60 damage. I'll survive with like approximately 40. Yep. And then boom. One hit. One hit wonder. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I gave him a crit on his last one HP. That wasn't too bad. It was a little annoying, and it kind of showcased just exactly how powerful the move Slash is. Especially if you have a Pokemon that's really fast. High critical hit ratio, man. Okay, moving on. Continue. Yeah, uh, let's do it. I have two continues, so I'm set. Does Charizard actually learn Dragon Rage? That doesn't sound right. That does sound illegal. All right, here we go. Uh, what do we have? What do we have? I got three Psychic Pokemon. Don't like that. And there's an Aerodactyl, too. I also don't like that. Scyther is flying. Okay, so Zapdos does one, two, three, four. Zapdos is very valuable here. Um, other than that, I think that Articuno would be very helpful. Uh, to beat up against, I uh, what does it do? Razor Wind Sky Attack. Yeah, that's really good. Nido King doesn't do much because there's a lot of flying Pokemon. Arctic Moltres. Moltres is okay. Kadabra. I don't actually know, man. I don't know what Kadabra is gonna do against Alakazam. Kadabra can't do anything against uh, other Psychic Pokemon <clears throat> at all. I gotta bring all the birds. I have to bring all the birds. Here we go. This is, this is scary. Scyther is coming. No Scyther is 100% coming. He's level 54. And Pink Slowbro. Yes, this is a good matchup. Pink Slowbro is not going to do much. He could potentially disable. But, I mean, he's got very high special, so he might survive this. No, he did not. Uh, he's like, are we knocked out? And then the shelter goes, yep. And he goes, okay, cool. <sighs> and then he falls. Love it. It's so charming. This game's so beautiful. All right, Aerodenza. Nice try. I mean, Aerodenza... Aerodactyl could potentially use a rock slide. And Aerodactyl's fast. So this is not... Not good. Hyper Beam right off the bat. Boom! It's a special move, Hyper Beam. And Aerodactyl's special attack isn't that good. And you're not going to survive this because his special's bad. Dang. Zapdos was key to this. There's a lot of flying Pokemon here. Dodrio Scyther coming out. Dodrenza. That's very fast. Maybe like a... Uh, I don't know, try attack Drill pack? Drill pack? No, that wouldn't do anything. Try attack is probably be, would be the best. It's a physical attack, and it's same type of attack bonus. It might KO me. Nice, dude. Zapdos was doing work. He didn't even bring Alakazam. I was so happy because Alakazam would have been really, really scary. Way to go! The psychic named Psychic did not bring a psychic Pokemon. They brought slow, bro, didn't he? Yeah, okay, there's one psychic Pokemon. Fine. You can have it. Yikes. Okay, here we go. Earth Badge. Things are gonna get real now. This is not a joke. This is gonna be hard. Ultra Ball, final battle against Old Man. <clears throat> He's got a Dragonite. Oh my gosh, a Dragonite level 55. So he has to bring Dragonite. I need to make sure that Articuno is safe. Because Articuno's Ice Beam KOs Dragonite. Dragonite is level 55. Everyone else is 50. So, that being said, I need that. 
I cannot sacrifice Articuno. Articuno's got to be in my back pocket. Uh, my Nido King can beat Flareon, Electrode, and Nido King, which is great. The only oh sorry, um, the only Pokemon I can't counter would be Golduck. So I'm gonna bring Zapdos, and then I'm gonna bring Articuno as my last Pokemon uh, because I need Articuno against Dragonite. And if I have to sacrifice a Pokemon in order to make that matchup happen, then I have to. Here we go, Nido King with the Earthquakes. If it's Dragonite, I lose. Shoot! Oh man! Oh gosh! Okay, okay. I, I, mm, I have. I may have to sacrifice this Pokemon. He's gonna use Blizzard or Hyper Beam or something like that, and Blizzard's gonna KO me. And I, he's a Flying type, so I can't use Earthquake. Can use Horn Drill. Just gonna have to Rage, man. Oh, this is bad. Dragonite's fast, too. This is a bad matchup. I'm going Rage. Blizzard. Take it. Critical hit, super effective. Gone. Instantly. Eviscerated. It's fine. It's fine. It's Dragonite, man. That's the only dragon Pokemon... His evolution line is the only dragon Pokemon in Generation 1. He's, he's amazing. Don't switch. You're not switching. Whoa, whoa, hey! Wow! Outsped? Dude, that's insane to think about. Blizzard's accuracy is 70. So, I mean, he could have missed that first one. Alright, Articuno's here. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I don't have Nidoking anymore. Here's Flareon. Great. Uh, I don't want to be in this matchup. Do I sacrifice? I think I lose this, I lose this match. I don't want to sacrifice Articuno. I still think that Articuno could do some work. So I'm bringing Zapdos in. I could eat a Fire Blast. Oh gosh, that's gonna hurt. 50% health, at least. And I got a burn. What the heck? I don't like that at all. I don't know if Flareon's faster or what. Should I go for two Thunderbolts? I'm faster than Flareon. I'm a Zapdos. Okay, get the two Thunderbolts. It's gonna be two hit KO. Oh, that's not a two-hit KO. And I get hurt by the burn. Here's another Fire Blast. Miss? Reflect. Okay, that's great. Hey, look at him shaking that tail. I love that animation. Uh, reflect doesn't matter for me at all. Uh, all I have to do now is get the... Um, get the two Thunderbolts. Burn damage won't bring me into KO range of Fire Blast, hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do something else, man. Don't... Oh, gosh. I don't know. Fire Blast. Miss? Miss? Mi 10 HP. Good, good, good. So, I'm gonna get this hit. Which is fine. And then I'm hoping that Nido King comes out. If Nido King comes out, I can Ice Beam and win the game. But if it's Golduck, I lose. If it's Electrode, I lose. If it's Pinsir, I can maybe win. I don't know what's going to happen, but I have to possibly get the T-Wave. Electrode. One of the fastest Pokemon in the game. I'm going for the T-Wave. Of course he's faster. Oh, I lose, man. I lose against... Because of Dragonite. I lost my... I lost my guy at the beginning. I lost Nidoking. Yeah, here's Articuno, and I'm going to get Thunderbolted. Yep, Thunderbolted is 100% accuracy, GG's, thank you so much, and that is it. There's no getting of that, that is all you got. I'm gonna lead with Articuno. I'm gonna lead with Articuno, and I need help with Articuno, so this one's this one's a hard one. That one was really hard, so I'm gonna make a save state really quick and just 
Go infinite continues. Ah, oh, gross. Okay, safe state is on. Let's do this. All right, here we go. This is the Ultra Ball final battle. You better watch out for that Dragonite, man. It is not a joke. We got to do some work this time around. I'm hoping that I get the lead matchup with Articuno first. Uh, I'm going to go Zapdos second. And then Nido King is just really good against three of the other Pokemon. So that's what it's got to be. Articuno, Zapdos, Nido King. Here's hoping he leads with Dragonite. If he leads with Dragonite, I can take a Hyper Beam. Yes, good. I can take a Hyper Beam. I think I... Yeah, I can take a Hyper Beam. If he, if he does Thunder, that's going to also hurt. But I need to Ice Beam him and get him out of here. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. This is perfect. Wow. Big Brain probably would have been predicting the Hyper Beam and maybe putting a Substitute up. Critical hit, super effective. That's like times eight damage. No one's surviving that. His health would still be draining in the negatives right now. So I think Bigger Brain would be using the sub. This guy's got sub, right? Articuno. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. I got this. Watch, watch, watch. Electrode. I don't know what Electrode wants to do, and I don't want to be here to find out either. Substitute would have been way smarter. Alright, so since Electrode's here, I'm going to switch to Nido King. I think that he's maybe going to use a Thunderbolt. Or a Thunder Wave. He can use one of two Thunders. Bring it on. Bring it on. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Ground type does no damage. Excellent, excellent. Old man. Come here, I got you. Earthquake. He can only use what? Hyper Beam? Explosion. 60% health. Exactly that. I don't get to use my Earthquake on the next Pokemon that comes in. It's just how the game works. Who's this? Oh! Speed tie? Well, uh, it doesn't matter. I win. This is a game set match because I have the Articuno in the wings still. Remember, I didn't sacrifice Articuno. Speed tie. Earthquake. Wins. GG's. Nidoking's also a poison type, so this is going to be super effective damage. Same type of attack bonus. GG's old... Oh, gosh! Hello, hi! <laughs> GG's old man! <laughs> Nidoking actually survived that. Cool. But it's okay. I've got Articuno. Articuno outspeeds Nido King, and then we win against Old McMahon. I thought I had that in the bag. Oof. Yeah, good thing I kept Articuno alive. Go, Articuno. I choose you. You don't have Rock Slide. Th you got Thunderbolt? Wait. Oh, three HP. I would have lost, man. Where is he getting Thunderbolt from? No way. Because look, if that Thunderbolt KO'd me, I only had Zapdos left. And I don't know what other move he would have used against me. He had Mega Punch too. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, Zapdos, I, I would have to use a two-turn Sky Attack against him. So maybe two Mega Punches I would have lost. Anyway, that's the match. That was actually really, really exciting. The Ultra Ball, done. So good. You know what we have now, right? We have the hardest cup. Everything else up until now was just practice for the real deal. And that's going to be the Master Ball. So can we knock out the Master Ball Cup with this team that we set out with of rental Pokemon only? No bringing a transfer pack? I don't know. But I cannot wait to find out. The Master Ball. Holy moly. Welcome to Pokemon Stadium. Thanks for watching. Oh my gosh. You guys ready? You, you, guys, uh, you guys up for one more? I got one more in me. Thanks for hanging out today, friends. Let's do it. Let's do it.
I'm into it. Thanks so much for hanging out, friends. How are you doing this evening? I hope it's not too late for you guys. I know it's like 11 o'clock, but hey, you know what? We're playing Pokemon Stadium, and I absolutely love this game. Yeah, man. Let's go. Master Ball. I'm, I'm very worried on Master Ball. I don't know how things are going to play out with this team over here. But I, I'm, I'm familiar with the team for sure. Team is working. The team is putting in work. We're going to figure it out. Let's do it, friends. Woo! Here we go. The Pokeball Cup in Pokemon Stadium on Nintendo 64. Of course, Nintendo Switch. Here we go, the Master Ball Cup, the final one. This is the hardest Pokemon. They're all evolved, and they are all ready to get you. Welcome back to even more Pokemon Stadium. Let's do it. Here we go. We're going to be using our same team of registered Pokemon. These are all rentals over here. Uh, we have Kadabra for Psychic. Vileplume, again, a weak link, but it does okay in one battle. Uh, Zapdos, Moltres, Articuno, Nidoking. The only thing we don't have is a Rock-type attack, and we also don't have any Water-types either. So we're just going to have to figure it out and go from there. Thanks for watching, and wish me luck, because I'm going to need it. May the crits be with you and not against you. Look at all these guys. These are big boys now. They've all grown up. I'm going Kadabra. I'm going Nidoking. And I'm going... Oh, Zapdos. Zapdos. Let's go, baby. They're all grown up. Remember Machoke was there earlier? Now he's a Machamp. You can see this trainer over here. This biker has now evolved all of his Pokemon. This is Weezing. Nice to meet you. Very scared. All right, Weezing. Weezing. Kadabra should be able to KO all these guys. One hits all the way across the board. Yes. As Weezing, baby. Goodbye. Welcome. Welcome. Muck. Wow, Muck's little skinny arms and his, and his finger sticking right up. Why does he do that? Why is his hand up like that? Okay, Muck is very bulky, but his special stat is not good. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, man. If your special stat is bad, then everything else is, is not going to be good against Kadabra. Prime it. Yo, that's Champ Ma. Yo, he's like a little green, a little, little teal color champ, ma. You know my champ? Alright, champ ma, gone. This, you know what, I'm, I'm very happy with this because we're done. And I just, I clicked the three buttons and I was all set. So let's move on, let's move on. We're moving on. I wish I could use Mewtwo against all these Pokemon. That'd be so cool to beat the game with Mewtwo. Oh, a dream. A dream to be able to play through Pokemon uh, Yellow and whatnot and then do the work. All right, here we go. I'm gonna just be sure to create uh, suspend, suspend points in every single one of these just to save the game, right? You don't wanna, you don't wanna risk anything. Battle 2? Oh, you got a Zapdos as well, huh? What are you going to do with that Zapdos? Oh my gosh. What are we doing? This is scary. These guys are scary. Okay, for starters, Moltres does a lot of work. Moltres, Nidoking, Zapdos. Scary, man. This is scary. Yes, good matchup. Oh my, look at how, look at those eyes. Those eyes on Venusaur. Nothing. This guy's got nothing. Razor Leaf, Leech Seed. I can substitute on this guy all day. Is he going to try to body slam me? Whatever. If he tries a growth or anything like that, I win. So I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to go substitute. In case he tries to throw some seeds. Because you can't seed. You can't seed a sub. 
Yes. Yes. Now I got a free sub up. This is a beautiful day. Uh, do I want to go for the fire blast risk the miss? No. Yes, I do. I'm going to risk it. Fire blast is good. Yes. Yes. What a great first turn. And you do not survive that. Okay. Uh, just calculating that. Fire Blast has 85% accuracy with 110 base power on special side. And Fly is just 90. Okay, so here's Zapdos. Not a fan of Zapdos, but I will let this substitute fall. So let's do a Fire Blast. Flying, flying. Do I have a Pokemon that would just... He's flying. So if I fly after him, we could potentially have this, like, back and forth fly fest. Doesn't seem worth it. He's gonna break the sub, I'm gonna fire blast right after him. Fly. Okay, break the sub, cool, enjoy. Is he PowerPoint stalling me? Yeah! That's not a lot of damage. I don't want to be in here. I have my own Zapdos, which would take neutral damage. I don't think he's going to go for the fly again. He, now that my sub is off, he should be able to come over here and knock, um... If I take a Thunderbolt with Zapdos. Or I can go with Nidoking, but Nidoking doesn't have any moves for Zapdos. Zapdos is a flying electric, and I all have his rage. So, what am I gonna do with Nidoking, in case he has a pocket electrode? I'm gonna switch to Zapdos. And hopefully take only 40%. 40% from an incoming Thunderbolt? Thunder! Wow, a miss on a Thunder! Okay! I will gladly take that. I... What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Two Thunderbolts? Get the T-Wave. Let's do the T-Wave. Safe option is the T-Wave. I do outspeed. Oh, you did the T-Wave too. Okay. I, I see how it is. Oops, it's paralyzed. Oops, it's paralyzed. Okay, here we go. So, things are getting a little interesting over here. With the, its ability to fly. It also has the ability to do thunder on me. Yeah, it's a decent hit. Thunder's gonna hurt real... Oh, good paralysis. Excellent, excellent. I might get fully paralyzed too, so this is high stakes over here. Hey, okay. Who's the last Pokemon? We knocked out Venusaur. Jolteon. Electrode. It's gotta be Electrode. Tangela? Uh, Tangela can't really do much on me, to be honest. I'm gonna try the T-Wave really quick. I can't be the only one paralyzed at this party. Growth, though? Oh, no! Oh, gosh! Oh, what, who are my other Pokemon? Oh, shoot. Okay, I don't want him to, like, set up on me. I gotta get out of here. But I also have to get this T-Wave off. If he keeps on growthing, I'm, I'm over! That's two growths, man! I I have to try for the sky attack right now. That's two turns of me jumping through hoops of not getting paralyzed. And that's one hoop I just jumped through right now. So I need to jump through this next hoop over here in order to win this match. Yes. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. You're done. Seven damage is okay. It's fine. Whatever. I'll just do a Thunderbolt and I win. 
Mamma mia. Yo, he's got three growths up right now. I mean, it's not too scary. Because I do have a Moltres that would... Oh, come on. What's he going to do? Mega Drain? Four growths? Oh, gosh. Help. All he has is a Mega Drain. So, like, we're fine. I win this one. It's very scary, though. Tangela's little vines look like he's doing this, right? He's got some vines that are like wrapped in this way. Like he's like, yo, you can't touch me. Anyway, that was a really close battle. I don't know how we clutched it, but man, that Zapdos was a threat. I thought I was the only one out here using legendary birds, but that is not, is not the case. Just breathe in and breathe out. We got this. Okay, continue. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, fighting would be really good. Okay, so... Psychic hits. Gengar. Machamp. Zapdos is always good. Let's do, let's do Kadabra. Let's do Zapdos. So if Kadabra knocks out Gengar and Machamp, that leaves me with struggling against Hypno. Zapdos can take on Hypno. Snorlax is over here too, man. I've got to be able to plow through Snorlax with Nidoking. I don't know what Snorlax has as far, does he have Earthquake? Oh, this is the juggler. Man, it's the juggler. I forget about the juggler. The juggler just puts your dudes uh, to sleep. And then he just does random... Um, random metronomes. We're fine. It's the juggler. Jinx. Love, love, jinx. Alright, jinx. Uh, what are you going to do, jinx? What are we doing here? You trying to put, put me to bed? Come on, Jinx. I got some psychics with your name on it. Come here. Jinx. Here's the first move. Boom. That's nothing. That's no damage. Put me to sleep. Thank you. Yeah, right here. Love that. Thank you so much for the kisses, Jinx. I love it so much. I'm going to go and do a Zapdos right now. Got this. Got this. Jinx. Zapdos. Zapdos? Yeah, counter's not working. Sorry, man. We got this. Check this out. Oh yeah, here we go. So since I am here, okay, we're gonna do a Thunderbolt. I keep on thinking that Zapdos has Substitute, but it does not. But speaking of Substitute, you just rolled the Substitute on a Metronome. Congrats. All right, Jinx is good. But remember, this battle is a gimmick. All of their moves are Metronome or some other crazy Dream Eater Hypnosis. So there's really nothing to worry about. This Thunderbolt is going to knock out the Jinx. I do have Sleep Claws right now. One of my Pokemon is asleep and they can't put any of my other Pokemon to sleep. Because that's illegal. Left your wig. What will the next Pokemon be? Oh, hey buddy. He just wakes up, says hi, and then goes back to bed. Wow, that's cute. Love Snorlax. 250 HP though. This is probably like a quarter health. He's so specially bulky. Oh, that was a crit. Okay, I probably would have done like a third constrict. Okay, cool. You don't ever see the move constrict. Constrict. May lower the, op the opponent's speed by one stage. 10 base damage. 
Look at this guy. He's gonna fall backwards and on his stomach. Oh, I love Snorlax. His eyeballs come out. Here we go. Gengar. Orange tongue Gengar. <laughs> Orange tongue Gengar using wing attack. Watch out. Wow, not very effective. I didn't even flinch. Critical hit. Just be done with it. Oh, Gengar's strong. Yeah, that's that's correct. This is correct. So with Gengar being so strong, um, yeah, it's it's hard. What did he just? What was that move? What did he shoot a a little horn out? Later, Gengar, and fall to the side now. Good job. All right, it's a gimmick battle. It's a throwaway. We're okay with that. The juggler, I will take him any day. This next battle, though, I'm not a fan of because there's a lot of craziness happening over here. And I'm going to hope and pray that we get the good luck that we need against the beauty here. Beauty and the beast. All right. We're saving after every battle because we can't risk it. I do have some continues, though, so we're fine. Bam, ba, down, down, down. Yeah! Okay, this is the beauty. So, if you take a look at this, we have four of them are weak against Zapdos. Which is Gyarados, Omastar, Tentacruel, Starmie. Zapdos is great. Very valuable. But if Zapdos meets Rhydon, then that's going to be bad news, because Rhydon is very powerful. The only Pokemon that beats Rhydon is going to be Vileplume. And Vileplume can also take on Sandslash. And Omastar. Everyone besides Gyarados. Looking at Gyarados' level, though, odds are they're going to bring Gyarados on board. Along with Rhydon and some other ones over here. So, I'm going to start off with Vileplume. Yeah, I'm going to start off with Vileplume. I'm going to also bring Zapdos. And then... Uh, I think my best bet... Would be... Nidoking. Vileplume, Zapdos, Nidoking. This is it. Vileplume is only used against the beauty. This is where Vileplume just does the pedal dance and does Vileplume's own thing. This is a perfect start. And you know what's really cool? Is that the animated horn over here for Rhydon is like continuously spinning. You never see that. That's so cool. Pedal dance is going to be beautiful. It's four times super effective. You're not going to survive. Oh, switch. Okay, great. That's not good. Now I'm stuck into a move, and if I don't get these KOs... Gyarados? Oh, shoot! Gyarados! Um, That's a flying grass type, and this is going to be one-third damage. Not even. That's not even one-fourth damage. Look at this purple Gyarados! Alright, so this was my only check. Hyper Beam? Oh, gosh. Look at that beautiful coloration of Gyarados, though. 50%. Oh, that's a lot. Um, I might be able to salvage this. I didn't expect them to switch out, but it was a good move. So now he's going to recharge, which is fair. Okay, we're going to jump in and do another one of these. Get him to about 30% health left. Ish. Uh, and now he's going to hyper beam me again. Oh, fire blast this time. Okay. That's strong. Critical hit. Great. It's fine. If this dude's switching left and right, that's going to be bad. I can't bring Gyarados. I'm oh, sorry, I can't bring Nidoking. I have to bring Zapdos. If he was smart, he would see the electric move coming and then switch back to Rhydon and have a free switch. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have to do Thunderbolt. I knew it! He's so smart!
Yo, Ridey over here, man. So good. I can't touch this thing. I'm gonna try to flash. I lost Lyle Bloom way too early on. Blizzard, you're gonna miss that. That's strong. I kinda wanna do another flash. If I bring Nido King on that Blizzard, that's gonna hurt a lot. But then I could proceed to Earthquake and really do some damage. I gotta bring Nido King out. I, I don't have any other thing. Zapdos isn't gonna do any damage to it. This is very scary. Try a Blizzard, dude. I lowered your accuracy. You should miss this. All right, he does not have any other flying type. Oh, shoot. He's got Gyarados still, doesn't he? I'm going to go sub. Dude, he is switching from Gyarados to this guy every time. I'm sorry. Starmie? I don't know how it's going to affect the outcome. I'm going to lose his match. I'm on my back foot the entire time. I need to do massive damage with this earthquake. Give me that crit so badly I needed it. Thank... Oh, what? No! No! I got to get out of here. I need a psychic. Miss, miss, hydro miss. Crit? I lost. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. There's no way I can win this one. There's only one Pokemon against three. There's only one Pokemon against three? Yeah! I better miss! Miss the Hydro Pump! Guys. Guys, that's... that's hard. A dude was like, predicting all of my moves. I don't have moves where I can out-predict him. I have to win. I gotta think clever now. Shoot, dude. <sighs> Let's go. Here we go. Oh my. All right, all right. I need I need some good Pokémon here. Who's I going to lead with, man? Can't lead with Vileplume. Vileplume just got stuck. Nido King just is good, but I can't do anything against Gyarados with Nido King. I'm gonna start with Z oh shoot! I'm gonna start with Zapdos. I'm gonna go with Nido King. Nido King, there's like four water Pokemon. Like, that's not gonna work for me. What's Kadabra gonna do? Kadabra just beats out Tentacruel. Maybe we start with Lead Kadabra. Lead Kadabra. Zapdos. Oh, shoot. Uh, let me see. And Vileplume. Let's try this. 
Lead Kadabra can do some really good damage with Psychic. The only Pokemon that resists it is Starmie. So what are the odds of Starmie coming out? One in six? Come on. Oh, gosh. Okay, 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 okay. Starmie, man. What are the odds of Starmie coming out? Fudge, man. Who resists the water? Vile Vileplume's gonna get rocked by a Psychic, though. Uh... Okay, switching to Zapdos uh, to predict the incoming, I don't know, Psychic. No, 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 Hydro Pump. Miss. I need a Hydro Miss now. It's good. It's a three-hit KO. I think he might switch to Rhydon. I don't know. Hydro Pump again. You're not going to get a crit, dude. Good. I needed the Hydro Miss so badly. Yes, you're not surviving that. Oh, yes. Good, 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 good. This is perfect. See, I don't know if he's got Gyarados in his pocket. So I need to keep Zapdos alive. I can't be sacrificing this. Okay. Sandslash. Earthquake. Seismic Toss. I'm gonna go Vileplume. Vileplume can take an Earthquake. It's neutral damage. It might do 40%, 50% max. Because it's the same type of attack bonus. But you're not gonna do an Earthquake. No, he's gonna do Seismic Toss. That's 50 damage. So I can take multiples of those. Like three more of them. But Earthquake's gonna be a lot stronger. So that was a decent switch in. Uh, low key, I want to do the Sleep Powder. But then what am I going to do after the Sleep Powder, right? After the Sleep Powder up is up, the next thing I could do is bring in Kadabra for a free switch. Potentially get the first turn wake up. I don't really know how sleep works in this game. The trainer hasn't issued an order. Thanks, Captain. All right, we're going Pedal Dance. If Gyarados comes out, then that's fine. Earthquake is not going to KO. I should be fine. It's neutral. Good. This should KO with the Petal Dance. And then if it is Gyarados... Oh, dude, no way, man. Absolutely not. Do I outspeed Sandslash, though? With Kadabra, I do. Kadabra has to outspeed Sandslash. In the event that Gyarados is the last Pokemon, I need Zapdos for it. And I don't know who their last Pokemon is. So I'm going Kadabra right now in hopes that that's my fastest Pokemon. I don't know. I have to actually check the speed stats. This is very scary. Alright, we're going Psychic. I have to. Yes, good, 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 good. Here we go. And then the last Pokemon most likely is going to be Gyarados. Gyarados has a pretty special move set. So, thank goodness, it's all special. Omastar? Okay. No, no, no. We're fine with that. We're fine with that. Nothing to worry about here. No, I'm good with Omastar. Uh, yeah, we can do two Psychics. And that's probably the best bet. I could come in with Zapdos, do a Thunderbolt, and win. GG's. That's checkmate. That's hard, man. I thought Gyarados was coming. A, critical hit, and a special fell. Wow. Hydro Pump. Yuck. That's going to be 50% of my damage. Watch. Oh, wow. Okay. One third. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. I'm, I'm actually very happy with that. I'm happy with how that turned out. Wow, and there goes the battle. That was really tough. Beauty was hard. Vileplume is the weakest link on the team. 
There's no, no doubt about it, but still did the job whatever we needed, which is amazing. So let's go over here. Let's create our save spot. And then let's get ready for the second half of the final master ball of the Poke Cup. What is going to happen? I don't know. You guys better find out, though. Let's jump on into it. Thanks for watching. All right, here we go. Pokemon Stadium. Poke Cup Master Ball, second half. Oh, you got two... Wait a second, you got two ghosts over here? All right, if you're going to lead with Gengar, then. This is the medium. This is the medium. Uh, yeah. The Gengars are pretty much... Gengar and Hunter are pretty much identical. Uh, Kadabra can knock them out, potentially. I don't know, though. And I'm going to go with lead Kadabra. I'm going to go lead Kadabra. I'm going to do Zapdos, because Zapdos takes care of Cloyster, Lapras, Aerodactyl. Uh, I'm going to go Nidoking, because Nidoking takes care of Gengar, Ninetales, and Haunter. But is weak against Cloyster and Lapras. Is Gengar the one? Or sorry, is Nidoking the one for that last spot? I don't want to eat any psychics. Nine tails though. All right, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Here we go. That's my gut instinct. Vileplume could have probably done some good work against the two water types, uh, Lapras and Cloyster. But again, they're also ice types. So, okay, here's Blue Haunter with the uh, with the tongue. I should be able to do this. Let's go psychic. Oh, no! Where, where are you going? Who's going to take a Psychic on that team? No one. Lapras. You're afraid? Why is Lapras... Why? Okay. Okay. I mean... He can do a lot of things to me right here. But for he does have Haunter. And Nido King does not beat Haunter. I'm going to switch. No, no, I'm not going to switch. No, 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 no. No, I'm not. I got this. I got this. I'm going to go Psychic. Because this is a three-hit KO on Lapras. And I'm going to outspeed. So here's the second out of two thirds. And then I'm just going to take like an ice beam or something. Watch. Done. A confuse ray. That's not okay with me. Do, okay, so now I'm at a crossroads. Do I risk the confusion hit and then end up eating a free hit? Or do I switch to something safe? And part of me is just saying switch to something safe. If he does ice beam... It's going to be super effective against Zapdos. If it's a Hydro Pump, it's going to still hurt a lot. Ice Beam, man. That hurts. That's 50% off, dude. Wow. 60% off? Yikes, man. Okay, he doesn't have any Ground-type Pokemon, so I am I win this. I don't know if that was worth the switch. But... I, you can't tell. You can't tell when you're confused. It's a 50-50 coin flip on whether or not you eat that hit. So, yeah, that was very strong. He does have a Haunter in the wings. Nine Tails. Oh, I think I win this one. Yeah, because I have, uh, I have a... <laughs> I have Nidoking in the wings as well. So, like, I think we're good. I, uh, yeah. I'm just most likely going to eat a Flamethrower. Yo, come on, don't do that! I have to risk these at this point. I can't be switching left and right and taking hits for no reason. I have to risk these, uh, these confusion hits. So, uh, Zapdos isn't going to do anything for anyone right now. So, I'm just going to sacrifice it. Wow, nice. And here's the 8 damage for hitting yourself. Oh, cool. No longer confused. Awesome. Okay. Uh, now, the question is, who do I bring 
to take care of Nine Tails, do I bring Kadabra in hopes of outspeeding it? It's fine. Or do I bring Nido King? But then I could potentially eat a Confuser or Flamethrower. I got this. I think I got this. Here's Kadabra. I'm going for the Psychic. I should be able to outspeed. Yes, Kadabra is so fast. And then I don't know if I outspeed Haunter. I think I do because he kind of ran away. He ran away at the very beginning knowing that it wasn't a good matchup. And he probably would have lost it. So I think this is checkmate. I think this is game, set, match. See, the thing is, though, Nido King would be outsped by Haunter, and Haunter would use Psychic against him on a really, really high special attack stat. Dude! Wow, look at that! I could lose this. So the only thing that I want to do right now is I want to... He can't use Explosion. Yeah. Okay, I got an idea. I got an idea right now. So instead of risking any of the hits that are coming my way, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch and I'm going to sacrifice Nidoking. Just to show you how this would have played out in the event to see if Nidoking can take this guy on. Um, odds are he's going to use Nightshade in order to do generic 50 damage. Uh, I won't be able to outspeed. But this will get rid of my confusion status, and then I could proceed to use Psychic. So I'm good. Alright, here we go. Here's the Earthquake. I'm gonna get outsped. He's using Confuser again, man. Come on, stop it, guy. And hit himself. Dunk. Alright, finish me off with Psychic already, man. Let's go. I'm, I just need to come back with a free switch in. How did I survive that? And I'm going to hit myself in Confusion and knock myself out. <laughs> Great. Confusion shenanigans, man. It's fine. We brought Nido King in there just to get rid of our Confusion status on Kadabra. We are going to proceed to outspeed and KO with the Psychic in order to win. Game, set, match. Thank you so much. I don't like the idea of getting confused like that. You can see how devastating that was. But thank goodness we're all set. So, GG's, friends. Wow. Wow. And that was the safe move. Honestly, it was. It was a safe move because if I was confused with Kadabra, man, that would have been rough. Okay. Wow, guys. All right. We, this is this is really tough. It's a lot of, like, theory moning and things that can and can't go wrong with Pokemon. So, let's do it. Let's continue on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Only three battles left, man. Only three battles left. Can we do it? Ooh, I'm hoping so, man. This is the Master Cup we're talking about here. These are rental Pokemon that all of you guys can replicate these strats at home. <sighs> okay. I don't have any fighting types on my team. And there's a Vaporeon. A purple Vaporeon, which is the actual shiny coloration of a Vaporeon. That's great. It's very hard. Kadabra does work. All these guys are very, very strong. Alright, I'm going Articuno first. We're going Articuno. Let me see everyone's special stat. Special is 96. 142 is really good. 123 is okay. Kadabra is 146. Good. A, 142. I think I'm bringing the birds. Yeah, I think I'm bringing birds and Articuno. Uh, and Moltres. Yeah, we're bringing the birds. Let's do it. Tamer is weird. Uh, remember Tamer before he had like all Pokemon that just had Slash? Yeah, all of his Pokemon over here have Hyper Beam. 
Yeah, this is not a good matchup for me. Let's go. Yeah? Yeah, you're doing it. That's a st same type of attack bonus. Okay, watch this. What a furious battle. We're going sub. I'm hoping that if he uses hyper beam on a sub, he still have to he he still has to recharge after knocking it out to net me an extra attack. What thunder? Come on, man. Where are you getting thunder from? You're you're a bull. Well, that was good. It was good that I set up that sub because otherwise Articuno would have been done. All right, here we go. Who's coming? Who's going to be outspeeding me now? I can't be switching either. They just hit like a truck with hyper beam, so I'm not going to eat a free hyper beam. Oh, look at that beautiful coloration. Wow, hi. All right, I don't know what I'm going to do over here. I can't do sky attack. I can't do anything. I can't do a sub. Don't have enough HP. I I'm going to have to ice beam and then bring in Zapdos on the on the KO. It's my favorite Pokémon right there, Vaporeon. Hey Abdallah, what's your favorite Pokémon? Right there. Look at that coloration. Eon Vapor. Aurora Beam. Wow. Cool. Alright, Eon Vapor, let's go. Zapdos. I have to. I'm probably going to end up eating a Hyper Beam. Or just a bunch of Aurora Beams. I don't know. I actually don't know. I'm going Thunderbolt. It's... Vaporeon's a very high special attack, so... Oh, the crit totally mattered, 100%. 100% the crit mattered. That coloration was so cool, though. Rapidash? Uh-oh. I... What is Rapidash doing? Which Pokemon do I have? Moltres? I'm gonna go for the T-Wave. The safe T-Wave. He's going Fire Spin. Tell me about this move. Isn't this like a cheap move? Like a cheater move? Oh my gosh. Hello? <laughs> Wait. What? A fire Spin is a lot like rap, isn't it? What do I know about Fire Spin and shenanigans in this game? I don't know, but it's great. And it got fully paralyzed. This is good. I win the game. Excellent. GG's. I remember, like, you use Charizard, and since he's so fast, and you use Fire Spin, and you just, like, get infinite hits on someone. I don't remember, man. Well, there goes the battle. Dude, fire spin. I'm very curious about that. In generation one. Oof. I'll read a whole bunch about it. Alright, well, we're continuing on. Doesn't matter. Fire spin is a cheater move, so anyway. Let that be a lesson to you. Only two more battles left. Let's knock it out. Psychic is... Uh, and he's got Zapdos. Great. Okay, Zapdos takes care of Charizard, Starmie. Maybe other Zapdos. I gotta bring the birds, man. Moltres takes care of... Exeggutor.
Yeah, let's go Zapdos. We'll go Zapdos, Articuno, Moltres. Alright, here it comes. Okay, Alakazam, Bent Spoons, Burnt Skin. What is Alakazam gonna do? A big old Psychic? Yow. I'm gonna T-Wave him. I don't like this matchup at all. That's like half my health gone. At least 60% 60, 60 from an Alakazam? Hey, that's not bad. I thought that was way stronger. Great. You're done, son. Here's a T-Wave. I'm gonna go first. You're going to potentially miss, and I think my Thunderbolt... I'm going to go for the Sky Attack. Yeah, I'm going for the Sky Attack. Yeah, because I don't think two Thunderbolts would knock him out. He's got a very high special attack stat. But I know that I can survive one of these. I was hoping the, for the full paralysis, but that didn't happen. I hope I get a full paralysis here. If I, what are you doing? Who? Executor? Zapdos? Smart. Smart. Me. Oh wow! He's actually the shiny coloration, isn't he? I have to go Articuno. That was rough, man. Well, he's got a paralyzed Ka Alakazam in the wings over here. We're both going to be rocking uh, super effective damage against each other. Is he going to fly? No, he's not going to fly. Yeah, he's going to T-Bolt. Okay. Half health? Wow. Okay. Hi. Why was that so strong? Thank you. Unbelievable. Well, what am I going to do against Alakazam? Char- Oh, I needed- I needed Zapdos for this. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay. Charizard, Charizard. Flamethrower probably going to come out. Maybe we go Moltres? On the predicted flamethrower? I don't know who's faster, Charizard or me. But if he uses Fly... I'm going Sub. He's going up! Perfect! I'll go Sub! Okay, okay, let me let me plan this out. He's gonna break sub. Hold on, hold on. Because I also have fly. He's gonna br he's gonna he's gonna break the sub. I'm gonna hit him. I would fly up high. Next turn, he's gonna fly up high, and then I'm gonna miss, and then he's gonna hit me. Yeah, I'm in a perpetual loss here. Oh, I have to use swift. Do Swift. What now? The substitute disappeared. Why? Because that was a crit? What will it do? And the weak spot. That's not bad. Neither one is conceding an inch. Let's go sub again. He's faster. Yeah, he's flying up, and I'm getting free subs every time. So this is okay. I can, I can continuously do this. 96 to 56. 40. I can only use one more time. Yeah, I'm in a perpetual loss. Um, so I gotta, I gotta figure this out. It's not enough. That's one fourth damn. Oh my gosh. Oh, help. Okay, so now things go a little differently. Watch this. Since I'm behind him, I can fly now. 
That's right. He's gonna fly up. I'm gonna fly up. He's gonna fly down, and I'm gonna attack him. It's perfect. I should have been doing that from the start. I don't know why I was subbing. But no, I, um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the one misplay that I did. So he's gonna miss, and I'm gonna do the fly. Crit? Needed it. Great. So now, he's got a paralyzed Alakazam, which I can use a fly? Yeah, fly would be strong. I have to use fly. Uh, Alakazam doesn't do anything to hit me, so I'm just gonna fly. We flying out here. I, I mean, subbing down would be pretty cool. I don't know if a substitute flies in the air, but we're fine. Psychic's not gonna hit. It would be very appreciated if he got paralyzed this turn so he doesn't knock out Moltres, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna come in with Articuno, do an Ice Beam, and finish him off. And that was a crit. That crit mattered. Maybe it mattered. I don't know. That was good, though, man. Okay. Using the tactics against Charizard... And just knowing the speed and flying when he was flying and coming down. Oh my gosh, so cool. That's what I love about this Pokemon game. Alright, so anyway, this game set match. Uh, Zepdos did really well with, with um, Thunder Waving. We're good. We have one more battle left. I'm so, so excited for this. Uh, we're going to create a suspend, suspend point. And now we're just, we're just getting in the mood. We know these Pokemon. These are the rental Pokemon. We're getting used to their movesets. We know their strengths, their weaknesses. Let's do it. That Dragonite's coming. Oh. Whoa, what the? Hold on. Sorry about that. What was that? Anyway, don't worry about it. <laughs> here we go. That Dragonite's coming. All right. Dragonite is here with Lapras uh, this time around. So, that being said, it's either going to be Dragonite or Lapras. Um, Who's coming? I'm going to go with Articuno first. He's got Articuno Moltres. I'm going to bring Zapdos next. Who's faster? Let me see really quick. Oops, oops, oops. Here we go. Uh, Articuno, Zapdos. Um, gimme, give gimme. Give Kadabra has a speed of 130. Yeah, he's very, very fast. I think I might bring Kadabra. Or we bring all the birds. What does Jolteon do? <sighs> Low-key worried about Jolteon. I'm bringing Kadabra. No one really resists Kadabra, and I should be fine. So anyway, here we go. Articuno, Zapdos, Kadabra. Let's go. This is it, the, final battle. the final battle. I hope Dragonite comes out. Yes, yes, thank you. Bring it on, baby. Hyper Beam me. I don't know, he... <sighs> he might do some crazy stuff. Thunder Wave, come on, man. Don't like that. Paralyzed. Yes. You are not getting me with the fully paralysis. You are done, Dragonite. That was... Yep, done. That's level 55. So now, no Lapras. This is going to be pretty interesting if Moltres comes out. Here's Jolon. Oh, Jolon, Jolon, Jolon. Jolanda. Which Pokemon did I bring? Zapdos, Kadabra. Oof, this is really tough. He could use Thunderbolt, really rock me in two hits. I could switch to Kadabra for what? I have to let Articuno go. I have to let Articuno go. So I'm going to Ice Beam. One final gambit on the way out. Jolteon's too good. Critical hit? Come on, man. You don't need you don't deserve a times four attack. What will the next Pokemon be? I don't want to find out, to be honest. Uh he's got pin missile too, which is gonna be really strong. He does have Thunder Wave as well. I just have to do two hit KO with Kadabra. Oh, it's Kadabra. 
Yeah, I didn't like that. I didn't like that crit one bit. I needed that to not be a crit. We're going psychic two in a row. There's no way he beats me. What? One of my only redeeming factors is being super blazing fast. Yeah, you eat a crit. Oh my gosh. Um, hi. I don't know how I'm going to beat this one. I only have Zapdos in my back pocket. T-Bolt is going to do half damage. Good. Okay, we might win this one. Although... I mean, it would be bad if... No, no, no. I think I win this one. Yeah, it's either Moltres or Articuno that comes out. Or maybe Tauros. Wow. Okay, I don't like that. I don't know. I, I don't know about this guy. Do I lose? Strength is going to destroy me, for starters. I'm done. I'm done. Go on. Critical hit two. Dude, crits are happening left and right. This is it. 1v1. Zapdos. I have an option here. With Zapdos, do I do a Thunder Wave? And then two Thunderbolts? Or do I just YOLO Thunderbolt, man? I don't think Tauros can knock me out. I'm going Thunderbolts. I, I, I feel, I have a feeling. I have a feeling that I can hit him in two hit KO. Because he's just the Tauros. Tauros doesn't have a good special stat. I think I win this. Hey! Okay, that's a 3 hit KO. Unless this is a 3 hit KO, then I lose. No, that's a 2 hit KO. Yes. Okay, I win. GG's. Unless he gets a crit, I win. Don't, don't even think about a crit. Don't even put that into the universe. This game's dumb. <laughs> ah, so funny. You guys are funny. Oh. All right, here we go. Final round. We got this. Final round. Poke Cup. Master Ball. Dragonite, come at me, bro. He's got too many flying type Pokemon. I can't bring Nido King. So we're going, starting off Articuno, we're going Zapdos, we're going Kedabra. Let's go. Jolan! Oh no! Jolanda! I don't like Jolanda at all. I need Articuno fresh. This isn't good! This is not good! What the heck, dude? You're just gonna hit me with Thunderbolt? Do it. See what happens. I get outsped. Jolteon's the fastest Pokemon. Do it. That's not... That's the three-hit KO, man. Can't afford that. He's gonna use a Thunderbolt now. Zapdos can take neutral from it. I'm bringing Zapdos out. This was a bad matchup. I need to slow him down. Crit? 
Get out! That's unbelievable! He's gonna do another Thunderbolt and beat me. This is unbelievable right now. No way! There's no winning! I can't bait out. I, I don't even outspeed with Kadabra. And here's a Thunderbolt, and then I end up losing. This is so bad, this match. This is very luck-based. I had a really good shot last time, man. I had a really good shot. Do it. Yeah, yeah, T-Wave, man. Always T-Wave. I didn't think that Tauros would outspeed a Zapdos. So, there's that. You think I needed that crit? Don't. You're patronizing me now. There's a Dragonite in the wing somewhere. I don't know, but I don't want to eat a hit. I don't want to eat two hits. Here's Artuno. Alright, well, Artuno's gonna do like a double edge or something crazy, and I'm gonna get owned, so GG's, friends. Blizzard? You better miss three times. That was very strong. And fully paralyzed? Nope. Okay. That's not even a third. Not even a third with Articuno. Oh, special fell. That's not bad. I can lose right now. This is true. What am I going to try to do? Your special fell. Can I recover? I can maybe recover a stall. Just get the psychic. If the blizzard misses, then I'm good. Oh, you're going to do that to me. And you're not going to have any recoil damage. Mm, smart. Dang, man. Dunk? Okay, this is great. Your special fell. This one's gonna be not a speed tie because I'm a paralyzed Articuno. Maybe we start with lead Zapdos. And I start T-waving everyone. Yeah, it is. You're not gonna do it. Miss. Luckily, the special fell. Alright, so I might be able to win this one. I might... Dude, no, man! Miss! You you were owed 19 recoil damage from that double edge. Miss! Dude, you can't get three blizzards in a row. Alright, I'm done now. Yeah, I'm done. Unless this last one's Dragonite and somehow he misses a Surf... Um, alright, he's gonna use a takedown and I'm gonna get owned. Big boy. Oh, Tass is back? Oh man, Tass is the worst! He didn't even use Dragonite! Fire Blast? Miss. All because that crit from Tass, man. Tass the worst. Let's go. Let's finish this off. It's the last one. Let's do this. Final round. I'm going to start with Zapdos. And if these clowns want to keep on T-waving me, then I'm going to do the exact same thing to them. So we're going to go Zapdos, Articuno, and Kadabra. I'm done. Zapdos, Articuno, Zap I'm gonna T-Wave first turn, I'm not even gonna double, I'm not even gonna think about it. We're both gonna T-Wave each other. It's fun, do it. Okay, T-Wave each other, done. Okay, now what? Now what, old man? If I bring in another Pokemon, he's going to T-Wave that one. And I don't want it to be T-Waved. I can't use Sky Attack. Thunderbolt's not going to do anything. Flash isn't going to do anything. If I bring in Kadabra... I wish I had a Substitute.
Hey, don't don't ask me what's the matter. I'm thinking over here, guy. If I bring in Kadabra, I'm gonna eat the Thunderbolt. The trainer hasn't issued an order. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm bringing in Kadabra. He's gonna use a Thunderbolt. Uh, I will take one third damage from it. I was hoping for the full paralysis. Not happening though. You got a crit, dude? Will this Pokemon swap change the flow of battle? You can do one of two things here. I can recover, get some of that health back, but then I would eat the paralysis. They're staring each other down. Or I could hope for a psychic. I could dig underground. I gotta get out of here. If I dig, he's gonna switch into another Pokemon. On the next upcoming dig turn. There's no winning this. After a crit like that? Give me a crit. How are you using quick attack? <laughs> How are you using... Oh shoot, dude. I'm not even playing this game. I'm not even. Quick attack. I didn't even know you had quick attack. What a fool. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. It's just the last battle, man. I could do this. It's, it's just luck-based, man. It's luck-based. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. It's the end of the night. Come on. Alright, it's time. The Master Ball final battle. Let's do it, man. Let's go Zapdos. First turn. He's got too many flyers. It's too many flyers to bring Nido King. It just doesn't make sense. So I'm going Articuno. I'm gonna bring Moltres. Yeah. Yeah. I got this. I got this. I'm bringing the birds, man. Birds are in. All the birds. Here we go. Zapdos first turn Thunder Wave. Here's Lapras. Great. Uh, I win this. I win this matchup. I'm faster, and the only thing that he could do is potentially switch to Dragonite. Who cares? I'm not going to eat two Ice Beams, that's for sure, so I'm going. Yeah, I'm going Thunderbolt. This is going to be a two-hit KO. He's going to use an Ice Beam. Oh, yes, and he got paralyzed from it? Oh, it's two for one today. Luck is going very well. Ice Beam is going to hurt about maybe 60% health. You got a crit? Oh, you got a crit, dude! Unbelievable! There's no way, man. Oh, what's Articuno going to do? Articuno has got nothing on this guy. Moltres flies. Dude, I thought I had some good luck. Art Articuno does nothing. Yeah, there's no Dragonite happening either. Alright, 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 here we go. I am going to get the sub up. And hope that I get the fully paralysis. Yep, just like that. Exactly like that. I am now going to... If it's Lapras... Jolteon could come out. I'm going to do the Fire Blast. Fire Blast is neutral on Lapras, and it's very, very strong. So, here we go, enjoy. Not enough. That's weak. Fully paralyzed. Oh, Ice Beam is going to wreck the sub. It's fair. Okay, I'm going for Swift. I could get risky and try the sub again, but then if I just eat an Ice Beam, that's... Oh, where are you going? Sub would have been great on the Switch. You got one too? Crit's good. Alright, I need to be slower. And we need to find out who's faster over here. So I'm going to do some subs. He's faster. 
Okay, this is fine. Let him break the sub. And then I'm going to do the flying shenanigans with him again, which is perfect. We've done this before. We've done this rigmarole. So I'm set. Watch. He's going to fly down on it. I'm going to do the sub. Or no, I'm not going to do the sub. I'm going to do a swift. I think I win this game. I think I win this game. Alright, so now I'm going to go over to fly. I'm going to fly after him. He goes first. That's right. And then I go second. And then he attacks into nothing. And then I land on top of him. Which is just like we've done with Charizard. So this is good. Yeah, yeah. What's the matter, trainer? Boom! Critical hit. Did not matter in the slightest. Because I would have just done that exact same thing one more time. We're fine. Uh, Lapras is down with one hit. I outspeed with Moltres. And here's Articuno. Uh, Blizzard. Yeah, this could be rough. I don't know who's faster. But uh, using a Fire Blast would be great. Pokemon. Oh, I win! Because I have Articuno. Uh, I think I win. I, I think I win this one. Unless I miss a Fire Blast. I gotta stop saying these things out loud, man. I swear, dude! I swear! <laughs> but I like, I like talking. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. I'm totally gonna hit the Fire Blast. I'm totally gonna hit the Fire Blast. I'm hitting it. That's right, super effective and burnt. Burnt doesn't matter. Uh, maybe it does. Maybe I could stall out the burn. What now? Wow, that's okay, uh, let's see, let's see. I have an Articuno, and this is a burnt Articuno. It's gonna use an Ice Beam. It may outspeed me. But I have very, very high special, so I'm good. The only thing that I could do is potentially sub up. Uh, not even worth it. I'm gonna aim for hoping to beat the speed tie. Of course not. Using a reflect, what is that gonna do for you? Nope. Not at all. I wish I had something to, like, set up on. Because I would l allow the burn to knock him out. Uh, and then all we have right now is a Lapras, which does have Ice Beam, and it has the ability to sing, which is putting me asleep for turns. But I think that Articuno beats Lapras in speed, therefore, I win. And he's paralyzed. So this is GG's, friends. I should honestly do a sky attack just to win with uh, with style, huh? Wouldn't that be great? Alright, I'm gonna substitute. <laughs> Watch the fully paralysis. Yes! Dude, I am such a flexor. I am such a flexor going out with a bang. You know I am. Of course I'm going to destroy him with a sky attack. What a guy. Yeah, hit me with that surf. See what happens. This is it. With this big flex. The strongest attack possible. On 20 health. Boom! Goodbye, Lapras. See you later. Thanks for not bringing Dragonite. Wow, the legendary birds carrying me throughout this entire cup. That was good. That's right. It's perfect. Excellent. Way to go, old man. Get owned. Oh, that feels good. Ding, 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 ding. Poke Cup is finished. That's right. Yeah, we did it all with one team. I'm very curious as to how other teams would play, right? Bringing the rentals. We brought the legendary birds, which were really good. And then we found some other Pokemon that kind of complemented them. We didn't have every type, but that's okay. Did you need every type? No. Vileplume could have gotten subbed out. Didn't really need that. Uh, Nido King was a one-trick pony, and that was very lucky sometimes. That's it. That's the Master Ball Cup. Clear! Yes! Oh my gosh, that feels so good. That feels so good knocking out the Poke Cup. Completely done. Oh my gosh, what's that?
Wow, it speeds up the Game Boy in the Game Boy Tower. I got the Doduo one. Cool. That's right. So back in the day with the Nintendo 64 controller, um, if you had the transfer pack, let's see if I have my controller over here to give you a visual. If you had a transfer pack, I don't have my tools over here, but I have it over there. If you had a transfer pack, you could put your Game Boy cartridge inside this like thing in the back of an N64 controller. And then you can play your Game Boy on the screen over here, which is great. And then once you unlock Doduo mode, that means that you can play your Pokemon game on the N64 in twice the speed, meaning you can grind your Pokemon just by doing random battles twice as fast. It was so cool back in the day. But unfortunately, there's no functionality over here uh, in this at all. If you click on it, it's like, okay, uh, Pokemon game pack's not inserted. Turn it off and then insert the game, game pack. It's like expecting that. So this is Nintendo Switch Online just made a port of the game. They didn't care about any of the functionalities or anything like that. It's just the coding in like the full whatever HD for the time, unfortunately. So that's what we get. So we all just get rental Pokemon. Anyway, that's all four trophies on that. That means that the Prime Cup is going to be next. The ultimate tur tournament without level restrictions. Let it all hang out. That's going to be super fun. Thanks so much for watching Pokemon Stadium, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Okay, that was good, guys. That was really fun. Thanks for hanging out. Who is still awake? Hi. Hello. How are you? It's 1230 in the morning. What time is it where you guys are at, and where are you all from? Talk to me. That was so hard, by the way. Gosh, help me. That was really rough. Oh, man. Thanks so much for hanging out, friends. Oh, gosh. Intense. It is time for bed. Yeah. Hey, Star-Lord, thanks for becoming a member again. I saw that earlier. That was amazing. You're great. You know that? All right, man. Let's do it. Okay. You guys are great. Thanks so much for hanging out. Let's do the work. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow for even more Pokemon Stadium. We'll do the champion... Um, we'll, we'll do the Prime Cup, and we'll do the next one, uh, which is like the Gym Leader Challenge. So we'll try to pick uh, a team that's going to be good for that. I'm excited for it. So, friends, have a great rest of your day or night, wherever you guys are in the world. Thanks for hanging out with me this evening. And I will see you guys tomorrow for even more. If you guys didn't already take a look, we've got a very fun Mario Kart retrospective that we're kind of nearing the end of. Uh, so go take a look at that if you enjoy Mario Kart. Uh, but other than that, Pokemon Stadium, continuing on with that. I cannot wait. So we'll see you guys later. Have a great rest of your day and shout out to the mods, shout out to our members and all of you guys that dropped some super chats. Thanks for hanging out. Alrighty, we'll see you later. Take care. Bye.